Here we go, here we go, here we go. Do you, do you have my holes? Who are you? <laughs> she just delivered my holes and then left. You don't, wait, hang on, did a kid get delivered as well? Hey, I didn't order a kid. That wasn't part of the deal. That wasn't part of the deal, lady. How dare you? I ordered a holes on a kid. Oh gosh! Well, how, I'm gonna do daddy, I guess. Um, have I wrecked it? Oh, flip it? Oh, okay, hang on. Oh. I got this. I got this, don't worry, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that was, you had that under control the entire time. I'm hardcore like a pro over here. What's going on here? Oh god! <laughs> oh god! No! Welp, end of the series. <laughs> <laughs> those are, no, those aren't urns. Those are um, hotel of the year trophies. You've no idea what it's like out here. You've no idea. The time I got bit by a rattlesnake and the cook had to suck the poison out. You know what that's like, Nancy? No, no, don't, 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 don't eat that, don't eat that. <laughs> Gross. Okay, make sure you, yeah, just make sure you, okay. This clap isn't working. <laughs> Where's clap? Oh my gosh, if this works, I will have broken the game. Oh my gosh, this is, oh no. Bob, oh Bob. no, Bob. Um, bo uh, Bob. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Person, ah! You gotta get out of here, dude. Keep walking. Walk faster. <laughs> Whoa! Start cheating to the game. People tell me I'm cheating at the game, but I ask you. Why would they put this in the game if it was a cheat? I can build as many as I want. And I feel it really helps the people out. So I'm never gonna stop placing all the cabinets. It's gonna be a great time in my house. Cabinets. I'm building cabinets. I may have no money left, but it's so worth it. I'm 
building cabinets. Welcome to the Hanugluseum. We've got dinosaurs that blabbers have never seen before. Our bug life area is so alive. And we've got the rarest sea bass, the rarest sea bass around. Only at the Gluseum. Only at the Gluseum. Don't bother going to that blabber's new museum come instead to the glue museum it's the best place around and it's free hey guys make sure you hit that follow button and if you're feeling real generous hit that subscribe button every subscriber helps out the glue out and you get a bunch of sweet emotes in the process well that's it for me bye bye you're in my world now, Nancy. You're in my world now. Hey, welcome back to another stream. How's everyone doing today? Good to see you. It's good to be back. Today we're going to continue the uh, the Leonardo da Vinci workshop build that we started yesterday. We didn't see it yet. Been going good. We'll also jump into cast and create a Leonardo da Vinci character. That should be fun. I could do old men in cast. I think I'm pretty good at that one. And then also, tomorrow, we'll do this Let's Play. It's like a mini series, like a mini one. It'd be like one off. It'd be a one episode one. <laughs> but I am looking forward to it. I am. Hey, Chronicle City. Hey, Sam. Muffin's Kilayu, under the fest for 31 months. Muffin, thank you so much for that. Is it hot? It is hot. Yes, it is. It is quite humid. Yeah. Uh-oh, cat. Under the fest for 18 fine. months. Glue bar, 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 glue bar. Petricor, thank you so much for that. Appreciate that. Uh, hey, Teach, how you doing today? Good to see you. Hey, Mar, good to see you as well. How you doing? Assassin's Warm. I had no internet for weeks, um, so I had a great day, but oh, good to have you here, Assassin. Sexy lost your internet, though. Holy moly. Yay! Taramo 86, under the fest for 15 months. Hey, thank you so much, Assassin. I appreciate the 15 months. Um, hey, Gloom. I'm going to pick up my dinner to tonight. A bear ran in front of the car and crossed the road. Oh, my gosh. Holy moly. That's amazing. You barely made it out of there. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. That, was, uh, that wasn't very funny. <laughs> Um, hey Casey, how you doing today? <laughs> um, I watch you play the log cutting game. I have a question. Does Miss G usually cut your grass? I cut the grass. I don't have a riding mower. <laughs> if I did have a riding mower, I wouldn't be using a mouse and keyboard to ride it. <laughs> drive it. Uh, I haven't just found, um... I can tell he's a girl today. Oh, really? She signed up the vet um, out because of something between last night and the morning. She had an egg in the bottle. Oh, really? Do, 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 do. The joke was utterly useless. I moved house last uh, week. Oh, really? Yeah, we're actually moving too. At the end of the month. Hopefully, uh, we can make the transition as quick and painless as possible. But uh, yeah, that's the plan at the end of the month. There'll probably be a few days off as I set up. Um, we we'll take all this. We we'll put it over there. Hopefully, all this works perfectly. <laughs> that's the plan. Do 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 do. Oh, 
unfortunately a spider fell on me last night. Oh my gosh. Oh god, you okay. Oh my gosh. Are the kids excited? Yeah, they're excited, you know. Yay! I don't know. Megan I like what else. They got like this that I'm on. Today I hey. was watching the most recent 100 baby challenge while making relish. My daughter was milling about around me during the part where you were yelling at little Megan and she was like, why is Dr. Glue and yelling at you? <laughs> where you mean to him? Glue lol glue lol glue lol. Kim Pippoo, under the fest for 18 months, second baby. No school glue change. baby, glue baby. Thank you so much for that. Uh, second baby. That's a Twitch baby times two. Can you explain why uh, is he wearing his cab? Uh, it's, uh, it's a fun hat, you know? It's just like a fun, just fun. It's all for fun. It's like wearing a fun, it's like wearing a fun shirt. Or whatevs. Doot, 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 doot. All right, let's do this one. Uh, all right, let's load up the game. Hey, Tiger Fairy Sims. How you doing today? Good to see you. The most fun of hats. Yeah, yeah. You know, hats are fun. I would wear this hat. You know. Pamel cake so for cheered Dex 200. If I had to get rid of the fez, I would definitely go Piff Helmet all the way, you know? It would be like, we'll just go Piff Helmet. But I feel like changing hats on you would just freak you out so much. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know this. Uh, I don't know this. Uh, this monocle man. Not the tinfoil hat. <laughs> my immersion <laughs> alright where's my game at here we go if you missed it yesterday I think this is turning out quite nice I'm excited to finish this build off hey Wendy boom, 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 boom. and thank you so much for that we are on a hype train right now holy moly Maybe like a beanie. I'm not been. I'm not much of a beanie fan, you know. Hey, uh, guess what? We actually had all four of my channels on YouTube got videos today uploaded. Two thousand seven hundred. That's a rare thing. Two hundred. Rare, a rare thing. Hey, thank you, Mega. Every channel had a video going up. And that includes the Dr. Glue on Shorts channel, which is just like TikTok. So if you follow me on TikTok, or if you don't like TikTok but uh, want to see that video, those videos, TikTok on YouTube Shorts, it's the same thing, same video stuff. It's just TikTok Shorts or you no YouTube Shorts. What am I talking about? <laughs> YouTube Shorts is just like TikTok. So um, all four, Brad. Holy moly! Unless uh, you didn't upload that video today. I'm assuming the VOD channel got something today. Did you not go to my seminar, MGM? I did a whole thing on TikTok. No, it did. Okay, good. <laughs> Yay! I only see that because I assume you did. Hey, M. Cheerdex 210. Howdy, Doc. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Enjoy the new videos this morning. Glue hug, glue hug. I've had some facts for 1963 on the new 100 baby channel. Oh, nice. Video. I'll check glue it out. Dude, dude. Wait to be an overachiever. That's a rare thing. That is a rare thing. <laughs> hey, Trader Wind. Good to see you. Carly underscore Formula 04. Use hey, Carly. Twitch Prime, 11 months. Wow. 
we should do a lawn simulator slash lawn simulator simulated in Roblox Let's Play to celebrate. You know. Also, congrats on the new house. Thank you. You know, there definitely is going to be, there's got to be a lawn simulator uh, on Roblox. There's got to be. <laughs> Here's the here's the uh, the workshop so far. We built uh, the flying machine here out of curtains and wood, and then I also built the tank, Leonardo da Vinci's tank, because we had to. Like that, more l lawn simulator. Do you really want to do that? I mean, I played. I bought that game, so we're playing. I followed you on TikTok and Instagram. Oh, thank you, team. Appreciate that. Adam. Yeah, so if you want to see the TikTok video I put up, it's very good. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's very good. <laughs> I'm going to try to get more TikTok videos. I do actually generally enjoy putting the videos together. It's just with other YouTube stuff. I just have, have time. But if I can just get a few, like, if I can get another hour, <laughs> then I will do it. And so I was like, yeah, I have an extra hour, and I really want to keep this going. Slime Rancher is out on Switch now. Oh, how much is it? Is that Slime Rancher 2 or 1? Isn't there, like, a second one? We need to do another YouTube channel for just Lawn Simulator content. Chronicler Sims 8. Uh, 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 only lawns. 1000. Good Gotta evening, go. Doc and chat. Good My evening. adventure today has been having nine hours of sessions with lunch break that entailed trying to give a cockatiel medication. It was a challenge. I'll take medicating the cats any day over that. Up next, moving a 20 pound flight cage downstairs for said bird blue lol deli rip. Holy moly. Burger it's Queen a long day. Cheered Dex 245. Good evening, Doc. Good Here great is some bits just because glue hug. Thank you, Burger Queen. Appreciate that. Jassy, thank you so much. Jossie Mexicana Cheered X1000. Hi, Doc. Hi, Glue Bees. Congrats on the new house. Thank you. For the cardboard Genshin, please. <laughs> Blue lol. That was a TikTok. That's what the TikTok the was. It was cardboard Genshin Impact. I'll play it in a little bit here if you want to see it. Um, B, thank you for those bits as well. I'm doing good. We're going to do a tree. We were talking about, uh, I was talking to your brother uh, over the weekend. And uh, he was on the Discord. And he said something, and no one responded. And he's like, yeah, I'm not really known in Doc's stream. I said, well, you got to show up more, buddy. You got to show up in here more often. It's my brother-in-law I'm talking to. <laughs> do, 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 do. Hey, darling, good to have you under the fez. We are level two of the hype train, 75% in. If we beat the hype train, of course, we will do an art attack. A lawnmower themed art attack. <laughs> Bunny Princess used their Twitch Prime. Bunny, yeah. thank you so much. 13 months um, and counting. Backslash O slash much love. Yay! Thank you so much for that. Um, Cheered X300. So, after work, I was really tired and took a short nap. When my husband That's woke good. me up at 6.30 this evening, I was really confused because I totally thought it was 6.30 a.m. Thursday, but it was still <laughs> Wednesday. Yay! That has happened to me so Marking many times. 223 cheers That's happened to me 200. so many times. Yay! You're like, what? Is it not the Revenge morning? Toast. Thank you, Amaki. Today we went back to our house to see if the AC is working and it is not. And we also killed the fourth vacuum this year. Note to all, Rotty Fur kills all vacuums in new and spectacular ways. Oh no. Blue hug, blue hug. Oh no. <laughs> I hope we get the AC working again. It's so hot right now, I know. That's right, that's right, Tree. <laughs> Are we late or is Doc early? I am always late. I'm always a little bit late. I'm always a bit late. I'm exactly when I'm meant to be here. Buccaneer Buddies. 
Staff Farm, I love it. I love it. I changed the name of my my new channel on YouTube. It was It's Funny. I changed it to Fez Guy. I don't know. I'm like not sold on the name. So if uh, if anyone has any better, some suggestions on Discord were cool. So fashionably on time. It's a good name. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Dr. Glue on plays. Yeah, that was a good one. It'll just glue on plays. Maybe. Fez TV. Doc is never early or late. I remember precisely when I mean to. Yep, yep. And that's the streamer code. Glue on games. I like it. So yeah, I don't know. I just gotta change the Fez guy real quick. Cause like, ah, I'm just gonna change it. It's easy to change. It's really no, no worries. YouTube makes it real easy. Jerry Almonte. Hey Jerry. I was scrolling through TikTok and basically did a spit take when I saw your Genshin cut out. Avoid water at all costs. <laughs> That had to be. That had to be a TikTok. It had to be a TikTok. That's right. You heard it here first. Dr. Glue on TikTok. And if you don't like TikTok, then you can check out the Dr. Glue on Shorts channel on YouTube. Same stuff. Same content. Just on YouTube. Pamel Cake so for Giggler Games. Thank you, Pamel Cake. Appreciate that. We got two minutes left of the hype train. Will we be doing any art today? We have to get to level five and beat it. Dude. Glue scoop. Oh, that should be my fifth channel. It's all news. It's a news channel. The Ami Games cheered X two hundred. A hard hitting news channel. B, thank you so much for that. Hey, Libby loves cat. How you doing? Hey, D. Yeah. Good to see you. Granny, <laughs> Granny thank you so much for that. Three hundred. Um, we gonna let me connect or can I play this? Can I play? Please do a game channel. Wait, what do you mean? A news channel. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure I got that covered. <laughs> Hard hitting news. I don't want to do a news channel. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Nancy Drew news. That's what it's gonna be. Every day, we're gonna have Nancy Drew scoops. This just in. No new Nancy Drew news. <laughs> I missed so many streams because uh, of the move, but I'm here now. Ah, oh, good to have you here. Good to have you here. Well, less than a minute left uh, is the hype train. Gonna get to level four. We'll soon find out. Glue news times. That's just a glue fairy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. Tasha one three one three zero under the fez for four months. Sims fairy. But that's just a fairy. A Sims fairy. Sue Sue. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> what a scoop! Dr. Glue just steals others' ideas. In Iowa, there's uh, always there's always cool news. True, Brad. Oh, speaking of Iowa, and somehow speaking of our friend uh, Guy Ferrari, uh, he's created. Have you seen this? It's a hot dog. It's a hot dog apple pie combo. It's an apple pie with a hot dog in there. It's pretty amazing. More puppets in the new YouTube channel. Oh, yes, that could be the news. Actually, the news should just be. It's just a puppet doing it. It's the most American thing. It's the most take two. take two of the most American foods. Apple pie and hot dogs. Just like jam them together. 
It looks like um, it looks like one of those apple pies you get from McDonald's. Do you know, like it's kind of long, like a like a hot pocket, and you cut on the side and you just stuff a hot dog in there. That's kind of what it looks like. Oh, you're good, Bella. <laughs> Guy from where he created it, so you know it's gonna be good. You know it's gonna be money. It's gonna be money. Hey, uh, is Lovely here? Or Kelsby, do you know Lovely's um, uh, EA name? It's like something or other. Does anyone know? Who asked for that? I don't know. The last love ice. Thank you, Stefan. I knew the wood was. I knew the wood bite was in there, but that's all one word, right? Um, um, um. Binge gaming. I, I, the reason why is because Lovely created this lovely room for me. Uh, which is just a bunch of stuff that would look good in a, a Leonardo da Vinci house. So he's just a bunch of things and stuff. And I love that. I love that. It really helps out. Uh, when I'm, uh, when I'm creating, is that, a, is that a mirror? It's a mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Um, it's just a bunch of things. So, um, she definitely helps her out when doing that. For me, makes things a little bit easier. Um, I love it to be like that. Maybe on this side and this side. Maybe like this inner wall is like one of these. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Um, I think it belongs to the sandwich family. Yeah, I could say I would say it. Uh, it has its roots in the sandwich family. <laughs> you know, you know. Mm. All right, let's turn this thing on. The hard hitting questions. Remind me to, to uh, eliminate hot dogs and sausage for my food groups. <laughs> Oh, actually, let's put these things on here. Play around with those ones. Meat between bread. That should be the name of my new YouTube channel. <laughs> Welcome back to Meat Between Bread. Dot com. <laughs> Christy underscore Dogen. Under the fez. Beautiful avatars. Nine months. <laughs> wow. Nine well, months. <laughs> I found you through the Dogen. James Bread Shop series. I'm so glad to be a part of this Aww, amazing community. Thank you so glue much. Hug, glue, uh, baby. Thank you so much for the nine months. That's a Twitch baby. Oh boy. <laughs> Soggy bread. Soggy bread. There we go. Mm, 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 mm. So we're going to do this challenge tomorrow. Well, we're going to play as Leonardo da Vinci Yay! Uh, in Morgan a fun way. Seven, X 200, you're welcome. <laughs> Where's the beef? Which hi highlights uh, Sims beef. <laughs> Set for your brand. <laughs> oh no, Brad, no. We lagging out. We lagging out. Got a bit of lag them. A little bit of lag them. But a lag them. 
You miss some Sims beef? I know. We like that Sims beef. Oh, Sims beef. Little lag. Little bit. Little bit. It's all good, though. It's all good. La 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 la. It's spot a lag. Um, yeah, so this challenge that we're gonna do, I'm we're gonna play as Leonardo da Vinci in this uh in this like workshop. And what we're gonna do is what we're gonna do is we're going to um paint. Get our painting skill up. But also, see the thing about Leonardo da Vinci, maybe you may or may not know, is that uh is that he had an interesting sleep schedule. In that, I mean, he slept every... He slept every four hours for 20 minutes. And so that is the challenge that we will be running. We're going to... Uh, we're going to be playing as uh, Leonardo da Vinci. And uh, every 20 minutes... Every four hours, we can sleep uh, for only 20 minutes. And that is the only sleep we're going to get. While also creating beautiful art and eventually painting the Mona Lisa. That is a challenge we're going to run here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> do you think we can do it? You know, professor that did that? I used to be on a two sleep schedule. Uh, and then I've gone now back to just a one, but the schedule's so goofy. So that's what we're going to be running tomorrow. Obviously, I want to kind of finish this up tonight. Um, and then we'll do the cast as well. And then we'll do this challenge. We have uh, a really, uh, we have a really great bed. <laughs> we better have a great bed. Is that a good bed? That's a good bed. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I want to know if a sim can live with that sort of schedule. That's the challenge of running. Speed fray? No, I'm just playing with speed. Don't forget his juice bar. He does have a globe. That's those dividers at. What are those like dividing walls at? How much coffee does he drink? Yeah. Gary underscore Dabam. Cheered X200. Is it too late for a corny joke? No, no. This one is really corny. I got fired from the bank today. A woman asked me to check her balance. So I pushed her over. Glue wink, glue wink, glue wink, glue wink, glue wink. Thank you. I'll be here all week. Don't forget to tip your favorite streamer. Also, Hawaii. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. I love it. They have the dine out one, and they're like multiple different dividers. No, the ones like the um, you know, what pack is a globe farm? I'll check in a second here. I figure they're in here because it's like, what should they be? Let's see them. Sculptures or miscellaneous. Mm, 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 mm. It's what's to be behind that bed, because otherwise it looks a bit goofy. Just kind of there right now. No, turn this off. Turn that one off. There's a bunch of different ones. I mean, there's not a ton of them, but there are different, there are different varieties. Okay, they would be here because they see that one. That's not the one I want though, but that is one. 
There's another one. Still next game. Uh, there's like a wooden one. There's this one. Which actually probably would. That's probably the best one for this, what we're doing. Uh, what else do we have though? Mm, 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 mm. There's that one too. Okay, I, think, I think that's a good one we got them. Needs cracks in the stone, for sure. I'll just search a divider. That would also work. Oh yeah, the, the globe. Someone asked about that. The globe is... Is from Glamour. The Glamour pack. This is cool. I feel like them, there's like a weirdly open bit right here. I don't like it. I wonder if I should put like a, um, a, a platform down. Just to kind of like do something with this spot. But then again, am I just doing that for to fill it in? Uh, the uh, vintage glamour, it's called the one that the the globe came in. What inspired you to do this? Uh, I, I, I don't, I just thought of this idea of uh, Leonardo's sleep schedule, and I thought, I wonder if a sim could have that similar sleep schedule. And then I thought, well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, you know, create Leonardo da Vinci in the game and, um, and try it out. That's, is that off center? It is. And then, of course, I'll have to do the build for it, which, uh, which is also fun. So it's like, oh, do do this challenge, but then have uh, then I gotta do the build, which is also fun for me. Is that weird? Just to have that there, it's kind of there for the sake of filling that space to make it in that space more interesting. Is that weird though? Is it just pointless? A carpet? I haven't. Have I tried to do 20? I haven't ever actually tried to sleep like that. Though I did have a a schedule where I, I had my sleep schedule broken into two. Maybe we get a different word. You don't like that it's a uh, flip like that. Yay! Drew underscore is underscore peachy underscore. Cheered X two hundred. I am so happy you're doing this build. I love it. Were you still wanting sculptures? I know a link for a functioning pottery wheel. Oh, I probably won't use any CC in it, Drew. But thank you. I'm not, um, I don't want to down on too much CC. An old rug. I was going to do something here too, so let's do like a kitchen. A kitchen at the snooze button. <laughs> it's how good to see you. Yeah, I used to have a two sleeps, two sleeps. A day schedule where I would sleep after the stream because it was it was like I would sleep I would I would sleep after the stream and then I would wake up and I would because my daughter I would have to you know, be there for my daughter so um, I would wake up be with her for the day 
And then when my wife came home from work, I would then go to sleep again, wake up, eat dinner, and then stream. That was my schedule. Uh, but uh, now she goes to daycare, or you know, nothing right now because it's summer, but daycare and then kids in school. So uh, I wasn't don't need to do that anymore. Now I just keep working after stream and then sleep and then wake up, eat dinner, and <laughs> stream again. It is hard to get into that schedule, though. It doesn't, uh, it, it, it definitely, uh, it's, it's, it's tiring. Sounds exhausting. I like the work, though. I like working. So if I, if I don't work, I feel, uh, that I should be working, so. You know. Do I don't have anything? Well, I guess these are kind of, this kind of, like, wood color down. Hmm. I guess that could work. Take another day off, yeah, right. <laughs> Double sleep used to be really common before electricity. Is it that like um they do that in like Spain? They sleep in the like during the middle of the day and then they wake up and then Isn't that like common there? Oh man, this is gonna be just a whole bunch of <laughs> There's my kitchen. It's beautiful. I'm good at this game. I cannot imagine when you used to, I used to stream every day. Yeah. But also the the trade-off was that I was I I didn't I streamed later. I started at 10. And so I switched it to start at eight my time and uh the, so i took a day off because i you know that way at least i'd have one day to hang out with my wife and watch a show or something watch something on tv or tv you know a movie or something like that so that's what the day off is that's why you do the day off Uh, I'm not gonna do it off the grid. It's not a historical thing. So we'll just have the lights like normal. It's mostly, well, not, we're not even testing really. It's just, it's mostly just to see if we get the sleep schedule and then paint. And not for extra editing time. Am I gonna see free guy? I'd love to see free guy. I want to see that, but it's feeders only, so that's a big no on me. I guess feeders have decided to go back to, you know, movies have gone back to playing their movies uh, in the feeders only. Oh yeah, on oh, my day off. That's right, Brad. Yeah, I just use it. Well, I mean, I do like, I do like sometimes not work and play a game or something. Minecraft ruined my sleep schedule. Sweet. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, Hunting Girl. We'll watch the glue, kids. Sounds good. Not sleeping at night is really bad for you. How so? I, mean, I take vitamins, so. What about uh, putting some bookshelves and stacking the books against the walls and move some of the paintings stuff on the platform? Oh, wait, putting some book. Moves of the painting stuff to the platform. Oh, like in here? Yeah, we could do that. It messes with our brains, apparently. 
Huh. I don't know. I mean, I think if we switch schedules quickly, that could mess with you. If you start, sl if you sleep, if you just, if somehow, if you switch your schedule, um, if you sleep every day at four o'clock, every day at four o'clock in the afternoon, you go to sleep, which is very early. <laughs> you go to sleep, and that's the, and that's when you go to sleep. And then one day, for whatever reason, you go to sleep earlier than that, and you wake up, and now you're woken up with eight hours of sleep. You have eight hours of sleep. You've had all the sleep you're gonna need, and it's four o'clock in the afternoon now, and it doesn't matter that you had eight hours of sleep. You are now tired at four o'clock because that is the time you your your body is used to sleeping, regardless of if you have slept. Well, vitamin D you can get through. You get through vitamins, and uh, I mean. Regardless if I slept through the day or night, I would still be indoors. You know, I'm a streamer. If I slept, if I slept at night time, what would I be doing during the day? I'd be down here streaming. If I was sleeping during the day or at night time, I'm down here streaming. Stream during stream eight hours a day, you know, editing the rest of the time. So, regardless of when I do it. There's a picture in the Discord that might uh, help inspire. Oh yeah, let's have a look. Is it a Simspirational channel? Because I hate the sun. <laughs> People are making... Um, Should listen to their own doctor. Sure. I mean, yeah, definitely. For sure. For sure. That's just me. That's a me thing. Definitely. For sure. Well said, Cammy. Um. Do, 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 do. Definitely sleep is important. It is definitely important. Uh, wait, Drew, did you put the picture of the Voyager in there? She used to do night shifts until she got uh, really sick, but she has some under eye health issues. She sees. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've always kind of had this schedule, so. I do get a lot of sleep. Anyway, we're talking about um, we're talking about Leonardo da Vinci's sleep schedule here, <laughs> which is what we're uh, basing this challenge on. Not my own sleep schedule. <laughs> uh, I can't sleep without a fan on. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. If the roommate system is broken, I don't know. Probably, I mean, it seems that there's a lot of things broken. Hey Zelda Princess, we're making Leonardo da Vinci's uh, workshop. We're gonna be doing a, a challenge tomorrow. Speaking of sleep schedules, Leonardo da Vinci had an interesting sleep schedule where he only slept for 20 minutes every four hours. And I want to see if a sim can have a similar sleep schedule. Again, this is not a... It's just a test of the sims here. Just testing the sims. It's an interesting idea. Hey, lovely. How you doing? I got your, uh, your room. Your inspirational room.
Mm. Oh, the real workshop in France. Yes, I've seen this picture. Thank you. I saw this and I thought I thought it looked a bit too clean, honestly. Um, when I think of his when I think of his workshop, I I think of it being very messy. Uh, but he knows where everything is, you know. Someone said last night, um, uh, Adam Savage from the Mythbusters, he does like videos of his workshop and there's like all this metal everywhere on shelves and tools everywhere. I imagine it's like that, but just but wood, a lot of wood everywhere. Organized chaos, exactly, exactly. Maybe there's like this, and there's like really. We're gonna definitely test this. Um, see if it works. Because mm. there's a good chance it won't work. Yeah, I built this using the tool mod, the fly machine here, and then we have the, um, the tank back here. Half penny pitches everywhere. Yeah, that's a good idea. The curtains. Yeah, yeah. Art, yeah, lots of clutter. Uh, let's put things here. Maybe, yeah, maybe we can do like bookshelves along here. Do do do. So if you do like artwork and you put them on the gallery, it it flags the CC. Um, probably because you could technically take a, a, um, a CC of a naughty object, have the sim painted and then put it on the gallery, that painting. Uh, so I imagine that's why it's flagged. They can't guarantee what that painting is going to be <laughs> clean or not. <laughs> so... Fireplace. There we go. You try to flag. I don't understand how that works. Sometimes paintings don't flag, but I don't know how it knows or doesn't know. I've had paintings flag, and then I've heard some don't flag. So I don't, I don't know. I knew it was gonna happen. I was gonna go, <laughs> like knocking it down slowly, and then I'll do a bunch of going through the wall. Swat under the fest for 33 months. Hey, Stepan, thank you so much for that. Uh, do 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 do. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Well, too uh, too much. Just keep uh, just keep going. I guess. There we go. There we go. We gotta put Jerry in here. You're right. Uh, the original, and also we're gonna have. Him paint Mona Lisa. That's the other thing we're gonna do. Capaldi created a Mona Lisa for me. The Mona Lisa does have CC, uh, and it looks really good.
Wait, which one? I got this one and that one. Is that the one you're talking about? Marcus Da Marcus Da Vinci. <laughs> yeah, this one you like this one better. Oh, there's one over here. I think there'd be like a bunch of that stuff. All right, what else we have in here? Lovely put this thing together for me. It's a cool uh, collection of things. I guess we put like a fireplace in here, maybe. Let's do the bed on this side. And then we'll take this. It'd be like a double fireplace. Can't, can you not shift click columns now? Hey Mars, how you doing today? Crust and Nero use their Twitch Prime. Hey, thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, I'm doing good. It's, doing, it's good to see you. Mm -mm. Right, I'm doing great. It's good to see you as well. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do here? Kind of like this, maybe. Can I, put, can I put this like here, but then also here? Is that weird? And then we do um, like a door there or something. Is that weird? A bit weird. It's a bit weird. Get rid of this bumpy bit then. Kind of the way it looks, though. Um... I like this guy, maybe. This is a big. It's a bit big, isn't it? It's a bit goofy, yeah? Maybe this way I was like there then. Wait, what about- wait, what? What are you trying to get me to play on that? CK? Oh, Slime Rancher. I did promise Minecraft though, that's the only thing. Dan Star will be so disappointed, you know what I mean? Will someone please figure the dance dollar? Mm -mm -mm. Did anyone watch the Nintendo Direct? The um, uh, what is it? The uh, the Indies Direct? Dan will understand. <laughs> I don't know. That's a very like cozy uh, bedroom. 
And then here we'll put like a a couch or something. Figured. I figured uh, maybe Leonardo wants some downtime. What's a good couch? That was an Indies directory. It was an Indies one, so no, no, uh, no Animal Crossing. <laughs> You'd bribe her. It'd just be by myself, Penny. No one wants to play Minecraft with me. No, uh, Button's on vacation right now. And uh, James is busy. That is not like Danny Um. I mean, you're bigger with good points. How much is it? I currently died 22 times in one day. 25 bucks? But I only spent my $25 on a lawn, lawn care game. Lily. You know what I mean? I get one twenty-five dollars a month. I spent it on lawn care. <laughs> sure. Hey, love, hey Z. Room. Welcome. Fryn is now hosting my stream with one hundred and fifty-seven viewers. Welcome, everybody. It's a bean raid. <laughs> Beanie weenies incoming. Welcome, everybody. How was your stream, Z? Thanks for coming on in. I appreciate that. What are you up to today? Uh, for those who don't know who I am, I'm Dr. Gluon. I'm building Leonardo da Vinci's workshop with uh, his with his like tank thing here and his flying machine up here. We're going to be doing a Leonardo da Vinci challenge tomorrow. Uh, so I'm just finishing up the build today so that way we're all ready for the challenge tomorrow. The decades challenge is 1890s. Oh my god, that's awesome. Vampires, family curses, dad who stares at the sun. The usual. <laughs> that's awesome. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Yeah, it's been cool. It's been cool. Uh, this is the outside here. Th this is like a little inspirational room here. This is all my uh, lovely put this together for me for stuff I can use in the build. But I'm thinking we'd do like a crane out here, maybe. Just kind of going over. You know? I'm sure there's a lot of like experiments going on. I don't know where this can go. Somewhere that makes more sense. Maybe there. So. We got this guy we could put somewhere. It's all got very cluttered right now as I'm trying to figure out where things are gonna gonna go. Yay! Penny Jenny cheered X two hundred. Am I the only that feels like Leonardo da Vinci would have some sort of secret bookcase door? Mm. A book of secrets? Aliens? I love that idea. I don't know what I would put in there, though. I love it. I love it. I'm with you. But what would we put in there? What kind of couch would Leonardo da Vinci have? What's a good, uh, what's a good Renaissance couch? Is that too, is that too modern? Is it going wood? Top pocket find. Stuff will get together. Let's have a look. Hey, Megan. Do, 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 do. Stone bench. You know, benches, not couches. 
Right. So like that then. <laughs> I mean, you want some, you want some kind of backup support, do you? Hmm. Hmm. Just a hay bale. You think I have something? Sam and Max. Sam and Max. The, they remastered it. It's on Xbox now. I can't want to play that too, Lily. Though. Two hundred secret bookcase store to the space between the fireplaces leads down to basement where he dissects bodies and does mad sciency stuff. <laughs> Glue think. <laughs> I love it. I love that idea. That's such a good idea, but doesn't really like tie into the challenge that we're going to be doing, though. And I love it. I think it's like really fun. I just don't think we're going to actually use it. I love the Slayer Max games, and I didn't even know, but I guess they remastered the original one, and it's on Xbox now. The only reason why I know because they said it was on Xbox now. And I looked it up, but I found out it's it's uh, it's on Penny Jenny cheered X two hundred. I like Lily's idea of a time machine, but also maybe that is where he keeps the Mona Lisa, his most prized possession. Oh, we're going to be painting the Mona Lisa. That's part of the challenge. So in this in this uh, I guess scenario, he hasn't painted it yet. He will be painting it. I've had. Uh, Capaldi created a Mona Lisa for me. And it looks awesome. Let me show it to you, Ashley. They did a great job. Tia Dictate. Under the Fez. For 16 months. Hey, Doc. Currently catching up the 100 Baby Challenge on YouTube. Loving it. Thank, Thank you. you for all of your fun and hard work doing what you do. That's the Mona Lisa. What do you think? That was a small bathroom. Is that a fainting counter? I think that's pretty good. <laughs> they created a CC, um... Makeup. So, do look at that one. Uh, there we go. That was the CC. <laughs> that was the moisturize me person. Yeah, yeah, they did a good job. They did a good job. So, uh, I don't know, like, at what point we're going to have, I don't know, we'll just kind of move Mona Lisa in, and then he's got to try and paint her or something. We've got to find a good place to do it. It's very orangey in the background. If you look at that painting, it's, like, very yellowy orange in the background. You put a rocket down there? He needs a rocking chair, yes. Of course. Let me get to him. Go to that one. La 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 We're going for the mini fridge idea. Wait, what was that one? Rocket chairs were invented in the 18th century. You know, this isn't like a... We're not like, um... This isn't like a historical aqua kind of thing. <laughs> This is a fun, just for fun. Just a fun here. <laughs> it's all for fun.
Oh, how good would a how good would a Sims Mini Wolf two be? You know, how cool would that be? Would you play a Sims Mini Wolf two? Anyone here? Lily, do you want to poll real quick? Who's here played Sims Medieval? And then obviously played it versus not played it. My first Medieval stuff. Look at my life right now. I mean, it's one of those games that was like... It wasn't great, but it was. Re I liked it a lot. It was a lot of rabbit holes. It was just a big old rabbit hole game. But, uh, ah, it was fun. Oh, what's this hand thing? I didn't know we really had more hand stuff. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You didn't play, but you watched, a, you watched LPs of it. There's the poll in chat, by the way. You can see it right here. Uh, up here. Have you played some video? We'll say yes. Because I have. Um, it works on mobile as well. So I wonder if they do like a Sims Mini Ball 2 eventually, you know? Chatception. <laughs> I'm gonna put this thing down somewhere too. Let's be back here. It's a yeah. Yeah, a lot of people haven't. Well, mo I mean, majority haven't. All right, once that one's done, Lily, here's another one for you. Would you be excited for Sims Medieval 2? Regardless if you played the first one or not. They are working on some. Yeah, they are working on Sims 3 and 5. Um, yes. We don't know. They haven't officially announced anything, but. But yeah, they're definitely making one. So I don't. Yeah, I guess with that, if that's the case, then probably. It's probably not going to be a Sims Medieval 2, but. Maybe the maybe Sims Sims Five is not you know maybe it's further off. Maybe it's way further off. Maybe it's like a you know, couple years, three years off maybe. And so then they bring out you know the Sims Sims um, Sims Medieval in between or something. Like that. I don't know. There's a new poll. It asks you, would you be interested in one? This is this is not this is not uh, anywhere tied to EA. <laughs> um, so this does not mean you're definitely getting one if you type yes. <laughs> I'm just curious. Hey, how you doing? You can see a Sims 5 launch in 24 months. Um, I would say that Sims Sims 5 launches on uh, in a September. But we would hear about it the March before. That's always been my theory. I'm sticking to it. So I don't think we're going to get one. I don't think we're going to get one this year because we haven't heard about it yet. I feel like we would have heard about it by now. So maybe next March, 
we hear about it. Then it comes out the September after that. Huh? Did you hear about the spiral staircase rumor? No. Where's that coming from? I, have, I do not have a drip pipeline. <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't be asking you about it. <laughs> Plumbella has the scoop. Jesse, hook me, hook me up. Where are you getting this sweet scoop from? Yeah, there's there's talk of it having an online component to it. Um, I don't know much about that yet, but that could be cool. It could not be cool, maybe. Scoop. Six years too late. Hey, that's the thing, and this always happens. This happened with Sims 3. In Sims 4, Sims 3. Uh, Sims 5 is going to come out, and it's going to have none of the features that Sims 4 has. I mean, I, and I have the new thing. So, like, Sims 4 had, like, the emotions, right? That was their big thing. So, it I have it I have that. It I have it have something that Sims 4 doesn't have, but it won't have it won't have this, it won't have that. <laughs> People will be all upset about the whole thing. I feel like I feel like Sims 5 will be semi multi um open open world. I don't think it'd be open world like Sims 3, but I feel like it'd be like open neighborhoods. Like a like uh like there's a house over there. You'd be able to walk to that house, but you would be able to like travel to any of the other areas of Windenburg. You know, like how we got there's like three or four different areas in Windenburg as being one of them. Like, I feel like it'd be open world where we could walk to, like, that house. But, like I said, you kind of just go over there, you know? You have to no worries. Have a great night. Uh... I, I kind of feel like that's what Sims 4 was going to be. And then they pulled back on that. At some point, they decided, mm, let's pull it back and not do that. Yeah, too much for sure, for sure. Had a good night at work. Excited to have a day off. Sweet. Oh, but well, yeah, I mean, I feel like now, I mean, if you buy even a cheap computer now, it, it, it'll be at handled in. Uh, so. Do you play Sims or a Stardew? Do life before bed. I don't play much anything outside of stream. I might play a, uh, I might play a, um, a mobile game. Or... Sometimes I'll play something, but I haven't played much anything recently. I play Adobe Premiere, the action-packed game. From Adobe. It's pretty sweet. Edit and 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 ed
for the YouTubes. <laughs> Final Cut Pro? Yeah. I I almost wanna get a Mac for Final Cut Pro because Adobe sometimes it just like it's janky sometimes. I tell you what, it's so janky sometimes. But it's expensive. It's expensive to get into though. Like, I literally have to restart uh, Premiere. If I edit for hour and a half straight, it starts becoming like... My whole computer starts flashing and like seizing up. It's like, what the heck? So I have to restart my computer and then it... No, no, restart the, the, the uh, program and it's fine. It's pretty rough. It's pretty rough. So I'm like, maybe I should just get like um, just an, uh, um, some kind of Mac. I've never actually owned a Mac. See, so that's the thing. I never owned one. No, no, I saw. I did own one. It was that one that was like a square and had a floppy disk drive in it. What was that called? <laughs> <laughs> that's the only Mac I've ever owned. And by owned, I mean. My parents owned it, so I just had it. I never actually, it wasn't really me owning it. OG iMac, yeah. New poll. Would you play the movies too? I mean, yes. What are the movies? I need to, I need to educate. I need to educate the people on this question, because seriously. You didn't know that with the movies. Movies are so good. Such a good game. Such a good game. It's a shame, really. That is, uh, it's not really around anymore. I just made lemmings on it all the time. It wasn't the toy, it wasn't the toy one. It was before that. It was like, a, it was like, a. you know, the off white box. It was earlier than that. Bold as gay. Oh wait, I got these guys right there. Let's go! A Macintosh. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, like the ones you find in schools. Hasn't been a movies two yet. What is the movies? <laughs> Call me Kevin's the movie series. But yeah, I think if I uh if I make a purchase for the stream, the next one will be probably probably a, 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 a Mac, an iMac. Is it an iMac? Iron? What is it? <laughs> and it will be a dedicated editing machine with Final Cut Pro on it. I've never used Final Cut Pro, but I'm sure it's. I'm sure I'd be able to pick it up pretty quickly. It's just like Premiere, right? I mean, it's just like Premiere. I, mean, I love Adobe Photoshop. Uh, I've used Premiere, but it's been so, so jank lately. IMAX, okay.
Cats abused their Twitch Prime. Cats, thank you so much for that. Uh, so tomorrow I'm doing a a let's play in this in this lot. We're gonna be playing as Leonardo da Vinci, and the catch is gonna be that because Leonardo only slept for 20 minutes every four hours that's the way our sim will have to live while also ranking up the painting career or painting um skill set and eventually painting the mona lisa okay it's not like a a long multi-episode it's just gonna be a fun little episode that we do and also to see if our sim can sleep have that sleep schedule can you paint make a painting in four hours i mean you can always like stop painting and resume though i think No worries, Miss Bun. Have a great one. I did. I did leave. Thank you. Okay. Maybe some more bookshelves. I'm here. Maybe one went there. So it's basically salmon. <laughs> That's a schedule. <laughs> Uh, could you do any eco lifestyle career if you wanted to? You could do you could do any of the eco lifestyle careers if you want to make it uh, make it further. Like which ones? They keep quitting the painting to go play basketball. Yeah. Hmm. I want one just like, like a regular bookshelf. Nothing fancy. Hmm. Even that looks too fancy. That looks way fancy. I'll just use the one I got in here. That looks fancy too, but it fits the style a bit more. Kevo and Docker do a collab. Wait, I don't know them. I'm down for collabing. I'm down. I love uh, meeting new people. Call me Kevin. Oh, that's what you guys are talking about. Wait, do they play The Sims? He's so cool, you'll love him, dog. Do I know him? Do I know him? <laughs> His sim law is wild. If you didn't shit, oh, I look at him. Maybe I do know him. Maybe I do know him. <laughs> I didn't read Jen's tweets. He's Irish. Oh, cool. He's not family friendly, 
It's absolutely hilarious. Tons of shenanigans. I do like shenanigans. I do. I do. That's the thing, like, I know, um, I know that, uh, a lot of people kind of, like, don't want multiplayer in The Sims. And I'm with you, and I don't want it either, if it's only multiplayer. However, if there was multiplayer that it was optional, like, if you couldn't, wanted to play online in The Sims, I'd be very much down for that, huh? It would open the door for so much more shenanigans. Yeah, like Stardew Valley, exactly. I have to bring in somebody else and play. Um, like, if you want to play The Sims the way you normally play it, fine. But if there is multiplayer as an optional thing, then I would uh, very much like that. Because then we then it'd be great to play like something. Like, I, I mean, we, me and James have done the multiplayer mod in this. But it's, it's not, you know, you got to make sure it's up to date and is it working with all the new packs and it's still uh, not 100% um, working with everything yet. Like if I build something, James can't see what I've done in the build. It would be cool to play together, but also even like collab build. I mean, I know that'd be kind of nutty, but it'd be kind of neat to just like... You know, hey James, could you come in and help me out? He comes in and he's, you know, he's doing, you know, he's just building, you know, and over here, <laughs> I don't know, I think that'd be neat. Again, if it was optional, if it was, uh, if it was just like, there was only multiplayer, I don't think this would be much. Of, I don't think this would be The Sims anymore, would it? It should be like AC or something. Yeah, except uh, AC's online is pretty terrible. <laughs> yes, but like not like AC because AC's online was terrible. Animal Crossing's online should have been. I open the door. I'm going to do my thing. If you want to come in and hang out, that's cool. If you need to leave, it's cool. Whatever. Except it was. Except it was, I'm coming over. Okay. I'm here. No, I know you're here because I just, I was doing something and I had to stop and load because you came in. I'm leaving now. No, please don't leave. Okay. Come on. That was so annoying. Wait, I think I had a shelf right there. It was great in theory. Yeah, well, it was the same way that um, the Animal Crossing for 3DS was. It was the exact same. I was like, come on. Could you have not done something a little bit better than that system? It's been a while. But now it's dead. Yeah, it's it's kind of knocked, trailed off. I guess they got updates coming out. They said they're still doing updates. So that's cool. But they haven't been talked about in a while. I mean, I want the cafe. I want to build the, I want to build the cafe and I want to, gosh, I want another island. But, um, you know. To be fair, I played more of this Animal Crossing than I, I played of any of Animal Crossing. That's kind of the way Animal Crossing is for me personally. I play it a lot and I just kind of trail off. <laughs> and same happened with 3DS. It happened with the DS one. I play for a lot and then trail off. And then the uh, the um, uh, Switch one, I played a ton of. You know, played, um, yeah, it, I mean, this was a lot of people's first one. But they're all very much the same. If you look at 
If you look at the other ones, they're all pretty much the same game. You'll be surprised how much of the same game they are. I mean, they're very, very similar. Like, all the animals are always the same. They added a few new ones in, uh, in New Horizons. And the crafting system was new. Yeah, yeah, that was that is absolutely decorate the town was it was a new part. My boyfriend deleted the whole game from our switch. I didn't even notice until a week after. I didn't even notice until a week after he had done it because I didn't play it anymore. Oh, terraforming is new. Decorating the island was new, and the crafting was new. And the crafting was huge. I mean, that was so cool they added that. I mean, this was... I, I said it when it first came out. I thought it was the best Animal Crossing. I thought it was the best Animal Crossing. And I've loved the other... I loved the other Animal Crossing. So it was a great one. But eventually I was going to get move on from it. Hitting villagers with nets is fun. I love how everyone thought that's how you got rid of the... Um, I don't like this animal, so I'm going to hit him with a net every day. And then also barricade them off from the whole of the rest of the island. Curtains? I don't know. I don't think I had curtains back then. It's repetitive. Yeah, it does. It does. You know, and, and in like five years when they come up with the next Animal Crossing, it's going to be great again. It's going to be sweet. I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. Have a good night, Mason. You just ordered cold stone? What? I love this thing. All right, so... We gotta have this telescope somewhere. I don't know where yet, but I gotta put it somewhere. Also some windows in the front. Might look pretty good. Under the fest for 29 months. Dot Romantic corn. face. Thank you so much for that. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I need something on this place to make it, you know, a bit more uh, looking like Leonardo da Vinci's build or house. I'm going to put a crane on top of this roof. Anything else? Any of her, like, Machines we should build using tool. I saw someone shrink that lawn decor down and put it on a table. I think we're good. I think we're good, Claude. You can stop now. But I don't want to stop, Lily. I think it's time to move on. Just like that. Okay. You got 25 bucks? <laughs> A toy helicopter. 
How's this LP gonna be like? We're gonna be playing as uh, Leonardo da Vinci. And we're going to, and we're going to be painting the Mona Lisa while managing our wacky sleep schedule. Reddit is down. Reddit wants me to reset the password. I'm like, okay. It says I'll send you an email. Say, like, all right, no problem. Doesn't send me an email. I hate when that happens. That happens all the time. It's like, hey, we're gonna send you an email. All right, no email. <laughs> It's like, okay, try it again. I'll just wait, I'll just try again. I checked the junk folder, nothing. Do, do, do. I just need to know which one I need to know which one rotates. We need to play this game. Which one rotates? Cause most of these don't rotate. Alright, you ready? Which columns rotate and which don't? All right. There we go. Ready? There we go. <laughs> Those ones rotate him. <laughs> oh, oh, was that just like him? Yeah. Surprisingly, very little. Oh, that was rotating at a weird angle. La 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 Sounds good love them Where's the game show music? <laughs> People are sleeping, Lily. <laughs> you want to wake them up? Uh, let's see. I'm doing good. Cast Blue, good to see you. This is my favorite song. Right next to all of them. <laughs> nope, nope. Not quite. Uh, I love that idea though. Let me write that down.
la 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 here we go are you ready are you ready here we go here we go it's like riding a roller coaster we're getting to the top we're climbing to the top of that roller coaster. Here we go. Here we go. Hands up, everybody. Woo! Woo! La 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 That was good. That was good. Holy moly. Holy moly. I'm back, P3. How you doing? That was good. That's a good song. <laughs> now let's bring it down a notch. Got too excited. No, no, no. Let's bring it down a notch. Here we go. An oldie, but a classic. Nope. Here we go. Here we go. La 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 I say oldie. It's like last 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 expansion pack. Building a crane. Africa was assassin, thanks for being here. to us please bring honor to us please bring we're gonna crane because i feel like you uh, know some kind of crane involved there 
keep the jams are coming. Here we go. Sims 4 soundtrack slaps. It does. It does indeed. I'm putting a crane. <laughs> Well, you know, it's not like a a big invention or a invention of Leonardo da Vinci, but I feel like he would have some kind of thing, uh, just kind of, you know, hoist things up on the side of the building. I don't know. Do 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 do. Wait, is that the bottom of there? Okay, hang on. Makes sense if I go the other way with him. this up as I go along honestly. I don't know uh, if it would be functional but <laughs> and then we got a sticky out bit here that's all we need really Trebuchet. Just gotta hang outside the building. Uh, there are spiral thingies outside Da Vinci's French house. Wait, like trees? Should be rotate these guys like this. One of these guys tape in a bit. I don't know. I should probably look up what a crane looks like. It might help. Ah, I would just wing it.
Winging it. I've been watching your decades, uh, how's baby challenge? Thank you. More of that to come. Let's have these meats. Any engineers watching right now? <laughs> that looks like a crane. That's very craney. I apologize. I apologize if you're an engineer. Oh my gosh. That would not hold up. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Rain inspired. Emma Light, under the fest for five months. <laughs> Emily. Has it already been five months glue blank. Thank you so much. Uh... Which one do you play now? Oh, thank you, Amanda. Appreciate that. You got the Final Fantasy, eh? Emily, you like reading, eh? It's a good game. I, I'm enjoying it too. <laughs> oh, that is a crane. That is a crane. This fits, that, 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 that's not supposed to be there. Structurally, extremely sound. It looks stupid because it's like tapered in like that. We should put like a chain on it or something. Put a box on there. I don't know why not. I, I don't understand why. He, he wouldn't want to hoist stuff up so he can get like, work underneath it. You like it? I 
Let's use that chain from Snow Escape. This is actually a, uh, kind of an odd object in that um, when you shrink it, it doesn't actually shrink the chain part. See? It shrinks the... Um, that, little, that little thing. Which uh, works out for us. As long as I can... Um, As long as I can kind of get it in its right spot here. It's really hard to tell. <laughs> You know? But, that's why we can use the tool model. Actually, I think that's pretty good. I think that's good. Alright, let's put like a box underneath or something. So it actually has something looking like it's hoisting up. Something like that, but by itself. Any of those boxes is by itself. Um, or a barrel, maybe. Some of cats and dogs. Pop, 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 pop. What are these? Could hang it from the, this handle, but obviously the handle is uh, not really being hung, is it? Do 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 do. We can rotate it too. Oh, I can't rotate that. Oh. Why? Nah, we can rotate. What are you talking about? What? Why? Excuse me? A good old Canada Dry. I love Canada Dry. My solid choices are Canada Dry or clearly Canadian. Uh. All from uh, all Canadian sodas. <laughs> you just love us Canadians, that's why I didn't. I love Canada Rhyme. Maybe this thing. I did not know that was gonna happen. <laughs> That was like a um, haunted mansion kind of thing happening there. Whoa! <laughs> I put those down before. I didn't know it went all the way down. <laughs> Even the picture shows it being small. <laughs> I did not know that was going to happen. Alien device. <laughs> yeah, exposed by tool. I just lived it up. 
Uh, what do we have then? What could go at the end of that? We got a bit something at the end of that pole. We got a bit something down there. Oh wait, rats holes. Hang on. Sorry, rat break. No, don't do it, on. There was rats back then. Uh, what happened now? We need ducks. We got lots of ducks. We got a whole duck bag. We got a whole duck bag. <laughs> Can we never have a nice build? I'm sorry. This isn't the nice build stream, Lily. I'm sorry. You've come the wrong one. There's plenty of a wonderful builders in this community doing wonderful builds. I am not one of those uh, wonderful people. What about a bucket? Well, yeah, the bucket would be cool, but like, look like it's hanging, doesn't it? You called the duck. I did. You know what? I did. Everyone laughed when we said we we're gonna get a duck pack. Oh, look who's laughing now. <laughs> Uh, wait for me. <laughs> um, any ideas what this what this crane could be ho hoisting up? We gotta hoist something up. We've got we, we built. I built this whole crane here. We're like a, a duck, <laughs> like a mini crane. Should I hoist up a mini crane? The flying machine. I already got one inside though. The skeleton. And the reason why I didn't do it on the outside is I thought it'd be uh too small. Do you think? Well maybe. Maybe we can just kinda of grab it here. We'll get rid of this bucket here. I'm not good with that. That's a tattoo thing. I got another one maybe. The statue. The telescope. Luckily, this isn't made out of too many objects, so I can, ooh, ooh. We're going to paint it as part of the challenge. We're going to, we're going to paint it as part of the challenge. Well, we're painting a bunch of paintings, and then we're gonna move Mona Lisa in. Yay! Drew underscore is underscore peachy underscore. Cheered X two hundred. Can I have laughs and giggles and chaos now, please? What did I miss? Just spent the last minutes cleaning up after my brother. He brought down a lizard whom I love to visit me, but didn't realize he was covered neck to tail in poop. <laughs> I'm sorry, but how? As someone who is a germaphobe, partially BC of a low immune system, all I say is why? And also what about a dirigible? He made a design for that as well. Uh, a what one? A dirigible, what is that? I can look into it. A blimp? Oh, an airship. Oh, yeah. Do you think this guy should be out here too, but also indoors? Is it is it too lame to have two of them? Is it lame to have two of them? I like it being indoors up here. It looks like a museum. But then, like, uh, it's also kind of cool for it to be outside. It looks so cool. Okay, keep it then. Okay. Uh, I'm have to move the crane over more. Hang on. <clears throat>
See what's going on now? What's happening? That just had to come out. That just had to happen, I'm sorry. Thanks, Lily. <laughs> that just had to happen. I apologize uh, for that sudden and beautiful outburst. Builder. Anne has the voice of an angel. I must follow. I must. Do 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 Gluons we have we have heard on high. <laughs> Talented, funny, and handsome. La 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 Look at look here. It's a very it's very back heavy, okay? Uh it's why it's tilting like that. Okay. Okay guys. It's why. Just gonna hang it on the side there. Mm -mm -mm. With a save. Wait, what spirally things was in front of uh, his yard? I basically just been singing the whole time, Drew. No, no, we uh we got some stuff done. We got some, we've been getting some stuff done. Just putting the finishing touches on this guy, and then uh, after this, we're gonna create. Leonardo uh, in the cast, so that's gonna be fun. I know how much everyone loves when I do cast. Whoa, what's happening? We don't have anything that matches this, do we? Of course we don't. Of course we don't. If I, del if I delete that, no. Of course we don't. <laughs> Just a weird plot. Why would like the why would the standard be whatever this is? You know, why would it be grass? Wouldn't it be like should it be like this? I don't know. I don't know. Chaos. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Residual Chaos is now hosting my stream with 17 viewers. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Chronicler Sims 8. Cheered X200. Here is some chaos for Drew. So the flight cage is down downstairs. The bird goes to the cage but is confused because there are two cages now. I move over his stuff, including his mirror. He proceeds to attack me because he thinks the mirror is his friend. He is the most narcissistic bird ever. <laughs> right now, he is making happy noises because he is cleaning pretty much every feather he has, which is not a lot since he is half naked. Amazing. 
Because Sims. <laughs> Thank you for that story, Quantico Sensei. <laughs> you good luck with that one. How was your stream, Chaos? How was your stream? Go give uh, Chaos a follow, everybody. Wait, hang on. It was a 15 hour stream? What? Holy moly. Did I hear that right? 15 and a half hour stream. My gosh. You must be exhausted. <laughs> You forgot the point five, the most important part. Uh, well, thanks for coming in at the end there. I appreciate that. Uh, we're hanging out. I'm building um, Leonardo da Vinci's house slash workshop. We've got some of uh, his like inventions in here. And we're going to be doing like a let's play on it tomorrow where we have to paint the Mona Lisa, but also we can only sleep every four hours for 20 minutes. Only 20 minutes every four hours. So that's that's a challenge. Um, the schools of vampires. They will fit in. I think the inside's pretty good right now. I feel like the outside's a bit uh, a bit plain. Maybe a few cracks on the walls, maybe. Sounds like a seventeen-year-old I know. <laughs> Some more cracks everywhere. So for those who don't know, I'm, I'm kind of mentioning this uh, most streams. Uh, we are moving uh, to a new house for realsies at the end of the month. I'm going to try to make uh, the move, uh, the transition pretty uh, quick. Hopefully, <laughs> that's my plan. It may not end up being that way, but that's the plan. Yeah, uh, the house we have been living in, which we've lived in uh, for a long time, is it's pretty small. So we got one bathroom. And I've talked about this before. Uh, I have three daughters, one son, and I feel like we're probably going to need a maybe a little bit bigger place <laughs> as they get older. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not been that bad now, but as they get older, it's definitely going to be a problem. So we've been looking. Uh, we actually looked a couple of years ago. I kind of talked about that as well. We couldn't find anything, uh, but we found a place now, which is good. And um, and we'll we'll be moving, and hopefully it goes well. Hopefully get set up as quickly as possible and I can just kind of transfer over there. She's going to be a teenager in, in like three years, Brad. <laughs> it's not like it's not like that much bigger, but it has more bathrooms. Um, and uh, th there are, there's like space where we could put a wall in and then make that new bedroom. So. Uh, right now we have two we have three bedrooms so two of the kids are sharing this is the same but there's like space there's like a, like there's like almost like a, an area that's like a open bed we're like if we just slap a wall there then that could be another bedroom so uh the most important part is it's got more, uh, more bathrooms <laughs> it has at least two full bathrooms and there's a bathroom in the basement which is where i will be streaming from so the wife was joking that I need to make sure I mute my cam and mute my mic because otherwise you might be in my, you know, might hear stuff. Um, <laughs> a better ISP? That is that that. Who knows? Who knows? 
There's no guarantee on that. I don't. I hope it's not worse. But I don't know. I can't say it's gonna be better. It's similar area, so. But it is a different area, so maybe, maybe. Bathrooms, you hype? Change my contact. I mean, I, I don't have much options here. The thing is, is that I don't know if it's, this is the same way in other countries, but in America, cable companies have monopolies in areas. It's like one, one, uh, one cable company per area. You can't. They have this monopoly because they can say, "Well, there's always Dish Network." Uh, they, you could, you could always go with a Dish Network, and it's like, yeah. No, I mean, but they don't have internet. And they go like, well, yeah, but there's always DSL. And DSL is not as good. Uh, so, kind of a... That's just the way it is. They've They is. They've had these monopolies, it's like, um, it's like an okay monopoly. I don't know how they call it. It's the gum because obviously you're not allowed to have monopolies in in this country, but like cable companies get like a, a exemption from that. Like, no wonder if, uh, Cox Cable has so much money that they can afford to buy NBC or whatever. It's because they have a monopoly on everything. But anyway. I hope it's okay. I mean, my like I said, my internet is not bad. It's only when it's bad that it's bad. <laughs> uh, so, but when it's not bad, it's pretty good. Oh, I'm originally from England. Yeah, you're good. I'm, ori I'm originally from England. So, yeah. Does that make sense there? Like that one? Ooh, this one? Oh, thank you, Anna. Appreciate you. Do, 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 do. La. Our ISP is city owned. It's actually better than cable. Oh, that's cool. I mean, there's a potential that new uh, systems will come in around and that'd be good. But yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. A new area has potential to be better anyway, because we're in a new area and maybe someone isn't turning on uh, plugging in a VCR in that area. You know what I mean? Less VCR usages in that new area. Gotta watch that. Someone plugs in a VCR, boom. The whole network goes down, you know? It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. <laughs> People were winding all their tapes. <laughs> we'll pack it up. And we have boxes of DVDs. And the wife's like, why are we keeping these? Do we even have even the ability to watch DVDs? And I'm like, I don't care. One of these days, I'm gonna feel like watching the entire, the entire catalog of Lost. 
and I have all of them on a DVD and I'm ready to go. You don't know. Two years from now? Yeah. I'm going to start watching Seinfeld again, even though I can watch it already because it's always on TV. But I got them on DVD so I can watch it whenever I want to. We also found some cassette tapes, but we're not throwing those away because those are good tapes. <laughs> Just rip it. Look at that. I want to rip it. Look at that. You know, who has the time for those? That's illegal, Lily. That's illegal. DVDs are good as gold. Totally. Harry Potter on uh, VHS. Is that right? I bought it, but I don't own it. It's the whole, it's a whole thing. When you buy a game, you don't own it. You're just simply buying the rights to use it. You don't own the movie. Nothing is owned. <laughs> and it's as far as media goes. Yay! Nothing is owned. Chronicles MZ to cheers buying the rights to use it. Sure, Doc. Mm. I understand. I ordered the whole series of 1980s He-Man and She-Ra. <laughs> I have no excuses, glue cringe, glue lol. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Say no more. Say no more. That's classic. Backing up your content for own is that a is that a law? Is that a world law? Is that a is that a I feel like that depends on where you live. I mean no one's gonna stop me. I mean who's gonna find out if I did that? But I would never do that, Brad, because I'm a good boy. I'm a good guy, Brad. I'm a good guy. A terrible place for for a telescope. It was on sale. I mean, I have the entire Thundercats collection. No, I think I just have season one of Thundercats. Sooty is soot. Cheered X200. When I was little, I would entertain myself by taking out all the VHS tapes out of the cases, stacking them up, and then putting them back in. I would do this for hours. <laughs> I have no idea how my parents didn't figure out I was autistic until my junior year of high school, Lamau. Aww. Do 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 do. You could literally have arms. I mean, okay, fair enough, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> nope. I'm gonna keep them in a box. In the new basement, uh, where one day I will be like, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna watch that old cassette tape of The Great Escape. Let's go. <laughs> but it's on Netflix. Oh, okay, never mind then. Netflix it. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Do I? That's what the wife keeps saying. She says I don't have one. Can the Xbox Series X play DVDs? I'm sure it can. I mean, it's a Blu-ray player, right? In there, it can play it, right? Yeah. Yeah. See, we're good. Does the series, uh, does the Xbox Series X have a VHS tape in there? <laughs> Gonna jab my VHS tape into it. Come on, Xbox, play, I get play. They can play DVDs. There we go. Can I copy that? Can I copy that, Brad, and send it to my wife? 
Uh uh, press as I can, so. You got a VHS slash DVD combo? Nice. Screenshot it, Braz. I do not get me in between that argument. Do not make me part of that. Go on. <laughs> the Wii can? Uh, yeah, I can hook up my Wii. That's true. I can totally hook up my Wii. <laughs> can, can my Switch play him? The sundial? I have a, I have a sundial here. Is that what you mean? I don't think that's a good spot for it, but I don't know where else to put it. Let's put some like crates along here. I mean, I'm not gonna play the DVDs, but I don't know. I just can't can't get rid of them. That's, that's years and years of collecting DVDs work right there. Everyone is special in their own way. Home movies. Home movies are definitely good idea to back up. Oh, wife's down here. Hey. What, what happened here? What happened here? What the heck? Oh, no, you didn't do it. Thanks. Dang it, game! I basically well put these columns around. Ugh. Luckily, we copied it over here. Lucky I copied it. That's so annoying. Gosh, I just, I don't, I don't understand. And it just drives me insane that you do something and then delete something random that's not even near it. But thank God we copied it. Let's save it. Do I have the goos on speed dial? <laughs> I do. Uh... I got a bone to pick. A bell not working good. Why he no kill? I'd be, I'd be super mad if uh, I didn't copy this, so thank goodness we did that. We kind of saved it over here. Simgu Doc. Simgluru. Simgluru. I kind of rotated that one, so let me rotate this one back a bit. Why he no kill? Oops. I would have rage quitted it. Well, like I said, luckily, I, luckily we, we had copied it. If we hadn't copied it, then... I would have to do a bunch of delete uh, undoing until figure out when exactly it decided to delete half my objects. Are we crashing now? What's happening? Oh boy. Okay. That's all, that's all, that's all. Have you saved? I don't know. Actually, I just did save it. So we're okay. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Let's bring it down a bit.
It was too low. You're a fan of uh, Da Vinci, right, wife? I am. Who you think it's workshop? Got the fly machine there. Yeah. We got uh, lovely. Lots of stuff. Yeah, really nice job. And then outside, I've got another one. The workshop? No, another fly machine. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's cool. The tags. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Where's the Vitruvian man? Yeah, uh, I don't know how we're gonna do that. Yes, it's because it's copyright issues that I'm doing. I won't get sued by the Da Vinci uh, organization. She's impressed. <laughs> uh, well, I think we're good now. I don't know how else we were doing here. Oh, I was going to do boxes along here, wasn't I? That's what I was trying to do until I realized it was broken. It was probably when I put those columns there is when it broke. It's just something where it's just some, something where sometimes you do something to the building and it just deletes random things inside of it. And it's not always clear why it's doing it, it just decides that it's going to delete those objects now. I'm always surprised how big these boxes are. Okay, put a bit like crack there, maybe. I'm sure there's some crashes going on in there. It's building scene, some things. Thank you, team. <coughs> Gonna go great. Yeah, we're gonna be moving uh, to a a new house at the end of the month. I will try to, uh, the wife thought I could just do it without even telling anybody and then yeah, just, they, 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 they probably would have found, they probably would have thought it was odd. What? They'd be like, wait a minute, well, something's different about this place. Like what? Like the mic might not be, might, the sound might not be exactly the same. There are things that can happen. Would never lie to you, so yeah. <laughs> Good night, B-Frame. Right. <laughs> you would have noticed. 
If you would have. They would have. Yeah, but like. Like when the kids come down and like divulge all your. Mm hmm. Plot twist I'm in a moving truck right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually driving the car. Whoa! Hang on, we're fine. <laughs> Did you read what uh, Steve said there? Get rid of stuff you don't need. Yeah, we are. But we're keeping our DVDs. We never <laughs> we don't know when we're gonna need to watch Lost again. What do we own that plays DVDs? The Xbox plays DVDs. I confirmed it. Brad confirmed it. The new Xbox, Brad? Yeah. Brad confirmed it. Uh oh, Brad's in trouble. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> Rip Brad. <laughs> We never saw Brad again. <laughs> <laughs> Lost watch party. Let's go. Once you start watching, you can't stop watching. Until the last season, we like, that sucked at the end. Right? It's a great show. It was a great show. Last season, not so much, but it was a great show. <laughs> Poor Brad. <laughs> That's why we can't get a divorce, because otherwise the custody battle between Brad would be like terrible, you know? No, Brad would come with me. What? No way! Brad's coming with me! Are you kidding me? I don't know, I think uh No! Brad Look, okay, you can have Brad on weekends. Every other weekend. Every other weekend? You can have Brad every other weekend, but I get Brad every week. <laughs> <laughs> We <laughs> go with this G Doc. <laughs> no, no, don't. Chat needs. Uh, chat keeps Brad. Mom and Daddy, stop fighting. <laughs> Brad, you stay out of this, or I turn this moving truck right around. Whoa! I have to play a game and also drive at the same time. A lot of the lost actors appeared uh, on Once Upon a Time. Oh, yeah? Ah, oh, thanks, guys. Nothing's happening. We're just messing around. Picks up a pad, then pen. Brad, how does this make you feel? Show me what you see in the ink pads. All right, let's give this a test. Let's uh let's load uh sim into it. Let's make a Leonardo da Vinci. Uh let's upload this thing first. Wait, 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 you're gonna go in the cast? I can make old men easy. <laughs> That's like one of my specialties. Anybody else I have difficulty with, but an old man I can nail. Uh let me rephrase that. I can do no. I can make old men in the Sims easy. <laughs> Gluinchi? Leonardo Gluinchi. Perfect.
Oh, Leonardo da Vinci's uh, place. I've got five letters after Leonardo da Vinci. What can I put in there? Da Vinci's workshop. Can't I can't put studio? I only have five letters. I, don't, I can't. I only have five letters. <laughs> Shop. Shop. Expiration point. <laughs> Pad. Hang on. Hang. What? It is hang. I can say Leo da Vinci. I only have one, two, three, four, five letters after Leonardo da Vinci's to put a thing. <laughs> Crib. <laughs> shop. Leonardo da Vinci's shop. Okay, there we go. Uh, work. Shop. Hashtag. Dr. Gluon. Hashtag Leonardo da Vinci. Huh? Fix me little Cindy. Hashtag fix me little Cindy. <laughs> Hashtag words of a truly man. Hashtag Mona Lisa. Classic one. Hashtag Renaissance. Uh oh, are you able to spell that one? I'll we'll just copy from Chad. Oh, okay. Hashtag history. Hashtag my first build. My first build. Hashtag my last build. Before I move. Uh, hashtag lost. Hashtag Hot guys. <laughs> hot old guys. <laughs> Hashtag hot old guys. <laughs> Hashtag lake for lake. Hashtag comment. Hashtag sub for sub. Hot Leos, ugly old guys. Uh, <laughs> hashtag Batu. Hashtag hashtag. Hashtag have fun. Hashtag it's a vibe. Hashtag historical channel IRL. Is that a real thing? I know what that stands for, but I'm saying is that like a, is that like a thing? Hashtag ah oh, Batu. Hashtag Ninja Turtles. Yes, that's a good one. Someone's gonna be so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's radical! Someone made a sweet Ninja Turtle plays. Oh man, it didn't mean any other Leonardo da Vinci's plays. <laughs> Though actually, next build, Le uh, Ninja, Turtle. Ninja Turtle sewer. Hashtag keep the DVDs. Hashtag Oak Island. Hashtag Fez Chicken. Hashtag Leo. Hashtag Master Splinter. Hashtag Shredder. <laughs> Be kind, rewind. The Vicky? Very good. Very good. These are all great. Ever After? Um, I've heard about Ever After. You guys were telling me about Ever After yesterday. Shredder did nothing wrong. Let's hit the bag. Hashtag Shrek. I don't think I can say Spog. Well, let's maybe they change it. I don't know. Leonardo DiCaprio. Again, I feel like someone's gonna be really disappointed. 
Oh, sweet! A Leonardo DiCaprio beer! Oh, man. Duped again. <laughs> this person is very gullible. <laughs> It's Timmy. Uh, oh, Timmy. Timmy. You just attacked by a moth. Oh my gosh. Fire emoji. All right. Uh, oh, hang on. No, never mind. Uh, starter home. Perfect. <laughs> what? Oh, is that is that over the line, Lily? Is that too much? Can't stop, won't stop. All right, here we go. Uploading. Oh, I should have hashtag tool. Dang it, that was actually a good one. That's actually a good one. I love this banner in front. It really just tells, you know, makes it seem like it's part of the scene. Baby says build. Baby says build. Gifted a fest to Leonardo da Vinci. He's subs gifted a tier one sub to Leonardo da Vinci. Oh. They have given 58 gift subs in the and channel. And Brian ruins the name. Leonardo da Vinci under the fairs. Sweet. Here is the workshop. It's all right here. I have not tested it, but it's uploaded now, so that's one. Uh, we got some of his classic machines like that one tank. And that one fly machine, and that fly machine again. You got two of them. Well, see, the thing is, Leonardo built the first fly machine in his workshop, then realized, how the heck am I going to get outside? So they had to build another one outside. Smart. Yeah, yeah, he was very smart, but not, but didn't think through, that far through. All right, let's go ahead and um, see if we can get a sim in here. Chronicler Sims 8. Cheered X200, the chaos has continued. The bird has figured out how to close his own door blues evidently. He wants to go night night glue lol. <laughs> I love the stories of the cockatiel. The cockatiel stories. Lovely gifted a fest to Leonardo Lovely. DiCaprio. Lovely gifted a tier one sub to Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh. They have given 14 gift subs in the Leonardo channel. Leonardo DiCaprio now in the fairs. What? Amazing. Amazing. That's two Leonardos. If I can just get the, the Leonardo the Tur Wait, what was the Leon What was the turtle's last name? Leonardo... The splinter? Brush you maneuver. What was the rat's name? Splinter? Yeah. Have last name. <laughs> Leonardo <laughs> the turtle. That turtle? <laughs> Leonardo the ninja turtle. <laughs> Leonardo the splinter. Yeah, Leonardo the You'll be named after me. <laughs> Splinter. Alright, let's make uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Ooh. I can make old guys. Hmm. Let me pull up a, a pic of him. Yeah, I'm like a Polaroid or something. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. There's plenty of them right here, I don't know. See? Just this guy. That guy right there. Let's make that guy right there. Perfect. Alright. Raining. Old guy. <laughs> Fill a buck. You conqueror. 
All right. Mm, not the right kind of hair. There's a hat on, so let's get the hat going. <laughs> this is a Polaroid. We have that kind of hat, don't we? It's great. I mean, cast. We're all loving this right now. We're all loving this. All right, does it come in green? I'm already there. Put a beard on him. Bing, bang, boom. We got ourselves a Leonardo da Vinci. Look at that. Do you think, wife? Longer beard. That's it. You can't get longer. Long. Hair. You can't have long beards. Can you have long beards? Well, that's it. Hair. That's it. That's a bit. Well, yeah, I can do long hair. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chris. Beard. Beard. I can't do longer beards. Do well, I can't do it. So I don't know what you want for me. How about that? There we go. Okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> He's red. Okay. Hang on. Oops. Of the adult whites. Oh, Zaffle. Whoa. wash. Not gray, but white. Another white. Skimbo? Huh? This is a picture. Huh? That I have. Sharuna. Picture. Photograph. It was, uh, it's, there's also this one. Hello. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hey, why don't you hit that follow button? Yeah, I'm sure you like this guy. Yeah, I know. He's got a fez on and he's uh, kind of goofy the first time you see him. Well, give him a second and I'm sure you're out. Oh, thank you so much for that follow. Oh, I was nice of you. Oh, I shut the windows too much. Hmm. I shook up the windows and everything went black. Oh boy. The stream is over, wife. Nice. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Everything's fine. Don't panic. Because I can't see chat anymore. It's fine. Fine. I don't even know. Why is that a feature? Why is that a thing? Why does Windows do that? Oh, you, 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 you shake the window a little bit? Let me just minimize everything. Now, where was I? <laughs> Kiss a pay to Nova. Pop it up. <sighs> pa -pa -pa, pa -pa -pa. Lily, what are you doing? <laughs> Lily spamming. Mind blown. Now I can't find one of my windows. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay, good. All right, back up now. I'm back up. Hmm. Ooh. Yay! Yeah, I do like Squeeze one photograph. One strange cheer X200 doc. Are you going to make him a dance machine so we can finally use the disco naps? <laughs> Maybe. Do do just takes disco naps every twenty minutes, every every four hours. Welcome to the stream. My name. <laughs> <Sweet>. <laughs> uh, 
Um, his nose is pretty big, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I don't want to make it. I don't want to make it too easy. You know. Angry. Thin nose. Yeah, I guess it's a fin nose. It's got a very big nose, though. Oh gosh, no, hang on. Undo that. Un un undo that one. What I do, and why is it not undoing? Okay, well, that's uh. annoying. Hey, stop animating! Stop animating for a second. I'm trying to fix your uh, face. Climbing. Uh, Da Vinci, could you stop animating, please? Thank you. Got like a bit of a hook nose, right? That happens sometimes. No, 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 no. What? Why is it doing this? Stop messing with the face shape. Uh, cast clock speed zero. Wait, that's a thing. Wait, what does that do? Oh, really? Oh, okay. Didn't know that. Well, now it's not animated now. He's so stiff. <laughs> uh... Buddy? Buddy? Hmm. That's okay. We'll keep it moving. He was kind of freaking me out when he was like that. <laughs> he was kind of freaking me out. <laughs> I didn't know that though, that's cool. Uh, I feel like he's like too pale maybe, or... I guess he's got he's kind of an old guy, so a bit cooler. No, yeah, I did fine. No, it's good. We look so pale. Quite good. Quite good. I mean, I'm using this as a reference, so. <laughs> His skin doesn't look like that in this picture. Ooh. Oh, oh. He's kind of cute as an old guy. Uh oh, hang on, I gotta fix that. <laughs> hang on, I'm not done yet, Lily, okay? I mean, uh, lovely.
Hey, dog. This weathered parchment, we have that. <laughs> Leonardo the Hot. Does he have um, Shrek ears? What do you think, wife? Does he have Shrek ears? Oh, okay. No? I mean, there's so little known about him back then. He could have Shrek ears. Ah, 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 you like a uh, Da Vinci, huh? Ah, uh? Da Vinci, stop. Seduce, seduce, seduce. Shame, shame. Mm, I feel like I've kind of ruined his eyes. I made him look like Da Vinci's been in this thing. Some things. Da Vinci, you cool? Let me, uh, let me try to get some new eyes again. Let me try some new eyes. Uh -huh. <laughs> um. Maybe. Undo, undo, undo. <laughs> he looks kind of sad. I'm trying to go for a sad, though. He's weathered. Do you have that logo? Do we have ridiculously old man eyebrows? What does that even mean? Just like ridiculous. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, outfits. Any like uh, Renaissance outfits we can grab? No. No. Oh, that's uh, Da Vinci as a samurai. It's pretty cool. Try and get famous. Batu clothing. Oh, Batu! Ashwell 7 cheered X200. Look, Doc, it's not our fault you made him such a hottie. <laughs> He's not a hottie. <laughs> oh, Da Vinci the Pirate. Yeah. Let's get to painting. <laughs> Um, no. Oh my gosh. Uh, oops. I mean, actually, that kind of does work. As funny as it sounds. I mean, it kind of works. It kind of works <laughs> for what we're going with. Huh? Aragaba? I have loof. <laughs> seduce, seduce, seduce. La 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 la. Is that a batu tattoo outfit? That's about two outfits. I told you it would work. I'll accept it. Oh, there you go. Now, if you want to download, uh, if you want to download, you're going to have to buy batu. <laughs> it was really my point. This whole thing's a point to get you to buy batu. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Batu for the win. <laughs> you get the gloves on. I download the CC. <laughs> no, you got to own Batu. Okay. <laughs> the starving artists at Disney need your money. Huh? Uh, Almosa? Do 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 do. Some gloves, maybe. 
I would say how glo the gloves are so thin. You like the Pirate Da Vinci? <laughs> Alright, so there's uh, his regular outfit. Uh, that's what he looks like when he swims. So let's um let's let's make sure he always has that hat on. Regardless of the situation, he's got that hat on. What pack was that hat? Oh, it's just base game. It was a green one we put it on. Not Batu hats. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Da Vinci from another planet. <laughs> Bye, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> do 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 Jar Jar was Da Vinci confirmed. That was what was really gonna happen was Jar Jar was gonna be Da Vinci. But everyone hated Jar Jar, so they changed at the end. That's my theory. River Legends 09, under the fest for three months. Hey, Gloom, Jar having a rough few days, so I am glad to be here watching Gloom, oh. non Gloom, non Gloom, high Gloom, high Gloom, or Gloom. It was good to have you here. I'm so sorry you're having a bad couple days. Jovinji. Misa thinks your people gonna die? Mm -mm. You want the sim? Oh, uh, can you remind me to upload, upload um, Prime? I know Prime's already uploaded, but still, uh, people have been mentioning that they want to download Prime and uh, make it easier just under my account. I know Foyer has uploaded them, but. Oh, I got it under my account too. Alright, so we got da, da Vinci Regular, Da Vinci Formal, Da Vinci Working Out, Da Vinci Sleeping, Da Vinci Party Time. Da Vinci at the pool. Da Vinci when it's hot. Da Vinci when it's cold. Perfect. <laughs> okay, so hot and cold will be the exact same outfits. Because Ooh, uh, that's just what we're doing. Hmm. The good thing about this outfit, it has all the things. Okay. And the swim pool, we got them. The hat is a uh, base game. Uh, well, I mean, probably, he's probably not going to swim on. anyway. He's probably not going to swim. I like this outfit. I wish this one came in like a straight brown. I guess that was okay. Feels very like... Abandoned on a desert island. Should. Damn, Devin This is a family stream, dude. Do, 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 do. Use the fishnet one. <laughs> <laughs> you miss naked Davy. 
Alright, uh, that's just, you know what, that's a pretty good party outfit. Does that come in brown or something? Like, not so colorful? Or green? Or green and brown? Perfect. Okay, this is sleeping. Which we will see in. Sleeping? Sleeping! Oops. There's a robe. Yeah. Caillou Wren's robes. Laundry day shirts for what? Sleeping? We're never gonna see him work out. So yeah, let's huh? go. Uh, um, <laughs> huh. mm -mm -mm -mm. Skimbo? He's styling. Huh? I love it, Lily. Huh. Runa. I don't know. I don't know. He's never, he's never gonna work out. The guy never gonna work out. Formal. Uh. Perfect. Um. I don't know. The long sleeve one was good. Uh. Yeah, he's got like a bunch of bling bling down here. Dude. Do you know those rings? There you go. Uh, sleeping one, you said the laundry day shirts. La 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 la. Ah. I mean, we're probably only going to see him in the same outfit over and over again anyway. Like that one, Lily? Mm, I like him with this robe. The first one in white. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good job. That was a good one. Bunny slippers? No bunny slippers. This is a serious thing. Right, so there's his outfit. Uh, formal. Don't worry about it. He's never going to wear formal anyway. Don't worry about that one. There's his sleeping one. Pa party one. Swimming. And then hot and cold. Yeah, totally. Really. Good call. Good call. It is a Batu one, it is. But it kind of fits, though. Hmm. I mean, I can do an old guy. Yeah. I can... I can do an old guy. You know what I mean? Alright, what's your name? Your name is Da Vinci. Huh? Leonardo Da Vinci. Which I have a copy down here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Meal Shaba. And now we're going to test out his workshop and see if it works. <laughs> see if you're new <sighs> and you haven't seen his workshop yet, you're in for a treat. Alright, I uh, want to be an artist, obviously. Mm. 
He is creative, huh. a genius. Ooh. And Monty. I'm not going to do Disco Nap because I don't want to be easy. It's, we're trying to get a challenge. Yeah, we're gonna play him tomorrow. What? We're gonna do a lot, a lot challenge. What is soy? It's mostly a sleep schedule challenge. Oh. oh. We know Da Vinci only slept twenty minutes every four hours. I don't think that's true. That's written down. Died. Huh? I don't think would have died. Every tw every four hours, twenty minutes. Look it up. Look it up. Every body would collapse. Every four hours. Twenty minutes though? Look it up. Erratic? Perfectionist. Oh, what is the uh clapto? <laughs> um what do professionals do? These sims uh, take longer to craft items, but tend to make them higher quality. Gains powerful mood is by crafting a high quality item. Gains a net. Oh, yes, that's good. Uh, I like that idea. Uh -huh. Take out art lover, though. For erratic. Maker. I think perfectionist does the same thing. Lona. He's got to be a genius, though, right? What would genius do? These Sims uh, tend to be focused and share ideas. Of, yeah, he's got to be a genius. Can we have more than just three traits? Game. Art lover. They gain power mood from viewing art. Yeah, I mean, that's somebody who loves art. Not necessarily does art. Uh, these Sims are inspired. Tend to be more inspired and create creative ideas. Uh, that's good, but we gotta be genius. Has to be genius. Maker? Well, perfectionist is the same as maker, just for painting. They become sad when they. Oh, maybe. Wait, does that actually say anything about painting, though? Let's do creative. All right, what do you like? You like? I'd probably say he likes all the colors. Uh, I mean, he is an artist. Arbin, Conqueroo. Hey, clever guy, how you doing today? He likes handiness. Um, sure, go. He hates dancing. <laughs> uh, also hates photography. Oh, Tenoba. Also hates Genesis. skiing. <laughs> he hates robotics. <sighs> Sick of foos. He hates rocket science. Actually, no, he likes rocket science. Bavu. I think he would actually like robotics. He just doesn't have access to that stuff. <laughs> he hates he doesn't have access to it. Um, likes painting. <laughs> eh, <laughs> uh, loves painting. Vavu. Ruskin Galore. He hates working out. Uh, Marja Bana. Uh, what's his opinion on bowling? Does anyone know? He likes research and deba debate. We're gonna fill it up so it doesn't ask me constantly. He hates bowling. <laughs> I wish it was a favorite food section. Wait, what's is there a research debate? What is his favorite food? Pizza? Oh, yeah. uh, 
Hey, you, you walked Arvin. yourself into that one. Conqueror. All right, we're good there. Oh, uh, yeah, activities got those. That's fine. All right, we're good. We upload him. Divinch. Uh, it says, warning, this sim is too hot for the gallery. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hates video games. Oh, I should have done that one. He can't afford his own workshop, oh boy. This is before that. Mainly the church. Uh, pre real estate on. Do do do. I always forget the on part, Lily. I always forget that one. Let's give it a test if it works. Yeah, we could change that, right? I change one of them. All right, go here. It is pouring down in Windenburg. Hopefully, my uh, inventions don't uh, catch on fire. <laughs> The lightning storm. Alright. You can paint. Sweet. <laughs> yibs, yibs, Tombra. I don't need to paint, I just want to do this. I just want to turn and see if you can paint it. Can you go over here? It's fine. Everything's fine. Turn off aging. Yeah, we don't want Da Vinci dying on us, do we? No, it's only one. We're gonna only do one episode. Auto sim. Uh, you know, we're good. We're good. We're good. You love the sound of rain. Me too. Uh oh. Is it the boat? Mm, if the boat is in the way. Yes, I did. We just finished it today. Is a tour. It's the Da Vinci workshop. It's on the gallery if you want to download it. Comes with the fly machine. Uh, da Vinci's tank. Out here. Another fly machine. With a crane on the roof there. I'm assuming it's the boat. I don't really need this here, but it's kind of fun. I'll just try to push it like that. Maybe that works. There we go. Sweet. I'm assuming all this can be used because it was. Not really much going on in here. Oh, yeah, do, do you like it? And you can come back out again. Sweet. You, can probably, you probably can't get over here. Oh, no, you can. Oh, wow. Okay, sweet. Nice. Uh, have you seen Mona Lisa in I haven't put Mona Lisa in the game yet. Uh, but I will next time. Trying to. Trying to get them to play. More than buy. Wait, hang on. Is it Slime Rancher 1 or 2? 
How many hours do you take us to build this? Uh, not that long. We we started yesterday, finished it today. And what, well, I probably walked about three hours yesterday and two hours a day. It's about five hours maybe total. It's not that big of a build. It's not the gallery again if you want to download it. And uh, we built all this using tool mod. So you don't have to have tool mod to see it. There's no mo there's no mods in it. Oh, you know CC, I mean. Wait, it's just the first one? When, why would I play the second one? Isn't there a second one out right now? <laughs> it's a great game to relax to. Uh, it's nice the fact that there are a lot of things uh, in the build. Thank you. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to um, actually do a let's play in this build. This is why I built this. Uh, I had this idea for a let's play where because Da Vinci only slept 20 minutes every four hours, I want to see if my sim can sleep with that same schedule. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start out. We're going to be painting. We'll be making money through painting. In fact, let me just, uh, you know, set my money to zero. Well, I'm actually put out zero. Well, you know what? We got painting started here. So sell that and then we can do that. 20 minutes every four hours. So says the internet. And I believe everything the internet tells me. And I'm on the internet, and I'm telling you, so you must believe me, too. <laughs> so, so we're going to try this, and he's going to paint, and, then, and eventually, we're going to bring in Mona Lisa, and he's going to paint Mona Lisa. We're going to recreate the Mona Lisa painting. This was done by Capaldi, uh, using some CC makeup. So we're going to bring in Capaldi, no, bring in Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> the Mona Capaldi, and uh, we're going to try and paint that, and that's been the end. <laughs> I don't want a naked one, no. I was wrong. It's only two hours of sleep. We were. That's like two hours of sleep the whole time. Yeah, but the body only needs 20 minutes of sleep, you know? Oh, After a 20 minute nap, you feel so refreshed. Like, wow. ah. What have you ever taken a 20 minute nap? Oh. So well, no, because the problem is it goes into like 21 minutes and you screwed up. Uh, 19 minutes, nope. 21 minutes, nope. 20 minutes, ah. You gotta be careful though. Look it up. Look it up. Hey, you can say anything. Hey Siri, what was Leonardo da Vinci's sleep schedule? Okay. I found this on the web for what was Leonardo da Vinci's sleep schedule. Check it out. There we go. She just told you to check it out. Oh, I'm checking it. Oh, I'm I'm checking it out right now. I'm checking it out. Checking. Da Vinci slept for a total of two hours per day, in which he took 20 minute naps roughly every four hours, known as the Uberman cycle. The Uberman cycle. Did he die? <laughs> well, eventually. He's not alive right now, is he? <laughs> <laughs> and then he died. The, uh, yeah, the Uberman, if, wait, wait a minute. He never hit a run cycle. Da Vinci was using Uber before any of us even knew about Uber. My gosh, it's from the future. 
<laughs> Uber sleeps. It's real. It's real. Oh no. <laughs> also, uh, Tesla did it as well. Nikola Tesla. Yeah. I think I should do it. You can never, you can never reach well, yeah, that's why they're so geniuses. The mind is always alert. I'm gonna do it, okay? Just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's been four hours. Gotta go back to sleep now. Bye. Be back in 20. <laughs> Save it, yeah. <laughs> Twenty minutes of marbles. <laughs> Just go on all day, every day with that. Huh? Anyway, we're gonna see if a sim can handle this kind of schedule tomorrow. Do do do. We're gonna play some Minecraft. Is that uh, is what I promised yesterday? Uh, do not try any uh, thing crazy uh, without uh, talking to a doctor who is not on the internet. Is what I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> so not and that doesn't mean me because uh i am not a real doctor <laughs> but we're gonna give our sim we're gonna pass him through this paces and see what happens <laughs> you consider me a real doctor you don't want to do that really though i am probably cheaper than a real doctor um um What? A Twitch doctor. Yes, I help you with all your Twitch medical needs. Not in Canada, true. In America, though. La 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 la. We'll play Gothic from the Mrs. on another day, I promise. I promise. I'm not. I hate. I hate to bob. I hate to uh, burst your bubble, but I'm. I'm not a real doctor, though. I do play one on the internet. Do do. My immersion. We will. Um, yeah, I'm a Sims doctor. I don't know if I should even call, my, I can even call myself a Sims doctor. That would imply I have some kind of like higher knowledge of this game, uh, which uh, definitely does not, uh, is not true. <laughs> I am good at bumbling. Shenanigans, doctor. Yes, a PhD in feds wearing. <laughs> he applied for a job at our medical clinic. <laughs> you can still work here, Drew. You're fine. Oh, just all the things, Lily. Just so much. The things. Just, you know. Just you just put blocks down, having a great time. Uh, you know what I mean? Not Slime Rancher things. When does Slime Rancher Two come out? I will play that. I'll play that, Lily.
I will play that. I actually played Sly Mansion 1 a while ago. When it was in Alpha. Oh, next year. Oh, it's not even out yet. So I thought it was almost out. This is my first stream that I've uh, watched. Hey, hey, how you doing today? Good to see you. By the way, if you um, are new here and don't know who I am, I'm Dr. Glowon. I do play uh, a lot of Sims. I have a YouTube channel. You can check it out right here. This is where I put up my Sims LPs. If you ever miss an LP, uh, you can always catch them back here, you know? Like my 100 Baby Challenge, Hotel Challenge. Uh, we also may have figured out what the next expansion pack is going to be for The Sims. We were sloofing. Check out that video. Check out that video. You don't want to miss it. Anyway, uh, tomorrow we'll be doing the Da Vinci Challenge one. And, um, and that will also eventually be here. Oh, I changed the name of the funny one because I, I wasn't liking it. I don't know. It's not just Fez guy, but I don't like that one either. I'm still noodling. I changed it though. There's so much pressure to be funny on there, you know? I figured the name. What if there was a video that wasn't funny? Then people are like, hey, wait a minute. This ain't funny. More Dr. Gluon? <laughs> Thanks, Capaldi. It's a Fez. Google it. Fez Doctor. Under the Fez. That could be good. That's unique. <laughs> Not Sims. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, Button's on vacation right now, so we'll continue playing with Button when he gets back. Um, okay, um, it's gonna be great. I have to use the bathroom. I'll be right back. One second. Everybody. Oh, hang on. Before we do though. Yay! Hey. The is now under the fence. Ryder, thank you so much. You are a first-time subscriber. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for that. I'll be right back. I'm going to use the bathroom and uh, we will be right back for more streaming. One second. I'm back. I'll tell you what we do. I'll tell you what we do, Lily. It's very fun. Because I've been kind of thinking about it. We'll do Minecraft, but we'll do it a bit later. Maybe we'll play a little bit of a game I don't know if you may have heard of. Uh, Sam and Max. What do you think? It's an adventure game. Starring a dog and a cat. And it's very funny, and you're gonna love it, huh? They remastered this one. 
yeah, it's like a remaster from the original. Yes. It's a dog and a rabbit. And a bunny. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're detectives. I saw it was remastered. I don't even know. This came out a while ago, but. It is. But it's like a remastered version of it. Uh, we'll play this. And I think you're going to like it. What's that? Can't go wrong with him and Max. It's funny. Why am I not saying it? It's Save the World. You won and you didn't even. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Look at my life right now. Uh, it's so I, I guess the reason why I know about it is because it came on Xbox today, <laughs> but I, I'm playing on the PC. Say, huh? Yeah, I just heard it was on Xbox today. It's 3D. It's a 3D 7 Max game. It was originally made by Telltale. Uh, so Telltale is no longer around. However, I used to be such a fan of Telltale. I actually applied for a job at Telltale and I moved up to the point where they actually had me do a little movie to show my, my talent to them. And they loved what I did and that got me another interview. And the only reason I think I didn't get the job is because I was living in Iowa. <laughs> and they were like, and they were like, well, we would have to fly you out here. And it's only a, it was only, it's only, it was a six month job. Well, it was like a six month temp job that could be turned into a real one. But they were kind of like, if, you know, we fly out here and then you don't get the job, you know, <laughs> that's what they were concerned about. That's what they told me over the phone. And I just kind of never heard from him again. I was very sad. But then the, the company shut down. And I, I became a streamer after that. So, you know what? Maybe all things happen for a reason, you know? So. They're anti Iowan. <laughs> also, Telltale went in some weird direction with their game. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. What? What does Steve just like show me my library? Uh, can I see my library? Can I see my stuff? I think it might have like information on there that I can't show you. Uh, though the scene, the scene, the scene that I animated is from the game that I'm about to play. Uh, I think, unless it's from the second season, because they actually made two seasons. So let's save this out here. I can find it and maybe see if I can take out any. Uh, uh, information about me. Hey, no worries. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Don't forget tomorrow we're going to play this. So come back tomorrow. It's going to be a lot of fun. I should be playing with the scenario on. Okay, here we go. Change this to...
I think you're gonna, you're gonna love this. I think you're gonna really like it. This is kind of a cartoony thing. This shares my humor very nicely. Let's turn this off here. Let's turn that music off. Let's put this one here. Mm, I'm not gonna play Lisa Suit Larry. Mm, that's not really what we want to play here. <laughs> You excited, sweet. So Cyber Max, this is so okay for a bit of history. There was an older game that came out a long time ago, made by Lucas Art, and they created the Cyber Max, and it was very much a two D side scrolling adventure game, like the original Monkey Island games. Same guy. Uh, I don't know about the same guy. I, he was, he was like a comic book artist. Anyway, Telltale was starting out, and this they wanted to recreate Summer Max. So this is one of the first games. One of the first games they did. They did other stuff as well. But one of the first games um, that they did, and uh, it got them popular. And they also bought back how... They bought back the popularity of adventure games, only to also ruin the the adventure game genre. They, bo they both brought it back and then ruined it, in my opinion. But anyway, Telltale's gone now. They made, Telltale also made the um, other, other games. The zombie one. The zombie one. Uh, the Walking Dead, which is a really good game. But then every game after that was the exact same game. They also did the, the Minecraft story mode game. I did play Grim Fandango a long time ago. A Wolf Among Us is cool. Yeah, Walking Dead was great, but every game after that, Ron Gilbert was Monkey Island, right? This trust me out too. Will this go on YouTube? I don't know. I don't know, but we'll we'll uh, we'll, we'll try anyway. All right, let's play. Him. Episode one. Yeah. So originally these came out as episodic things. You had uh, they were like separate downloads, and they came out one a month, and you actually bought them all separately. Uh, that's how they had it set up. It was kind of a neat idea, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's jump on to episode one. Let's go. How's it going? Good. Maybe the company that now owns or is doing this will make a new one, a new Summer Max season. So all we can hope for. Culture shock. Quit moving around so much, bobblehead. When are we gonna get another case, Sam? Surely the local lawbreakers must miss our esoteric brand of personalized criminal justice. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow, little buddy. Okay, don't scream this time. <gasps> ah! I got it! I got it! Hello? 
Leave Swiss cheese by the rat hole or you'll never see your precious phone alive again. Jiminy Christmas Eve in a padlock sweat box. Some misguidedly ballsy felons napped our phone. Eerie. I just went cheese shopping. How did they know? Be sure it's Swiss cheese, right? And be quick about it. Ordinarily, I hate yielding to extortion, but I have to admit I'm half charmed by the sheer spunk of that oily little perp. Where'd you put the cheese, Max? Gosh, it was hours ago. You know I have the memory of a dried trout. Sadly, yes, I do. Well, it's got to be somewhere in this room. Uh, oh my god, the office just like the original. So this is the original. Well, Joey, have you actually played this one, uh, Stefan? Love this game. Uh, let's see the settings real quick. We're going to crank it up on high. It's all on high. Uh... Oh, I mean, it'll go low. Everything is good. Everything's good. Kraken! Oh, you played the original 2D one. Look at this wall here. This is like something I would build on The Sims. You know what I mean? Maybe I will play on The Sims. So we click around to walk around. This is a classic adventure game where you, you, you click on stuff and then the, the characters talk about stuff. 20 years worth of electric bills take up a surprising amount of space. Ah, uh, yes, I remember that case. Particularly gruesome. Hmm. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? Good point, dude. Yoo-hoo, tiny hoodlums. Leave the cheese by the hole. Hmm. This is on Steam, yes, and I think it just came on Xbox as well. No comment. VCR. I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. We gotta click on all the 2002 things. 2002 was a great year for calendars. I'm glad we stocked up. We've been going through them at a rate of about one a year since then. Right, lava lamb. Someone once told me that the contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me. Which is why I haven't tried it. <laughs> okay, all right. Boxing glove. We're looking for cheese. This might come in handy. <laughs> Don't do that again. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Oh, here's our box here. So you see we have a gun, which I can shoot things. You know, just in case. And then we have the boxing glove, which, uh, you know, you can try using on things. I'd rather punch other things. <laughs> Don't, no, this is not a shooter. This is not a, this is not a shooter. I think Hubert could use some water, Max. I'm training him to fetch it himself. Nobody ever leaves us messages anymore. Look at One of these days we're gonna finish that game. I'm still working on getting the rest of the darts from the police impound. Can I take the dart? No. Go outside. We really better not leave until we've taken care of this Swiss cheese ransom the phone deal. Hello, Mr. Spatula. How's the weather in there? It's a coat rack. Where's the rest of the news collection, Max? It's a surprise! Okay. Why does a dog wear a suit with the bunnies naked? That's a great question. Oh, bowling ball. Good old Lou. Who's Lou again? The bowling ball, of course. Alright, we have a bowling ball, a boxing glove, and a gun. Okay. No cheese, though. Let's open this door up. Oh! oh there it is! Unfortunately, this is not Swiss cheese. So what? So, the rat was very specific about wanting Swiss cheese in particular. Pile o' cheese. We should have Jesse James's hand appraised one of these days. I bet it's especially valuable because it's autographed. Hmm. Shoot the cheese. 
Swiss cheese has holes in it. Take that, you law-breaking dairy product. Sam, no! The cheese was innocent! Innocent? I think not. <laughs> Voila, Swiss cheese. Or close enough to fool the casual observer, anyway. Don't say voila! All right, good job, Lily. Swiss cheese in the home. Greetings. The members of the Benevolent Brotherhood of Vermin would like to thank you for your offering. The members of Sam and Max would like their phone back now. If you don't mind. I regret to inform you the situation has changed, and I am unable to comply with your request. A list of additional demands for the return of the phone is as follows. Now, let's discuss this calmly. Let's debone the smarmy little skis and see if the phone's in there. I ain't talking, coppers. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't no rat. Uh, well, I ain't talking. All right, be reasonable. Let's make a deal. My partner's dangerous. Okay, let's do this one. We've met your demands. We got you the cheese. Any honorable rodent would hold up his end of the bargain and give back our phone. Us rodents is not known for being particularly honorable. We'll go half easy on you if you'll just cough up the phone. Yeah, yeah. Never happened, pig. Look, I want to help you, but my partner is a little unhinged. I'm afraid I may be unable to keep him from harming you in some colorfully gruesome fashion. Let me at him, Sam! Eh, I can take care of myself. I'm gonna do, um, Mac can talk to. I'm about ready to wring your scrawny trash-eating neck! You think you're scary? You don't know where his hands have been. Or when I last washed them. Who cares? I'm a rat, remember? A hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. I'm thinking about stuffing a light bulb down your throat, perp. Go ahead. I've been a little hungry. Can I go now? Um. Max is the best. Maybe you'd like it if we played you some music. How about Cat Stevens? Fine. Jimmy Two Teeth ain't afraid of no cats. Amateurs. Let me pry open his skull and look for a conscience, Sam. Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking like bacon here. Hey, dog face, your partner's giving me a headache. Hmm. Maybe I'll lock you in our file cabinet. So? In three separate drawers. You bore me. Can I go now? You mentioned a headache. Would you like some aspirin? Oh, and while I'm at it, is there anything else I can do to make you comfortable? Are you thirsty, perhaps? Lights too bright? Well, that's sporting of you. Now you mention it, I really don't like being up here so high. I got me a thing about heights. They make me nervous, you know? Oh, really? I'll hang you out to dry. Don't like heights, eh? How'd you like it if I dangled your greasy hide out the window? Hey, you wouldn't. Wait! I warn you, I'm known for my fuzzy white butterfingers. It's true. You should see him trying to tie an ascot. All right, all right! Have mercy! I've had mercy. It was unpleasantly gooey, like, well, like things that have fallen onto pavement from a great height. I give up! Take your phone and let me go! <coughs> ah, for the love of... I wish I could unsee that. Hello. Yes? Great gouts of steaming magma on a beeline for the orphanage. We're on our way. Yeah! Ow! Where's the rat? I let him go. Who was on the phone? It was a commissioner, Max. Multiple reports of malfeasance in the neighborhood. Oh, joy! That's my second favorite feasance. Idiot. We've got to get down to the corner store right away. All right, let's go. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. He's fine. Hold down that to sh we can run. Oh, yes. Bosco's inconveniences. I don't know if it's on switch. 
Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently, if possible. You called? It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? NASA? Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! Hey, so Queen, how you doing today? Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Yowzers, that is one ugly ki Hey, I know him! Oh, that's right. It's one of the lovable scamps from that 70s TV show about the singing soda jerks. The soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the bladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star? Poe, just lock him up and throw away the jail! Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's delivering videos I didn't even order! Brady Culture's Is it a wee voice? I don't what know. What is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear that. I've, uh, I played the original, but I, I can't, uh, I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> um. Uh. Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever oh, deliver videos of his own volition. <laughs> it makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy. I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. <laughs> no, it's definitely a conspiracy. A video delivery conspiracy? What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, headlights, lint, pastrami, hairspray, stealth. Stop right there! Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sure. That's what you'd like to believe. Have you actually witnessed this Ibo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna remember some stuff. Um, God, it's been a long time since I played this one. Uh, I did really enjoy it, though. Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? Yes, he keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. <laughs> Not even the National Guard can help us now. Okay. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? All right, we got I this. I think we got it. Okay, anything else? Uh, what a buy seven. We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So, what do you want to buy? What, what you, got? you got? Well, I've still got that big sale on cheese. Oh, yeah, cheese. I want that. And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. Mmm. I accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something. I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that. Well, it's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out any room in no time guarantee. I feel really close to you right now. Give us the tear gas. We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. 10,000 bucks? We'll have to give out like a million tickets. Well, one really big one. You mean? White Collar Crime Drive. Where corporate criminals go to rejoice in their ill-gotten gains. After we blow this popsicle stand, we can go hunt us up one of those starchy cesspiles and hit them where it hurts the most. Right in the pocketbook. That's not what I thought you were going to say, but that's good too. 
cheese, please. We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You've got to bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. What? <laughs> Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. <laughs> Nothing for us right now. Okay. All right. All right. Um, nice place you got here. Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? Uh, the security measures. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You've been robbed as many times as I have. You do the same. I've never been robbed, actually, but then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. <laughs> well, thanks. I try. What were we talking about? All right. We'll chat more later, Bosco, but right now it's time to get up close and personal with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! No thanks, I brought my lunch today. Uh... Let's talk to this guy. Oops, um... What should we do about Wizard and his reverse shoplifting? Unwashed violence is one of my favorite techniques. So he's bringing him in here. I'll let you get back to your shopping. Or whatever it was you were doing. Sometimes it's best not to ask. Hey there, Mr. Wizard. No need to be formal. My friends just call me Wizard. And so do my enemies and lots of people like you I've never met. Everyone calls me Wizard. You like Max? What are you doing here? What exactly are you doing here? Delivering videos. Take one. They're free. What's the story with these videos? Brady Culture's Ibo is the ocular fitness regimen for people on the go. Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. What can you tell me about Ibo? Brainwashing. Ibo is a mm. revolutionary new program of isometric exercises to promote ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. <laughs> it changed my life. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right. Sorry. Well, that's nice. What is? Um, everyone loves your show. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh, yeah. We've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. How about an autograph? How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, to Max, thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. Um... Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! 
Well, that's nice. What is? All right. Uh, you're breaking the law. Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. You're under arrest. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. Aw, oh, come on. It's a free country. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who told you that? This guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. <laughs> Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you don't have to make a federal case out of it. No, we don't have to. We want to. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you don't have to make a federal case out of it. No, we don't have to. We want to. All right. Uh... If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. Let's take a copy, see what this is all about. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for Ocular Fitness. The revolutionary isometric exercise. What's so revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing, roll your eyes at lightning speed, lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh good, I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel coated sugar logs. All right, we got a video. Can we take anything else from this place? Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors, wheatgrass and meatloaf. Time to join the cult. Let's do it. Oh, nachos. Nachos. They're mine, nachos. <laughs> Max, I've got a great idea involving you, a microwave, and six feet of aluminum foil. Go on. Maybe another time. <laughs> Have a good night, Ashley. <laughs> Wait, condiments. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Hmm, bathroom. Public restrooms. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. Uh oh. Time out for number one. Mm. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. Can we click on a little thing here? The Whee! crate that delivers Bosco's terror. Uh, now he's gone. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. Hmm. Well, we know he's in the bathroom. I don't know quite what we can do with that information yet, but... Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. Did he wash his hands? Uh, I don't know about that one. Um, all right. Oh, hang on. Do we want this cheese? Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. Great. We've got oh, lottery tickets. One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Special. Whee! Buy one, get one. What a deal. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. What? Oh. Oh, right, because it's Ooh, a Did you see that? Oh, yeah! Attention, shoppers. The cheese ain't free. <laughs> Sam, are you dead? Too early to tell. No one steals from Bosco. An honest but excruciatingly painful mistake. Hey, Bosco. What can I do for you? Can I buy the cheese? Uh... We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? Okay, Mac, we want this cheese. Okay, standard cheese background check. I need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the 9th through 12th grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. 
Um, this is Sam and Max, uh, a remake. Nothing oh. for us right now. Okay. So I gotta put the cheese back then. Or... See you later, Bosco. Remember, we never had this conversation. What conversation? The conversation we just had. <laughs> no, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Oh, brother. <laughs> Let's just return the cheese to its table. Okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got an idea. Discounted cheese is nigh impossible to pass up. I got an idea here. I put the cheese in the guy's box. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hey, that's my box. Oh, my mistake. I often mistake other people's video boxes for my shopping cart. He does. Hang on, we'll use the bathroom first when he's in there. And then when he goes out, thing hit him on Go the head. Fun. Uh oh. Time out for number one. Okay, now. Put the cheese in this box. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. What the? Time out for number one. <laughs> We're saved. That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> Oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> <laughs> classic. Just classic. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. <laughs> uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> uh. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... All right. Well, let's go back to my office, investigate that tape. Hang on, is he cool? Is he just check it in I don't want to wake him up. Yeah, we'll just leave him down there. Ha 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 ha. Oh, what's this guy doing over here? Look, Sam, it's another one of the soda poppers. Wow, what are the odds? Say there, soda man. Oh. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. Specs, it's you! Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great! Oh, I could do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right, yeah, let me see. Um, Excuse us. We've got important things to do. Don't we all? Do right. Oops. Mm, graphic sense, maybe? Uh, game settings, subtitles on. There we go. Thank you for reminding me. Hey, Specs. Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. Well, Not in the way. Really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. Now I'm in the way. Oobly. Uh. Good job, Glow on. Wanna be in the way of things. Uh we can shrink myself. Me 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 Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky. I don't sign good anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. That's... Oh, okay. I do that here. <laughs> so what was that? What was that? Oops. Sub... Type background. Okay.
So, Specs, what are you up to these days? Oh, right, that Any is new project? Thing there. Yes. Call. I have a new light in my life. And you Gosh, I have to be like tiny dot to glow on. Hey, guys, I'm down here. <laughs> Uh, I could be like this, like this. <laughs> I don't know why they can't be smaller or just more condensed, but they're like really, uh, really, um, I'll just be, just be, uh, how's it going? I don't know where to be anymore. I don't know. I'm just so awkward. I'm just so awkward. Okay, how's that? <laughs> His name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness. Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. Ibo, strange name. Ibo sounds like an electronic archery toy. Ibo is the truly visionary Ocular Fitness Program. Try the video today. Enough about that. No? Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's eyeball. Well, that's nice. Um, tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? Why are you painting? Do you live to paint or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. Hmm. You messed up. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No. Where? <laughs> I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Don't do that! How did you select your subject matter? He looks like a fried egg! It's Brady Culture! He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'd rather try a fried egg! Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's Ibo. Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next. Sorry, I only paint Brady culture. Should we watch the video? We gotta see what this is all about. Huh? For Brad culture. We're dark in here. Let's go turn the light up, lights off. Anyway, let's watch this movie. We got a VCR here. Hold okay, Max, ready for that ocular workout? No, stop! We don't have any popcorn. Sweet alligator dentures soaking in formaldehyde. That was close. Quick, before it starts. Hello, I'm Brady Culture. You may remember me from Culture's Clubhouse, the massive worldwide television hit that ran for six episodes in 1970. <clears throat> What you are about to see will change your life forever. So watch closely. Now listen up, you tasteless Philistines. You love me. You adore me. You want to name all your children after me. I love you. I adore you. I want to name all my children after you. Sam, look. Ocular fitness, my eye. That videotape hypnotized Jimmy Two Teeth. I think I like him better this way. We've got to find this Brady culture and stop him before he hypnotizes every consumer of cheap self-help videos. Ooh, can I have his hair when we're done? Only if you keep it on a leash. Hmm. Should we talk to the rat? Yoo-hoo, tiny hood. Hey, Jesse. All right. Go back outside. What do you think of this game so far? It's 
Let's go to Sybil's. You look like you could use some therapy. Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you. Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers. Me? Right. You're, uh... Peepers! <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. My name is Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Civil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. That's me. He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing Pandemic? with a dangerously oh, no. delusional psychotic here. Obviously. Oopsie. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID, Sybil? My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist. <laughs> right. <laughs> How about a little analysis? Certainly. Tell me what's bothering you. Um. Every time I watch television, I want to shoot something. That's quite normal. But you might want to try Brady Culture's Ibo video. It's very soothing compared to regular television. Ibo? Yes, my runny, poached, egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it. What's Hybro exactly? Ibo! It's called Ibo! It's a system of ocular exercises! So you can do push-ups with your eyes? Sort of. Just watch the video. Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's. Who's this lady culture person? Brady! Brady culture! He's only the most insightful and amazing man of the planet, that's all. It's not Sean Penn? Not anymore. I'm so disillusioned. Enough said. All right. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure. I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient and painful. A surefire hit with the average consumer. Am I a fan of these games? I played this game a long time ago. I really enjoyed it. And I saw they did like a remaster or re like, you know, like a remaster one version of it. And I'm like, yeah, so Max, I'll play that game again. And here we are. Hello, is anybody there? Can I play with that? Ah, it's good exercise for the eyes, but Brady Culture's Ibo video is better. Check out this fox up here. Ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. It's eerily lifelike for a fake plant. The same could be said for a lot of our friends. Hmm. Thank God. I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my god, he's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! You hate... Whose voice? Max's voice? <laughs> it reminds you of Toontown. It definitely has, uh... It's definitely, uh... It's like a... Little rundown version. Oh, peepers? Yeah. <laughs> Say no more. But he's my pal. You were friends with that overgrown sociopathic child? Oh, sorry. I thought you meant this overgrown sociopathic child. <laughs> I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? 
The psychotherapist's handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? What's the charge? Assault, kidnapping, identity theft. Those are good charges. Some of my favorites. And what about mopery? He locked me in the closet and he's been pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? Well, these Gadzooks. cases can be very complicated and delicate. Yeah, we do a little there bit later, Kimmy. There may be repressed Kimmy. feelings of inadequate transference or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised Just after the rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Thank you so much, Katie. Appreciate it. Uh, Chrissy, JC. Thank you so much, Jesse. I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. A deaf punk good under the under the uh, as, um sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock them unconscious. Now you're talking. Oh. I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. God. Consider it done. We only knock the other guy unconscious. Ah, the cheeky. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Wait, can I use the boxing glove on this guy then? I can see you! Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is! You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Hi, Emily. Whee! It's because the subtitles are so long. <laughs> you don't like his voice, Lily? Okay! <laughs> I guess! Very Whee! reassuring. Maybe if I use the art of uh, surprise. I can see you! Dang it. Hmm. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. That looks comfortable. Oh, it is. How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? I don't to knock him out. Hey, Sybil. Oh, Hello! Cool. Uh, I meant the other Sybil. So, you guys gonna take care of this imposter, or what? Uh... What happened to your tattoo business? Don't tell me they actually enforce those health code violations. No, no, of course they don't. But a guy came in here and asked me to put a ship on his chest, and I misheard him, and, well, I decided to hang it up after that. <laughs> It's funny. You're right across the street from us, and I don't think I've ever been in here before today. Your friend has. He's always trying to con me into giving him some kind of weird tattoo for free. You could put a line on my head and some eyes on my butt, and I'd look like I was upside down. For the last time, no. Okay, let's see. Excuse us, we've got work to do. I'll say. Yeah, let's try to close the door. You're right. With this off, the clocks. Are... It's getting late. Hey, Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Now the door is closed. Maybe you can't go in the closet. I don't know where he's running off to, though. I can see you. Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Just comes naturally, I guess. Hmm. We may not have all the answers yet. Anything in the closet I can tell you? 
can't see inside the closet. Um, okay, well, maybe we don't have anything yet. Let's get out of here. <laughs> it would stop the voice. No, 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 uh, no clues. I mean, I have played this game a long time ago, so I'm sure I'm going to remember. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. Dead end. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. The bowling ball? We could try the bowling ball. Oh, did he rub his eyes? Maybe he's getting sleepy. Yeah, maybe we need to like put him to sleep or something. I can see you. Please stop doing that. Mhm. Mm There's always this option. I can see you. <laughs> Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist. <laughs> How could you? Just Dang comes it, that naturally, work, I yeah. guess. Okay, sit that back. <laughs> Worth a try. Uh, can you put the bowling ball on the closet door? Uh, I can try. Nah. Nah. Nope. I'd rather punch other things. Hmm. The closet. I don't think you can actually click on the closet. It's just the door. Like I can't even click on the thing inside the closet. Next to the cow. Let's see what we also need to find. The answer may not be in here. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. Maybe the rabbit could uh, bite him. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, we'll have a look around. If you know the answer, uh, don't say anything. And if you don't know the answer, then say whatever you like. Because <laughs> I don't mind. We can try to things out. Let's check out these posters back here. Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great. Oh, lawnmower! Well. They're like golf carts with teeth. Uh, no, uh, no, you can't. You can switch. You can switch characters when in talking mode. But we just kind of mess around with Sam. Where are we going, Sam? Ooh. Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! Yeah! No lawn mower. By the way, Sam, yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. Oh, we're doing a thing here? Oh, is, we, we're actually uh, steering him. I'm not sure what. Oh, we. Oh, we actually have to hit people. <laughs> so we have to hit people. There's like sweet, sweet ramps everywhere. I want to go on the sweet ramp. I can't see the ramp in time. Yeah, it only breaks, so it's fine. Where are these sweet ramps at? Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Woo! 
That was sweet. Oh, I think I have to hit people. Maybe? Wait, what am I doing anyway? Attention fellow drivers. If for any reason we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you. Go there. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. And then for some reason I can fire the gun. Please accept my condolences for your taillight. Sam one, We're the police. Zero. We're the police. I could do this. Why are you shooting cars now? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, hang on. Oh, you know what? We can just click the go home button. <laughs> we can just do that at any time. Okay. <laughs> All right. It's over here. We got that guy. He's doing that whole thing. Oh, wait. Yeah. What's his van? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Takes me back to my childhood. No. Well. Gumball machine. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. Do, 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 do. Everything back in here. That guy's still on the floor. I think we've got to knock out all three of them. Oops. Ooh, fun. Move up top. I guess I can do that. I don't want to be all awkward though, you know? I'm up here now. Can be the trash can? No, thanks. I brought my lunch today. Hmm. Oh, hot dogs. Hot weenies. Look, Sam. Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Whee! Amazing. Amazing. Magazines. What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-Loathing Weekly? Oh, let me see that. Hot bunny. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Wait a minute, hang on. Can I click on that one sign again? I'm trying something. Hello. Did I try this one? Special. Buy one. Oh, I get did click one. on this one. What a deal! I did click on that one, sorry. Alright, back outside. Wallace and Gromit. Uh they actually made a Wallace and Gromit game as well. Telltale did. Well, I see the spray paint here. Can I grab this? Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Wait, hang on. Can I punch that guy? Can we use our boxing glove on this guy? Caffeine rush. Sweet carbonated beverages in a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. You made me mess up. Hmm. The dumpster here. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. What should we try out now? Oops. Can he spray paint his glasses? Oh, no, we'll give it a go. Bum, 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 bum. Hang on, bent meter. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry. 
I don't think he's gonna let me do this, but Caffeine Rush. He always sees us coming. You made me mess up. There may be a point where he oops, hang on. Hey Specs. Maybe he drops his glasses or something. You sure move fast for a man your age. Well, a constant diet of beverages loaded with caffeine and sugar gives me the blood pressure and heart rate of a hummingbird. Sam, what's the lifespan of a hummingbird? Hush, little buddy. <laughs> uh... Let's talk some more about your uh, artwork. What about it? Max, is that a fly in the paint there? What? No. Where? <laughs> Just kidding again. And people wonder why I need therapy. Hmm. Is this art or is it advertising? I, I I'm not. Is there really any difference? Good point. We, well, we didn't watch the video, but we know it hypnotizes people. Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. Well, we'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next. <laughs> this is the Sorry, new Nancy I Drew. I only paint Brady culture. There's less puzzles in this game than Nancy Drew. I mean, the whole game is kind of a puzzle. Missing something. Donut box. Last month's donuts. Don't throw that out. I'm saving it for a science experiment. You bet, little buddy. They say graffiti is the poetry of our time. Just what we need. More lame poetry. Paint the graffiti? Ah, oh, let's give it a go. Do, 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 do. We got spray paint. Uh, can we do this? This could use a little improvement. Oh, we did it. Hey, hey, hey! You messed it up. Oh, now I've got to fix it, brain freeze. Hmm. Perhaps the bowling ball out the window might sort this guy out. Let's go! Oh, I guess we could also punch him. I just assumed we could just throw a bowling ball, is it? You can't see that coming. Can you believe we get paid? Yeah! For I love this country. Oh! You made me mess up. <laughs> That's called murder. <laughs> now this is quality television. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. Well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. All right. We got one more guy to take out. Lily's nemesis. Anything else we have around here? This is Sam and Max Saves the World. It's an adventure game. I don't need any more cheese. You're telling me. Um. Think around here. No, no, we're cops. <laughs> we're, the, we're the police. We're the tech. We're like PI. We're not very good PI, but whatever. <laughs> Wastebasket, what's in there? No dice. Nothing, okay. It's all about, you know, just clicking on all the things. Clicking on the things. We checked the water cooler already. Those are the bad guys. That's a bad guy right there. You'll be out for a good while. 
<laughs> We're the good guys. They're the bad guys. All right, so the last person. Oh, hang on. What's over here? Lefties. Now, he's not dead. This place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with a number three socket spanner. Exactly. Good times. L train. The Crosstown Limited. Of course, it doesn't stop anywhere near here. Yeah, we'll have to figure out how to do it with the other guy. Be a good guy. Peanut butter meal. Why do we don't do that anymore? In fact, I point out this paper anymore. I do. Okay, never mind. Wait. Billboard. Look, Max. Liver and onions are in town. I know. I can't wait. I love when they throw expired meat products at the crowd. Right, let's go back in the shop. Right, good night, wife. We got one little guy to take care of. The wall. Anything here I'm missing? Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Oh, you mean the, um... The posters? I clicked on those already. The intercom? Hold all my calls, please. Hey, keep away from my intercom. Well, let's do, uh, I don't know, <laughs> spray him in the face, maybe? I have the strangest urge to redecorate. Fight it, Sam! Fight it! Pull someone over? I don't want to get back in the car again. Uh, anything over here? The we click the plug. I feel better already. Impressive credentials. Thank you. Hey, those are mine. I'm symbol pandemic. Oh, of course you are, dear. Of course. Well, let's uh, let me talk to him again. Hey, peepers. Sybil. Right. You're under arrest for kidnapping and impersonating a psychotherapist. I'd never do that. After all, I'm a psychotherapist myself. You're definitely a psycho something. Seriously, I'm going to have to place you under arrest. How long have you felt these compulsions? It started when we found the lady in your closet. Ah, that. No, no, she's my patient. It's an experimental new therapy I'm trying. What? He's the nut, not me. Sam, I'm getting confused. You're not the only one, little buddy. This young woman claims that she's Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Which I am. Yes, it's an interesting delusion. She thinks she's me. I am you. I mean, oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Jumping whack job in the throes of a complete identity fracture. One of you's having a schism. Personally, I'd pick you. No, pick me, pick me! Look, even if you are Sybil Pandemic, I'm pretty sure locking the lady in the closet is illegal. It's called isolation therapy. The sensory deprivation channels the patient towards introspection and helps her confront her own identity. Should it bother me that that makes sense? Definitely, little buddy. All right, um... Something else has been on my mind. Tell me what's bothering you. I think I'm hallucinating because you look exactly like the former child star of a 70s TV show to me. How odd. Perhaps you should consider trying Brady Culture's eyeball video. It promotes ocular health and might help with the hallucinations. Sounds like a piece of work. Oh, it is. It is. Lily loves his voice. <laughs> Something else has been on my mind. Tell me what's bothering you. I've been feeling less frisky than usual. Well then, you might try Brady Culture's eyeball video. That'll put a spring in your step. Your eyes, too. I'm beginning to sense a certain pattern to your courses of treatment. Well, you have to go with what works. Mm. 
You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm civil pandemic licensed psychotherapist. Right. Excuse me for Wait, a hang minute, on. would you? Sure. Can I can Sam uh, hey, can uh, Max civil? talk to talk to him? Oh no, no mind. Excuse me for a minute, mm. would you? Sure. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barbershop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. Uh, what can I do? What can we do? Fan. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. He's definitely rubbing his eyes. That's for sure. And doing this is just the same. Oh, hang on. Did we try spraying him in the face? Did we try spraying him in the face? I have the strangest urge to redecorate. Oh, yeah, yeah, we Fight did it, that. Sam! Fight it! We did. All right. Uh... I can see you! Please stop doing that! Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, wait, we've rubbed his eyes, maybe? Okay. I can see you! Whoa, where'd he go? Hey, there he is. You attacked a licensed psychotherapist? How could you? Spray Just the fan? Comes naturally, I guess. We can try spraying the fan. I have the strangest urge to redecorate. Mm. Fight it, Sam! Fight it! Turn off the lights. Skin art. Is that art for skin or art made from skin? Your ideas are effervescent pustules, Max. Sparkly and disgusting. Where's he running to? I have no idea. Let's try it again when he rubs his eye. I clicked too soon. I can see no. you. He pops up right away. Please stop doing that. I don't know. Impressive credentials. Thank you. Hey, those are mine. I oh, of course. It's getting late. Hey, Sam, if it's always getting later... That's one of the great mis... I heard that one before. I can't do anything when he runs away. Can I play with that? No, he drives people crazy. Who? Me. Let's see, talk to her again, maybe? So, you guys gonna take care of this imposter or what? My head is leaking like a cheesecloth canoe. I'm ashamed to say I forgot what you told us to do. Just knock this guy unconscious. Hit him over the head or something. I'm trying to. The sign outside says you're open 24 hours. Isn't that a bit odd for a psychotherapist? Well, in my crowd, a lot of people think they're vampires. What would you say to taking a look under the old hood and analyzing my psychoses? Tell you what, I'll give you a free session if you'll take care of this nut job for me. I heard that. I think we need to discuss your feelings of hostility. Quickly. Mm. Excuse us, we've got work to do. I'll shoot say. the light then. Well, the fact that I can't interact with the light probably means I can't actually shoot it, but we can give it a go. Why not? Mm hmm. No. If it hasn't got a thing over it. You know, like I, I could probably shoot the diplomas if I wanted to. Uh, you know, but I can't shoot this one. Shoot the cats because you don't like the cat, or just go around shooting things. Shoot the couch. Shooting. How about the fox? Can I shoot the fox up here? Whee! Can I punch the fox? I'd rather punch other things. Mm, yeah, me too. Can I spray paint the fogs? Uh, this fox could be a better color. I humbly suggest white. Can I spray paint the cactus? 
I have the strangest urge. Fight it, Sam! Hmm. We're not. Ha we don't have all the things. I can't grab the cactus. Try talking to Max. Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see what Max says. Uh. What should we do with Sleeping Beauty over there? The therapist lady said she'd show us. Lovely weather we're having, isn't it? So balmy and sulfurous. It makes me want to feed expired food products. Head like a wall. Oh, hang on a second. Um, Let's we get go cracking. back inside yeah. here and talk to him again. Can you carry the TV? I don't think so. Let me try to talk to him in here because. Uh, this guy's fast, and he's got good eyes, so I doubt I can sneak up on him. Take out his eyes then! Thanks, you're a big help. I mean, that's what we're kind of trying to do. Remember that time you had therapy? Yeah, the court will never make that mistake again. Okay, yeah, I figured someone. Let's look around. Great idea. Wait, have you been looking this up, Lily? <laughs> Lily reading ahead. <laughs> Lily can't cheat. Lily, don't cheat. No spoilers, but you're gonna have to go go to uh, the one way. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. Remind me to refill your prescriptions. Uh, see what we're missing here. Doom, 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 doom. Baby needs <laughs> guns, liquor, baby needs. Perfect. Let's go back into Bosco's. I clicked on the dumpster. Hello. I don't want to wake him up. Whee! Mm. Sludge machine. Try them. Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors wheatgrass and meatloaf. Hmm. Can I take some of that? Sludgies. With one. This week's flavor. No. Coffee machine. I think it's the tinge of green that makes this coffee. I take my coffee. No. We clicked on all this stuff. Nothing like a gaggle of security cameras pointed at a guy to make him feel at home. I'm comfortable with it because I'm uncommonly photogenic. Oh, yeah, we can try that. This is a tear glass. Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh, we want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? We'd like that tear gas grenade launcher. That'll be $10,000. Oh, were you serious about that? It's a bargain. Trust me. Trust me. I never trust a man that says trust me twice. We gotta find an illegally wealthy motorist, and quick! Mmm. Seriously? Give us the tear gas. Give me the 10,000 bucks. We gotta find an illegally wealthy motorist, and quick! Oh, okay, okay. Nothing for us right now. I guess okay. we gotta go... Oh, actual award? You know, we did put the kibosh on that whole terrorist operation, so... How about some free stuff? Is that why you did this? For free stuff? Was this all a part of the plot? Yes, a labyrinthine scheme in which we paid off a former child star to deliver videos to your store just so that we could knock him out via your own security system and claim an undeserved reward. So you admit it! <laughs> Conspiracy humor may be lost on this crowd. <laughs> we want to buy something. Ah, uh, what you got your eye on? Give us the tear gas. Give me the 10,000 bucks. We gotta find an illegally wealthy motorist. And All quick. Right. All right, I guess we gotta do that. It's Nothing for us right not now. Not sure um, okay. what we do there with that, Thanks, but that's Bosco. fine. Sleep with two eyes open. We need 10,000 bucks. Let's arrest somebody. It's <laughs> fine. Um, remember our old car, Max? I said I. 
Let's go. Where are we going, Sam? I clicked on it. I clicked on the lobby before. Let's go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! If I actually click off the screen, it does that. So. Do you have money? People of Earth, we come in peace. Just kidding. Prepare to die. I don't know how we know if they uh, have money or not. Just shoot them or pull over. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die. Hello, we're freelance police. And you're not! Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? Uh... Your taillight's busted. No, it isn't. Well, maybe it should be. Mental note. Try to pull over suspects who are actually <laughs> guilty of something. Alright, so we gotta... We gotta... The game seems to be breaking the law today. I know. What's the problem? Start committing some crimes, you sick bunch of reprobates. Right. So we gotta shoot someone's uh, headlights out, and then pull them over for it. Look at the cars at him. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. Oh well. Well, that, he's gone. Sam one tail. Well, okay. I gotta be quick on the horn here. Dang it! I'm so bad at this game. If this is actually what you're supposed to do, I don't know. Look, I just uh, do this. Here we go, and then we do this. I could do this all day. They're freelance police, so... Greetings, anonymous motorist. If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. What's the charge? Uh, a uh, broken taillight. Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being... <laughs> hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? <laughs> what, are you crazy? One second, allow me to confer with my legal counsel. <clears throat> My attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we got some accounting to do. Oh, sweet. Thanks, sucker. <laughs> it's bothering you that he's not wearing shoes. That's what bothering you. <laughs> the fact that he had $10,000 just there. In his car the whole time. <laughs> but now we can buy the tear gas. It's going to a good cause, okay? <laughs> In the sack, too. Marked money. Hello. All right. Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh. We want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? We got your tear gas money right here. Really? Well, all right. Here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Now put that away before someone gets hurt. What do you mean? The 10000 just cover the cost of materials, you know? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> it's okay, everybody. I'm all right. 
All right, let's go. <laughs> Confuse you on many levels. <laughs> okay. Now to use that thing. Oh, Sybil? Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> but it will make you cry. <laughs> Sweet, knocking him out. Please, Sam, allow me. Now, Peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding, it'll definitely hurt you more. Sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil. It's Peepers. Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes, Brady Culture was there! He kept telling me to do stuff. Mm. Uh -huh. I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear. Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Thanks for taking care of that wacko. I wish there was them. some way I could repay you. Uh, can you fix calls? We could use another 10 grand. Have you got 10 grand? I'm new at this. I have a lot of student <laughs> loans. Great, loan us a student. I can ride it around like a pony. It's nice to see you show such enthusiasm. Security. Max might like a tattoo. Oh yeah, I want a map of the Netherlands on my Netherlands. I get the cold shivers just thinking about remembering hearing you say that. I'm out of the tattoo business anyway. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. Can you fix cars? Ours sometimes makes a noise like an orangutan with the dry heaves. Um, that's my fault. I've been keeping an orangutan in the trunk. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm not much of a mechanic anyway, except with unicycles. I suppose you could psychoanalyze me. Hey, yeah, I could count your marbles for you. I have a license, you know. Will this be painful? Only if we do it right. Now, there are a couple things we can try. We could look at some ink blots. We could try some free association. I could interpret your dreams for you. Um, so the ink blots. How do ink blots work? And can we make them ourselves? It's easy. I just show you some pictures, and you tell me what you see. Your responses can reveal things like obsessions or obsessions take a look at this and tell me what you see hmm what do we see uh holding an emmy the results of last time i met max drive 
the results of the last time I let Max drive. All right. <laughs> now, how about this one? Hmm. Hmm. Saint Valentine's Day. Oh my gosh. The Saint Valentine's Day massacre. And this. Screw got a run over. Screw got run over twice. My uncle Louis. Moth in wallet. Uh, go on then. My Uncle Louis' moth eaten wallet. Now, this one, what do you see? Elephants on New York Stock Exchange. Twenty nuns with machine guns out for vengeance. And this one? Uh... A war between two teams of abstract shapes. You seem fairly focused on violence, but it's probably nothing to worry about. Thanks, Doc. What's free association like? It's a test of your reactions to things in your life. I say a word, and then you just say or do the first thing that comes into your head. All right. Dance a song, recite the alphabet, scream at the top of my lungs, that sort of thing. Hmm, interesting. Have we started already? No, but now we will. Ready? Is right. that the word? No, the word is tumbleweed. Uh. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from. Subject displays symptoms of ironic nostalgia complex. <laughs> now try this one crown. Uh. Can we look at some pictures? Subject shows preference for inkblot test while undergoing free association test. Possible ergonomic schism. Comb. Comb? What do you think of this free association stuff, Max? Seems like a crack of weak tea to me, Sam. Hmm. Dialogue with imaginary friend. Very interesting. <laughs> hey, I'm not imaginary. If you say so. Well, this has been illuminating. What's the verdict? I'll let you know after hey. years of insanely expensive treatment. Anything to support small local businesses. We can always sell organs on the black market to raise the cash. Just so they're not ours, little buddy. <laughs> can you really learn anything from my grotesque, nonsensical dreams? Oh, absolutely. They reveal your subconscious. It's like peeling an onion. Youch! Now just relax and try to remember your dream. Okay, here goes. Mm. My dreams always start in the office, but this time things were different. Mm, yes, I can picture it. Tell me what happened. Not a thing was on TV. Suggesting you feel television is an intellectual wasteland, devoid of any and all worthwhile content. No, that can't be right. Uh... I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, you had a special guest. Who was it? Who is it? Max, Bosco, you or me? What should we put down here? Let me know. You. You. It was you. Me? My, my, my. Oh, I represent your mother. <laughs> You do? Of course. The feelings of trust, of safety. Besides, I figure the old hag's gotta be in there somewhere. That's psychotherapy 101. Insightful! Tell me, in your dream, was I doing anything queer? You did say something pretty queer. You ungrateful pup! I went through three weeks of labor for you! Wow, it is your mother. <laughs> I was right! As I usually am. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was Max. It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. Excuse me, I'm standing right next to you, lady. In your dream, was Max doing anything unusual? Well, he was saying the Pledge of Allegiance to the tune of Camptown Races. I pledge allegiance to my gun, doo-da, doo-da. But that's not unusual. 
I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? Bosco. It was Bosco, from the inconvenience store. Ah, uh, yes. You go to him when you need things. Yes, he represents your father. Bosco's my daddy? <laughs> uh, symbolically, yes. Literally, I sure hope not. <laughs> In your dream, was Bosco doing anything peculiar? He did say something rather unexpected. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. Now go wash my car. Yes, that's just what I expected. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? It was me. It was me. You? Hmm. I think you represent yourself. I didn't even realize that was possible. Oh, sure. Any crazy thing's possible in psychoanalysis. Tell me, did the other you say or do anything unexpected? No, the usual. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm fine, Sam. And yourself? Not too shabby. Fascinating. Where does your mind come up with this stuff? I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Mmm. The rats are pests. They represent something bothersome. Tell me, what was in the hole? Uh, a hot dog. It was a hot weenie of indeterminate maturity. A weenie in a rat hole. Nope, no symbolism there. <laughs> I noticed a plaque above the closet bearing Jesse James's severed hand. <laughs> well, only in a dream, huh? I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Yes, we put things in the closet we want to hide away, things we're ashamed of. Please, Sam, what's in your closet? Uh... A parking meter. A parking meter? Why would you possibly be ashamed That's of cool. that? Well, we did run over the meter in front of our building once or twice. Or every single time we ever parked there. It seems like a kid's game. This is not a kid's game. I mean, it's not like a day. It's not that bad of a game, like a game. I remembered that I'd just gotten something from the bakery. Oh, sounds like you and your special guest there were having a little celebration. What did you get? It was a wedding cake, ripe for the toppling. A wedding cake? <laughs> you want to marry her? Uh, well, <laughs> let me just say, I hope you two will be very happy together. Uh, thanks. I prepared to leap out of the window. Oh, was that the end of your dream? Yep, then I woke up screaming. I can see why. I don't know what that was all about. <laughs> Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm. Postponing responsibilities. Interesting. Uh, I don't know what that was all about. All right, well, let's go talk to the other guys. Go back. There's more to that. Has Lily been reading a hand? Uh, wait, what about the noose? Oh, okay. <laughs> what could you say about the news? Okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Uh. How'd you like to shrink my head a little, Doc? Of course. What's your poison? I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right, let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit further. Mm. Okay, tell me what happened. Hanging on the coat rack was a necktie in the shape of a noose. Oh my, Sam, I'm not sure how to put this, but I think you may need a therapist. Oh wait, <laughs> I forgot I am one. I noticed something peculiar in the water cooler. Ah, the water cooler, a source of refreshment. What was in it? Uh, a gun. It was a massive death-dealing revolver. You subconsciously find revolvers refreshing? Oh no, it's quite conscious, I assure you. All right, I honestly got Max's desk. I didn't notice anything unusual there. Then why do you mention it? I don't know. Interesting. 
I noticed something odd on the dartboard. Oh, something you're shooting for. What was your target? Toothbrush. It was a beautiful picture of a toilet brush. Mmm, Freud toilet warned brush. of this. Tell me, Sam, do you take pleasure in moving your own bowels? I take pleasure in moving others. All right. I turned to leave the office. Oh, was that the end of your dream? Yep, then I woke up screaming. I can see why. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this is. I mean, this is for funsies. I don't know anything there. Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm. Postponing responsibilities. Interesting. We put a pocket meter in the closet. And, uh... All right, I want to see if we can talk to the other guys. <clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby. Wh what's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227 something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the driving. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Well, that was helpful. All right, 2227. Let's go talk to the other guy. Bum, 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 bum. Hello. Please do not confuse toilet and toothbrush. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. I try not to. <laughs> Take control of your mind. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Oh, where am I? Who are you? Oh, I'm sorry, Ice Don't Queen. Worry. We're freelance police. Police? Oh no! He's getting away in that truck! Quick, follow that soda popper. Hurry, Sam! He's getting away! We could end after this bedroom. I gotta Watch avoid out. I gotta avoid the boxes and probably get him. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Dang it. Boy, I shoot maybe. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Oh God. Yeah. Got him. Yes. Don't shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just, you always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Hey, Chaz. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? I wonder why he's playing that, that exceedingly got a fez creepy on. music out here. Um, do you, what do you think? Do you want me to keep going with this? Or we can, uh, we can end. What does everyone think? Save it? I think, it's already, I think it automatically saves. I don't know. Maybe we will save it just in case. Go on? Okay. Um, I'm invested now. Go on. Keep going. Okay. Keep going.
The humor is, uh, you know. <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> you know, it's a bit, uh. Save the case for Sean. Bit adult, let's say. Um, more than maybe I remember. <laughs> uh, by the characters, so. It's very perfect for this channel. It's not the monkey with the fez on. A little quirky, a little dirty, a little bit. Not like overly. It's 90s humor. This game came out originally in like, gosh, I don't know, 2010 maybe? Someone want to look that up? Not the very first game when Telltale's Summer Max came out. 2006. There we go. Yeah, so it's, uh, you know, it's, it's got a. Some things may not age as well. <laughs> um. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. The buttons do. I guess this is where you stick your admission form. Locked. Um, we could probably play for the first episode. There's like there's five episodes in total. I don't know um, how long each one is, uh, but we could probably play for the first one. And if uh, you want to, we can then play another one another night as well. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently, it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Forsooth! You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. Mole Man poster. Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't they all? Uh, it's not a brand new one. They took the, save. they've taken the Telltale one. And they've remastered it. So this is not Telltale doing, because there is no Telltale. I don't know if the people who worked on this also worked at Telltale, but they've remastered it. And maybe they make a f third season, because there's, there's two seasons of this. Um, yeah. Me, so, um, Abby and my other sister and my brother and my mom, we all played, like, adventure games growing up. And then this game came out obviously much later, but it was like a, a, a return to the adventure game genre because there hadn't been adventure games for so long. So it's all very exciting. Yeah, it's like a re-release. It's on Xbox as well. Still locked. Now treating artificial personality disorder. I think we got the form. Let's put the form in here. Hmm. It didn't like it. I bet we have to get that officially filled out by a licensed psychiatric professional. Got Trust it. Trust me, I have experience with these things. Well, we know where one is, so let's drive. We wasn't the crates. Check the crates. I think someone was sitting here. And leaking. I, I honestly couldn't tell you what they've redone. Uh, the trailer makes it seem a little more brighter. I don't, I don't know. Like, the game wasn't that, I mean, it looks kind of like the original game that came out in 2006. So it hasn't been that long, but. Where are we going, Sam? I don't know what they actually recreated. Um, Back to the office. Yeah, they did two seasons. They also did um, a Monkey Island, which was really great. And uh, they uh, they did a Wallace and Gromit. They did a Back to, Fu a Back to the Future, uh, which was cool. And then they did The Walking Dead. And then all their games became clones of The Walking Dead after that. It's like they never went back to this style of 
picking up stuff and clicking and this style. They never went back. They just it was that way for until they got shut down. I mean, the Walking Dead game was great. I liked it, but every game like that, like the one I always laugh at, is um, is the the um, Minecraft one. Oh right, yeah, go ahead, that's right. The Minecraft one, when they made it like, if you click the wrong option, it'd be like, Jesse will remember this. I'm like. Why do I have to feel bad that Jesse is upset at the decision I made? It's a Minecraft game. This is not emotion. I should be having a feeling of emotion. Deep emotion about my decision making. It's a VR game, is it really? I've not seen that. Either. The Monkey Island one is classic, yeah. Alright, let's go give it this one. I like to play more adventure games on the channel here. Um, maybe we'll play Monkey Islands as well in the future. Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Hmm, interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting older. Hey, I know! I could psychoanalyze you! This is why we gotta do that. Okay, okay. Do you remember all that? Do you remember all those things? Uh, money. Oh gosh, what was the second one? <laughs> dentistry? Money, dentistry, and what was the third one? <laughs> We're not playing Side Magic or ZK. <laughs> Lily will remember that. <laughs> Violence. Hang on. Okay. Can we do some more ink blots? Those are entertaining. Money, dentist, sure. and Sure, let's take another look at your older. unseemly obsessions. Take a look at this okay. and tell me what you see. All right, so. Holding an Emmy, maybe? If this is the, if this is that one, he's getting older. Wait, pennies on the eyes of a dead man. Maybe that one? Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah, on yeah. the eyes yeah, of a yeah, dead yeah. mime. Interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, how about this one? Okay, this is the money one then, which would make sense. So I'll just pick anything that has the word money in it. <laughs> mm. Okay. Uh, an SUV crashing into a, that one maybe? Yeah. Okay. An SUV crashing into an opulent mansion. Yep. Okay. And this. The uh, wallet one. My Uncle Louis' moth-eaten wallet. Now this one. What do you see? Okay. Stock exchange. Elephants at the New York Stock Exchange. And this one? Mm, debit card. A debit card fed through a document shredder. Hmm. Well, judging by your responses, you seem to be fairly obsessed with money. That's a symptom of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark it on your chart. Very interesting. We should test you for the other symptoms of APD. Whatever you say, Sawbones. I'm not a Sawbones. I'm a psychotherapist. Tomato, tomato. Hey, I'm getting hungry. All right, so the other one was dentistry, right? Uh... Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Ready? Sure, go ahead. Cow. Uh... How do I have a figure about dentistry in this room? What do I even click on? Oh, violence intensity for this one. Uh, alright, well, you know what? Then just shoot something. Be careful where you wave that thing in my office. Oh, I'm always careful. <laughs> Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. How about this word? Drill. Okay. I'm just gonna, just gonna shoot the chair. Be careful where you wave that thing in my office. Oh, I'm always careful. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Dryer. Just do or say whatever comes naturally. Okay. Just gonna 
just gonna, just gonna shoot the uh, the fan here. Be careful where you wave that thing in my office. Oh, I'm always careful. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Well, this has been illuminating. Yeah. Yes. Your reactions indicate that you're a generally violent person. <laughs> I'm disturbed to hear that. Me too. I've always thought of you as a specifically violent person. <laughs> Do you think I might have artificial personality disorder? Maybe, but people with APD are known for their violent reactions to dentistry. Mmm. Oh, towards dentistry. I gotta shoot the chair over and over. Too much shooting. Don't shoot for every word. Uh, 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 uh. Let's try some more free association. That will tell us more about your unreasonable reactions to the elements of your life. Okay, okay. Remember, I'll say words, and you just do or say whatever comes naturally. Right, right, Ready? right. Right, right, right. Fire away, Grizzly. Lug nut. No, lug nut, whatever. Um. Ah, the tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds. Subject displays symptoms of ironic nostalgia complex. Fluoride. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. Be careful where you wave <laughs> that thing in my office. Oh, I'm always careful. Hmm. Violent reaction to the word. Very interesting. Teasing. Hmm. What do you think of this free association stuff, Max? Seems like a crack of weak tea to me, Sam. Hmm. Dialogue with imaginary friend. Very interesting. Hey, I'm not imaginary. If you say so. Well, this has been illuminating. Yes? Your responses lead me to believe that you have an unusually violent reaction to dentistry. You should see him at the podiatrist's. It could be symptomatic of artificial personality disorder. I'd better mark this on your chart. Great. You have two of the symptoms listed on this form. Am I deranged? I don't want to alarm you, but probably. Can I have your hat when they commit you? Sure, little buddy. Um, what was the last one? Actually, let's save the psychoanalysis for later. Hmm, postponing responsibilities. Interesting. Symptoms include, uh, let's see, obsession with money, Got it. violent reactions to dentistry. And an unconscious desire to see one's peers getting That's older. That's the one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Hey, Doc. Hey, Sam. Getting older. Got it. Um... How'd you like to shrink my head a little, Doc? Of course. What's your poison? I'd like to tell you about another mundane but strangely compelling dream I had. All right. Let's examine your disturbing subconscious desires a bit further. Okay, tell me what happened. Okay, so let's go to the closet. I noticed something bizarre in the closet. Ah, something you're ashamed of. What was it? Okay, uh, what do you think? A camera, a lottery ticket, or a parking meter? I, I want my peers to get older. A camera. A hidden video camera. Hmm. I think someone may be secretly ashamed of his voyeurism. Nope, I'm proud. Okay. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Okay. Oh, who was your special guest? Right. Me, maybe? I want to see my, my piece get older. So, Max, maybe? It was Max. Ah, yes, your imaginary friend. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? Uh, me? It was me. Yes, you represent yourself. Okay. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Nothing unusual there. I noticed something weird sticking out of the rat hole. Something bothersome. What was it? Bosco, you think? Uh, fish, crackling balls, or a hot dog. Peers or other people? Okay, yeah, we can do Max then. Oscar's my dad, and she's the mom. So let's do Ma Max. 
It was that staple office knick-knack, the oh, clacking right. balls. Clacking balls. Not unlike the ones on your desk. Oh, do you not like the balls? No, Sybil, I don't like the balls. Well. I realized there was someone else in the room with me. Oh, who was your special guest? Let's go back to Max. It was Max. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, what else we got here? Nothing unusual there. I had just gotten something new from the bakery. For a celebration, perhaps? What did you get? It was a birthday cake. It was an overly frosted birthday cake. Wait a second. The birthday cake, your friend, you subconsciously want to see your peers get older. I could have told you that. This is a definite symptom of artificial personality disorder. Yes. I mean, I hope it's not serious. I'd better mark this on your chart. All right, we did it. Sweet. Wow, it must be artificial personality disorder. You've got all the signs. I bet I can get a paper out of this. Best ship me off to some sort of home for former child stars then. I've signed this admissions form, but you'll have to arrange your own transportation. I'm about to be really busy publishing the details of your case. Since you're crazy, can I drive? Jumping vehicular homicide, no. <laughs> Alright, let's go back out with that um. We did it, team. We did it. Good job, team. Ooh, it's getting late here. Where we go? We're going here. Back to Brady Culture's home for former child stars. Oh, okay. That's scary. Kinda hard to get in, especially if they're trying to brainwash you, you know? Come on, little buddy. There's justice to be served. Can we get ice cream afterwards? Justice makes me hungry. Let's go. Well, hello, nightmares. <laughs> Fine. This reminds me of that place where Aunt Trudy lives with the medicine smell and the rubber sheets and the enormous mute Indian. Sounds like a million laughs. Yeah, mostly after medication time. Where is everybody? Pulchritude above doubts. This is Culture's Clubhouse. Jumping Lawn Cheney in a boffo fright wig. Brady Culture, I presume. You know who I am? Wow! Evil plans really do work. Don't get too excited, Stretch Pants. The Freelance Police are here. Yes, actually. I've been waiting for you. Really? Next time, try leaving the front door open. Save us all some grief. Allow me to explain. <coughs> Uh-oh. I think we just triggered a soliloquy. Good thing I have the attention span of a pint of yak butter. I never wanted much. Just to be universally loved, that's all. And to be number one in the TV ratings for the 1971 fall season. But no. Those worthless hacks, the soda poppers, with their matching shirts and their cute little jingles. They came on opposite me and stole my audience. I was never offered another role. And now you two vigilantes won't even let a poor, down-on-his-luck actor mass-hypnotize the entire viewing public to become his worshipful fans forever! How cruel. Is it over? I think so. So? Whoops. Since you ruined the beautiful <laughs> irony of having my arch-rivals run my promotional campaign, I'm afraid you'll just have to take their places. In your dreams, culture! No, my friends. In yours. Hey, that tickles! Become 
Video Delivery Man. What? What's happening? Oh no. Oh no! What are you doing? I, I don't know. I... You were in on it all along! I told you it was a conspiracy! I told you! But then you already knew, didn't you? No, Bosco. I must deliver videos. Call the CIA! Call Interpol! Call Mickey Rooney! Must deliver Mickey Rooney videos. Uh... I must deliver videos. I must deliver videos. Grab the cheese. I must deliver videos. We'll grab the cheese on the way out. Grabbing cheese. Oh, don't even try. Yeah. I love that part. I'm scared. <laughs> this is Sam and Max. It's like a adventure game. Uh oh. Either I just walked into the Salvador Dali Memorial Wax Museum, or I'm dreaming. You love me. You adore me. Become video delivery man. Do my evil bidding and so forth. <laughs> <laughs> Holy brains in a blender. I'm still hypnotized. If only I could remember what Sybil told me to do. Destroy the intruder in your dream. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sam, I'm up here. Oh, hi, little buddy. Brady stole my body. I hate when people do that. You gotta get me down from here. Okay, little guy, I'll save you. Um. Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Hurry, Sam. I've got an itch I can't scratch. <laughs> Brady's stolen Max's body. Oh, and it feels good, too. I just love my new furry paws and cute little The ghost tail. buses. Hey, don't touch my tail, you psychopathic body stealer. Ooh, just let me at him. Can I shoot stuff? Didn't hurt. <laughs> Can I shoot Max's head? He's my buddy, though. I don't want to pop him. Good point, dude. <laughs> you can't shoot me. I'm incandescent. Hmm. I think someone needs to turn the lights out on your career, Brady. What? Uh, no! All right, good. We got that one. Oh, that Brady culture. He turns the world off with his smile. Yeah, you turn the TV off, maybe. It's Brady culture on TV. Yes, right where I belong. Uh, Everyone watch me. Me! <laughs> I like the fish in the background. Uh, can I like... It's Brady culture on TV. Can I shoot the TV, maybe? <laughs> hmm. Shooting TV stars only makes them stronger. It's just a dream, Sam. Uh, is that... What's going what with the mouse? this thing? Sweet rodent eating disorders. That is one fat rat. Mmm, mmm. You know what? I will be number one in the ratings. Now, and thanks to Cable, for all eternity. Can I pump it up and then open the door? Hmm. Can I click on that and then click on that? I will be uni- Hey, Brady Cheese. What is it, fool? Here we I'd go. like to introduce you to a little friend of mine. No, the cheese must stand alone. <laughs> Did it. And that was good. Another one bites the cheese. Weird. Where did they get the pump? I have no idea. Wait, did the hand move? Strange.
Right, we got the TV one, and then the Max's body one. Uh, smoke. Enigmatic. Okay. What Brady race, culture. What is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Oh. Whee! That was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam. Hmm, what now? Yay! <laughs> that was great. But Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of so something. So much brain work. Can I knock him over a little bit? Queer. Okay. Water cooler. I may not show it much, but I love you, Sam. <laughs> now go wash my car. <laughs> All right. Uh... Don't worry, little buddy. I'll get you. Brady's stolen Max's body. <laughs> Just let me at him. Oh, co hanger. Wonder what would happen to the picture quality if I gave this a tug. No! I must be on TV for all eternity! No! Oh, all right. yes, that's much better. There reception. we go. All right. I feel like we just need to move his head over here somehow. Let's see what happens if I mess with this thing. Whoa! Whee! I don't really have a uh, control over other than that. Yay! <laughs> I'm right back Oof. where I started. Okay, hold on. I'll think of something. The noose. There's no noose in this weird reality one. Odd. We can grab this guy maybe now. Is that we've used? I think I've done enough pumping for one dream. True. Wait, the finger's pointing. I can't see because my picture's in the way. Interesting. Oh, the picture's just pointing at... It's pointing at me. I guess I could just be right here. I guess I could just be a little slightly low. It's just a dream, Sam. Weird. Hmm. You want to name every single one of your children after me. Brady's stolen Max's body. <laughs> Just let me at him. We need to like sl either move him over or move that guy over here. Or oh, the hanger, do we have it now? Oh, we do, right. So we can like use the hanger on. Dance, puppet, dance. Why am I lugging around a coat hanger again? Please, Sam, put it back on the TV. I'm begging you. Uh, so we have to see where I'm pointing. There we go. Huh. In your dreams. This what one? is this doing here? Hey, it's loose. Whoa. Whee! <laughs> that was the most fun I've had since I lost my body. Let's do it again, Sam. I can't Ooh, click anything when he's up. Yay! <laughs> when I'm in that mode. That was great. But Sam, if you'll notice, I'm right back where I started. Okay, the smoke. Hold on. I'll think of something. I clicked on it. I don't know what to do with it, though. Strange. All I have is a coat hanger. That doesn't even work in a dream. <laughs> Can I click on the, the fan with it, maybe? Can I use it on, can I use it on this sign? I love my... Not even in a dream. Can we use it on the coat hanger? That doesn't even work in a dream. Mm. No, I mean, if we can have... We can fly around some ideas. Smoke. I will have legions of sickening breakfast cereals named after me. I don't know if I can click on the fish. Or I could try, maybe. No. I am Brady Culture, and you are not. Get Billy, no! 
Don't look up fast. Don't look up stuff. I don't want to pop him. Oh, there we go. Whee! Whoa. Gotcha. Yay! <laughs> Bad Lily. <laughs> I just said no. <laughs> Be like, yeah, I'm gonna give you anyway. Um, I have to win tight, try it. All right. Oh, Mr. Culture, I have a surprise for you. Really? For me? No! <laughs> oh, my. Thanks, Sam. A little stringy, but good. Oh, mm. I just remembered. I'm supposed to be somewhere. Bye, Max. Yeah, we did it. Oh, uh. oh no, he's awake. We're done for. Save the girlish histrionics, Bosco. I'm all right. Hmm. I was merely the victim of your garden variety video delivery hypnosis scheme. Okay, but what about your co-conspirator? My co-conspirator? Holy underpants draped to the mast of a sinking pork rind freighter. That hirsute egomaniac kidnapped my little buddy. Any idea how I can curtail this culture crisis? Brady culture. I, Bo Man. Huh, stay away from him. He's got it in for me. Sorry, Bosco. No can do. I've got to save my furry little pal. I don't suppose you have a Bosco Tech device that stymies hypnosis-inducing energy beams? Oh, a, a hypnosis blocker? Yeah, I thought about making one of those, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I've got to find something. Quick! Hmm... Thanks, Bosco. Do me proud. We're gonna have to sibyl about it. There's no time for that. I've got to rescue Max. We need some kind of like glasses or something, right? That won't help me rescue Max. Yeah, it's gonna be too sibyl. You don't know, Lily? Mm. Well, how much have you read? How much have you read, Lily? <laughs> I've read all the games now. I know all of them. Of the ball guy. Doc. Max is gone. Well, most of us outgrow our imaginary friends eventually. No, that megalomaniac Brady Culture's got him. I see. Of course. <laughs> the part was stuck on. <laughs> nah, but good. Uh, Max is real. Hang on. Were you implying that Max is imaginary? I wasn't implying anything, though he does seem a little improbable. You see him too, though, right? True, but then I'm a psychotherapist. I've got to find some way to block a hypnotic ray. I don't suppose you, as a brain specialist of sorts, would know anything. Uh... <laughs> Great suffering lab rats, you do know something. Out with it, before my synapses fuse into a milky puddle of slag. Well, it's a gross breach of doctor-patient privilege for me to even tell you about it. But one of my more technologically inclined patients drew me a diagram of a contraption he claimed will block hypnosis. That's just the sort of ridiculously lucky break I need. <laughs> it's a huge violation of every reasonable code of ethical conduct, of course. But you being a policeman of sorts, I suppose it's okay to give you the diagram. Hmm, my lack of solid engineering background has finally caught up with me. I can't make any sense of this. I'd love to help, but engineering is one of the few fields I haven't tried. Sorry. All right, go to Bosco. He knows how to build things. <laughs> we are past the... Um...
Bosco, take a gander at this. What is it? A death threat? Even better. It's instructions for the latest in Bosco tech innovation. Hmm. Well, let's see. A colander for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can build this. Just need one thing. What's that? Something for that antenna thing at the top. Antenna. Got it. A co hanger? That's on the TV. Let's go. Or do I already have that? No, it's on the dream. <laughs> Lily's my uh is my Seven Max Capaldi, if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? See what I did there? You know, cause when I get second you know um Nancy Drew, Capaldi helps me. <laughs> All right, go ahead, let's go. Max isn't gonna like it when he finds out I ruined our reception. I've got to tell him as soon as possible. All right, let's go. It's not cheating if in the chat. I give fake hints like, shoot something. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, found him. <laughs> like use the gun. <laughs> uh, it's cool if uh, we are working together to figure the stuff out. I think that's a bit more fun. Um, so that's what I kind of hope. We're all kind of trying to figure out. If you obviously know the answer, it's not fun, but you know. Will a make do antenna do as a make do antenna? Yeah. Okay. Let me just add a little Bosco tech innovation. And here it is, the most sophisticated hypnosis blocking helmet the world has ever seen. Happy days are here again. Uh oh, it seems like the old moolah gauge is running on empty. Ah, take it. Just stop that Brady culture. He's got it in for me. You're a credit to dementia, Bosco. You'll have to pay for the next one, though. What is that? Nah, you're good, lady. No worries. <laughs> you're all good. <laughs> Syrian. The Assyrian, the golden fez is yours. Happy days are here again. Ah, oh, thank you so much for that. Fifty. Months. Tier 3. Holy moly. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. How are you doing? Have you ever played the Summer Max series, Serian? <laughs> Talk up his eyes. Quick, punch him. <laughs> We're playing the remastered one, because why not? <laughs> you doing well? Uh, I guess we can save it. I guess we can save it. Mm -mm. Me, 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 me. All right. Do I gotta equip this thing or? Uh, I'll put it on inside Brady Culture's home. I wouldn't want to be caught wearing last year's fashions in this neighborhood. Good point, good point, good point. I'm coming, Max. Let's go. Uh, Rule well, number we three. Always wear protective headgear we when confronting diabolical villains later. with hypnotic oh, devices. Yeah, I mean, um, it's just because, you know, um, we were like, is Dan here? And it was a no, and... Hand over the Lagomorph culture. Sam! Boy, am I glad to see you. Johann Sebastian here only knows how to play one song. What's this, a rerun? Didn't we just see the dog getting hypnotized episode? <laughs> well, if you really want to watch it again. <laughs> what? 
another triumph for skanky ingenuity and ordinary kitchenware. Give it up, culture. Your quiche is cooked. Time out for the cavalry! You've colored outside the lines of the law, Brady culture. We see you, and this time we're going to get hypnotized again. <laughs> I'm sure you all remember the commands I taught you. So now, my foolish pawns, attack the dog! Ah. Um, oh, I, I can click on them. Attack. Attack Brady Culture. No, attack the dog. Hmm. Attack me. Attack me. Whoops. Ow. <laughs> attack, uh, your videotapes? Attack the videotapes. The goons attack the dog. Ow! I thought this was Minecraft. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Dan. I, I swear, we will play it. The broken promise hurts deep, dog. Dan, tomorrow, we're gonna be playing so much Minecraft. It's gonna be crazy, crazy. So much Minecraft. Become me. Become me. Somersaulting Democrats in a crate of sauerkraut. Patience is a sharp razor to swallow. You crack me up, little buddy. Who's that supposed to be? Stop this foolishness. Attack the dog. Hmm. Ah. Become Brady Culture. Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. What nonsense. Attack the dog. <laughs> uh, worship. Worship me. Yeah, worship me. No, me, me, worship me. You're my minions, mine. Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. What nonsense. Attack the dog. Okay, we got the we got, we got another step here. So worship. Worship Brady Culture. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Can I shoot him now? I can't shoot him. Can I punch him? Attack the dog! No. Ouch. Uh worship uh yourself. Worship yourselves. Mm -hmm. Boneheads, attack the dog! Ah. He likes being worshipped. Um Worship the Worship the videotapes. Imbeciles! Attack the dog! <laughs> no, we gotta have him worship Brady Culture. Worship Brady Culture. Ha <laughs> ha! And what can I do in this situation? Attack the dog! I can't move. Ow! Oh, maybe, oh yeah, maybe attack him. Let's try that. One. Uh. Worship Brady Culture. Hey, my maid, how you doing today? Uh, and then attack Brady Culture. Attack Brady Culture. No, attack the dog. Ouch. Become yourselves. Well, we know that this works, so we'll do that. Worship Brady Culture. <laughs> okay, and then. Become Brady Culture? Become Brady Culture. <laughs> Do my evil bidding. Worship the videotapes. Become yourself. Nonsense. Oh, you yeah, tried that, yeah. Attack the dog. Ouch. I can't move as soon as I do anything. 
Become yourselves. <laughs> Oofs. Attack the dog! <laughs> Maybe worship and then become yourselves? Let's see. Worship Brady culture. <laughs> this is a boss battle, by the way. This is this game's version of a boss battle. And then become yourselves. Become yourselves. We haven't tried becoming the videotapes. Oops. Attack the dog! Oh, is that our down? Uh. Oh, wait. You're right. Oh, this, never mind. <laughs> uh, how about become the videotapes? Become videotapes. <laughs> Black wits. Attack the dog. Ow. Attack. Hmm. Uh... We already try attacking everybody. We tried worshiping. Worship me more. Worship me. No, me, me. Worship me. Everything is about me. Worship me. No, me, me. Worship me. Everything is about me. Become me since. Become me. Since uh, they have to attack the dog. Become me. No, me! Me! Become me! <laughs> what? Hey, wait a second. Attack the dog! Right, we're confusing the guy. <laughs> we're confusing him. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Now we're confusing him. So, wish it me. Wish it me. No, me, me, worship me. Everything is about me. Then let's say attack me. Attack me. No, me, attack me, 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 me. Yes. Oops, no, wait, I mean. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Smart hey, move, Sam. He's you played him dude. like a two dollar glockenspiel. I learned all my best tactics in the first grade. <laughs> I tried to send you semaphore signals with my ears, but you know how I always get the K and the V mixed up. You crack me up, little buddy. Well, I guess we should dehypnotize these poor saps again and be on our way. Let me! You know how I adore gratuitous violence. <laughs> well, that's that, Max. Another boot to the pasty ass of crime. Thank goodness this whole hypnotic mind control thing didn't go any further. That could have been really annoying. It's great to be on your show, Myra. I'm a huge fan. I just can't seem to stop watching for some reason. There we go. We did it. That was episode one. What did everyone think? That was fun. Yeah, I like it. It's not, they're not like totally long. And there's five episodes in all, so we can do another episode, another nine. You like that a lot? Sweet! Wow, what a game. <laughs> they all... There's all, um... There's an overarching story to them as well. Would you play more one day? Yeah. Well, you can put, Well, actually, I already have. But not on stream, but you know, yeah, a bit of episode. Soda, soda poppers. I command you to play every episode. We will. And heck, maybe we'll even go back, do the season two. The non remastered version. I mean, they're all on Steam, so. You won't remember anything from them, though.
Is that the Roblox version? <laughs> uh, there was a season two. Wait, there's only two seasons. Wait, was there three seasons? Was it? To go play here. So we just watched that episode. And then, obviously, you know. Oh, there are three seasons? Oh. I remember being two. Maybe, maybe I didn't play. I must have played them. I must have played them. Oh, yeah. Three seasons of Save the World. Wait, three seasons. Save the World, Beyond Space and Time. Okay, I did. I remember the Devil's Playhouse. So I must have then. What time is it? Do you want to do another one now? I mean... Might as well. I mean... Kind of getting late Callum though. Used their Twitch Prime. Glue Pride, Glue Prime. Hey, thank you so much for that. Um, yeah, it came in a late day. Eh? Another one, please. Yes. Minecraft. Minecraft. Maybe we'll do another one another night. Go ahead and end, dog. Dang, Lily, that I end. <laughs> um, try the gun. Um, more summer mags. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of getting late, so we'll, we'll we'll do another episode another night. These when these originally came out, they were like months apart. So I was like, oh, I gotta wait another month for the next episode. It's only 2.40. Try the gun. Sleep is for the week. One more drink. It's not even free yet. Not even free yet. <laughs> what do we do the next 100 babies? Uh, maybe this weekend? Hey Tom, how you doing? Good to see you. Well, let's put a poll up. Um, another episode of this. I don't know if we're jumping to Minecraft because it's like an hour of Minecraft. Uh, when are we going to do uh, more lawn mowing? Do it, Lily. It's 8, uh, 40 in the morning. Some eco. Let's just say a little eco. Oh, I haven't yet, mermaid. I need to get it. I'm gonna, I need to try it. I've had just no time to play anything off stream. But I definitely want to try it. Uh, there's a poll. There's <laughs> a bit eco on there. Eco on there. What are doing, Eco? <laughs> you could play Slime Rancher, but I could add Slime Rancher, but I didn't. I have Slime Rancher already. I have it on PC. Lily, I trusted you. <laughs> no noise, M. No noise. in my library minecraft tomorrow final fantasy monster hunter are you more i'm i'm more sam than max for sure i'm definitely max I don't know if I'm either. <laughs> I can tell you a joke, so I added it. <laughs> All right, let's play Eco. Mm -mm. 
gothic phone. Um, right, a lot of people are voting seven max. We'll play an hour more. Uh, we, I don't know if we finished the episode. We'll play an hour more and then I'll uh, we'll get out of here. Turning on the computer. Oh, you playing stories? One more hour. One more hour. Let me go get something to drink first, though, because I've I've run out of drink. So let me go get a drink. I'll be right back. One second.
Sorry about that. I went upstairs. And then Basil was giving me the, uh, I need to go outside look. And so I was like, okay, let me let you outside. But of course he doesn't want to like go right away. He just wants to look around. Oh, you want to do Gothic phone now? <laughs> you, you switched it up. Oh, me. <laughs> Gothic phone one. I don't remember doing that. I don't remember that poll happening. My dog wants us to go outside. Oh, really? I it was the dog. I voted whatever. Oh, is it unofficial? Okay. Uh, is everyone, well, who, who, I didn't see this poll. Was it like 50, 50? Was it like 52 to 49? It was 20 to 11. Ooh, that's kind of close. Um, because of you, dog, I showed my friend got phone and he, and we played, uh, Oh yeah, that's awesome. We'll play Gothic Phone another day, okay? I will. We will play that game again. I promise. Uh, he had some jokes in there. <laughs> it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun, but then I gotta like send invites out and I'm gonna make sure everyone's... It's... It's more chill. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I can't just mass invite. You also promised Minecraft today. Yes, yeah, so I've already broken promises today, so. Also, not the invites. The only thing about that game is that I can't just mass invite. I have to be selective and I know people want to play with me and I want to play with you. I trust you. So the thing is I trust you, but there's the other people I don't trust, you know, there's others. Little, it can get a little scary. <laughs> Dan is a little salty. We love Dan. We love Dan. How many promises did you break, dog? I may promise Minecraft. But I was like, you know, it's always time for Minecraft. Use like, yeah, but even that is a little bit risky, Capaldi. You know? Um, We'll play, we'll play an hour more of this. What time is it? It's three o'clock. You know? It's why I'm a James mod. Like, uh... <laughs> the best James mod out there. Fine. We will play more of that. He also promised mod... You were going to play more Yonder. So it's going to be great. It's gonna be great. Let's do another episode of this, or at least an hour of the next episode. We gotta find out what happens, you know? Look at this old comic book here. We gotta find out what happens. What's the next one? Simon's cat. <laughs> We're gonna finish Vikings up too. Man.
12 hours of finishing games. <laughs> Is it good, Capaldi? I'm not like super excited about and the wife is more excited than me, I don't know. It's um this is an adventure game. Like a click and a click and uh a point and click adventure game. It's kinda cartoony. It's supposed to be funny. If you were uh, Oh no, he's Angel. How's I it doing? It. Ah, I got it. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Yes. Sweet mother of double jeopardy backstroking and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You'll never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wink Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you jest. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. Oh my gosh. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly. I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away, or at our earliest convenience. Great! I've been itching to bust some skulls since they cancelled my so-called life. All right. First, what do you mean? click on all things. The reception's perfect right now. Click on all things. Pop culture info 2006. The contents of a lava lamp make an excellent hand cream. That was me. Which is why I haven't tried it. When I got this thing, I thought it would be useful. Where else would we keep the pieces of paper that we're never going to look at again? That was old, old stuff. Anybody home? Guess not. Okay. Ooh. Ugh. Ah, Brady Culture's hair. It makes for an unwieldy but oh-so-enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good My time. gosh. Fun times. All right. Oh, as a machine. Sam, it's me. Open the window. I'm trapped in the ledge again. Uh. Hello? Jerk. Hello? Jerk. All right, let's go. Do I need to buy this game to see the ending or would you I'm gonna finish this game if you like if you like watching me play adventure games I would very much like to play adventure games as kind of like sometimes we we play a bit of an adventure game I love these games if it's something you enjoy Clipping it for proof. <laughs> no, that's why I said if you like it. See, I can be always be like, well, I don't think we really people liked it. So, Nazi Drew. <laughs> Even Nancy Drew. No, Nancy Drew is a lot more like puzzle, like really deep down puzzles. Like this is just picking up stuff, using them things. Is uh, I like those kind of games, and especially more on the cartoony side, like um, like this and uh, and Hi um, yeah, Monkey Island, you know. He started six of them. This is one. This is this is like this is one story. Whee! It's just made up of five episodes. Like they're all, it's like, it's like a show. What is that? Like each episode has a beginning and an end, but they all go into a bigger thing. What?
That's a tier three. <laughs> That's a tier three. Sock to Pasero, the golden fez is yours. That's true. Sock to Pasero, thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. 27 months. Really, really appreciate that. So we check in on old pal Sybil. Hang on. She's no longer doing therapy. That's crossed off. Alien love. Uh, wait, what? Sam, Max, how nice to see you. I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? Huh? Huh? It's my new career. I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's it called? The Alien Love Triangle Times. So you're a publisher now? So you're a publisher now? What happened to psychotherapy? I've always had a fascination with the suppressed and the sensual, and for telling people too much about both. Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times is a logical extension of all my previous careers. Except maybe Vatican spokesperson. Are you doing any psychotherapy on the side? Only on space aliens. I guess that narrows your clientele quite a bit. No, not really. How about a quick analysis, for old time's sake? Oh, all right. Think of a number between one and four. Um, uh, three and a half. Three and a half. You're harboring feelings of guilt over previous feelings of remorse. That's so true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was it you said about a photo? My new tabloid, the Alien Love Triangle Times, needs a cover photo of an extraterrestrial biological entity, or alien as the unwashed masses calls them, caught getting cozy with some of the locals. Sybil, I'd like the record to show that although I support you as a friend, your latest project makes my skin decidedly crawly. Me too, and I like it. There's nothing like good, hard-nosed journalism. You said it. It's time to find out the real answers to the real questions. Like what did those poor cattle do to deserve that? No. What do aliens do for romance? Mm. Do they love? How do they get their otherworldly thrills? By playing slots in Kino? That'd explain why they're always seen in Nevada. Have you learned anything interesting since you started this, uh, magazine? I learned why Elvis had such an otherworldly voice. Elvis was not an alien. Sure he was. He just wore makeup to cover his emerald green skin. Frankly, Sybil, this project is disturbing, as well as distressingly intimate. Like seeing Stephen King getting a hot butter massage. Oh, you saw last week's issue. <laughs> Who else is an alien? Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Dr. Phil. Well, that goes without saying. Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Yes. Is anybody else an alien that we might not know about? Yes. Fair enough. Okay. We'll be back. Keep watching the supplies. Yes. This appears to be some sort of reproductive device. It's a mimeograph. I use it to print my tabloid. Okay. All right. Maybe in the closet. Nothing. Okay. Let's go. Obviously, this is going to come in handy later, I'm sure. It's got to, I was going to say, I'm like, mm, I don't want to say anything, but... Because <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, but... How's our friend Bosco doing? What's oh, Samuel, Maximilian. What the? <laughs> oh, you're probably Monocle wondering man. how I know your names. Not really. Psst, it's me, Bosco. <laughs> What's with the slanted soup strainer, Bosco? Bosco? <laughs> I know not that moniker. I am Lord Reginald Rumplebottom, Earl of Dukedom, the third. 
Sam, what language is he speaking? <laughs> I'm not sure, Max, but I think it might be English. <laughs> You're under arrest. Hands in the air, Bosco. You're coming with us. Good heavens! What is the meaning of this? We're taking you in for masquerading as a man of class and distinction. Who what the devil? Surely you jest. <laughs> yes, surely we do. On the bright side, now you can add the police to your long list of paranoia-induced nightmare subjects. Tcha! Piffle! Piss posh! No, really. What made you convert to British? <laughs> Everybody's got it in for me. That's why. Yeah, we heard. Well, I had to get a disguise to throw them off the trail. <laughs> They'll never find me now. They wouldn't even know where to begin to look. Clever clogs. We want to buy something. We want to buy something. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Quite so. Quite so. Uh. Do you have any complimentary fresh garlic? Nope. What have you got? Well, there is still one can of shaving cream the blooming skin bodies haven't gotten yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny. I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. <laughs> and I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. If I did the voices, uh, what do you got me on the counter? What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? <laughs> it's the latest in Bosco Tech Innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. <laughs> Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. Alright, give us that thing. We'd like that voice modulator. That will be 30 shillings. <laughs> yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? Uh, let's see. Uh, 30 shillings would be about 1 million American dollars. A million bucks? No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Mm -hmm. Oh, worth every shilling. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> All right. Nothing for us right now. Indeed. All right. Thanks, Bosco. Pip pip, honey nut cheerio. <laughs> What's this thing? I could me. use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Horse off, pig, dog, pig dog. The skin bodies rule the streets. <laughs> Blast, bugger, blinded, bombers. The little blinded did it again. After him. I mean. Tally ho! Tally ho! Alright, we got all that later, I guess. Uh, what's all this other show? Whipped liverwurst. You want some? Absolutely not. Never had a gun. True. Alright, well, let's go out there. Seems like some pretty normal stuff going on here. Tally-ho! Honey Nut Cheerios. Oops. Oops. Oh my gosh. Uh... Do I have anything to stop them? we go hmm can I shoot them so much crime here you know <laughs> why is he just shooting they can't be stopped Lily all right, well, let's go to uh, where we're supposed to go. Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> the skin buddies can't be stopped. Hey. The TV studio. Oh, after the rats. Let's after go. After those rats. Let's go. There they are. 
Let's get him! How do those laughably small wheels move so fast? You'll never catch us! The skin bodies can't be stabbed! The huge! Take the wheel, little buddy. I thought you'd never ask. Mm -hmm. Missed him. <laughs> the skin bodies can't be stabbed! You can't dodge my shots forever. Watch us! The skin bodies... Well, that doesn't be working. Let's, uh... I'm not sure how to, like, get them. Give up the shaving cream, skin body! The skin bodies don't give in to nobody! <laughs> you know what? Maybe if I, like... Shoot them, Sam! I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. Oh, you know what? I can kind of, like... Nudge him you into can't places. Dodge my shots forever. Watch it. The skin buddies can't be stopped. What does that sign say? Missed him. <laughs> the skin buddies can't. I feel like they're gonna hit. I feel like I'm gonna hit this sign. You know what I mean? The orange one. So I'm just gonna wait until they get close and then like nudge him over to it. Here we go. Shoot him, Sam! I'm trying, but they have good reflexes. I don't have it to me. I'm in the middle of the street now, so maybe they're gonna hit it. Oh, they didn't hit it. Okay, hang on, hang on. Nudge him over a little bit. Wait. Wait. Yeah! Oh. Hey, the shaving cream! Okay, hold on tight, little buddy. We did it. I mean, I guess we give it back to them. I don't know if uh, Bosco wants it back. I'm good at games, so don't brag or anything. Did you want? Who goes there? Oh, it's you, Lot. Here we are. Hey, Bosco. We've retrieved your precious shaving cream. Jolly good show. Jolly good. Now, if you're wondering about the reward money, yes, we do accept personal checks and all major credit cards. <laughs> no. As a reward for retrieving the can of shaving cream, I hereby grant you a can of shaving cream. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Great. Okay, cool. Well, let's go to the, this TV studio now. Nudge. Yeah, yeah. Where are we going, Sam? The TV studio. Goody! Mm. Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. W-A-R-P. Television's so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. It's got a falling star on it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder how you'll crash and burn. Uh, yeah. Cannon. I hope that's just a prop. I hope it isn't. Ooh, a broom. Need a broom, little buddy? I don't use brooms, Sam. I necessitate the use of them. Okay. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! Could have fooled... Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. 
You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the Ooh. musical. Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next! Who's next? Uh, we're the police. You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? What are you doing here anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. I'd like to audition, please. You'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. All right! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Geller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes, boy, that is so me. <laughs> and Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Okay, Sam, ready. <laughs> I need you to act like you've got full blown rabies, understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog. Now, show me rabbit. Um, grrr. No, dig deep. You should be just frothing mad. The shaving cream, yes. Hmm. Yes, you're right. Brilliant. Now that's what I call <laughs> diseased. Thank you, thank you. First off, I'd like Good to thank job. all the little people who... Zip it. <laughs> okay, Max, just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad. You're despondent. You're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? We have, we have that gun. I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve. <laughs> grief, I said. Give me grief. Uh... Wait, hang on. I got this. I got this. The tear gas gun. <laughs> Perfect. Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh-oh. <gasps> Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my head, or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. <laughs> the search for the Midtown Cowboys is over. You're hired. Head to the set next door and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam. We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left. Oh, yes. All right, people, let's get the stage set up. The celebrity host will be here any minute. Oh, right. This is not a kid's game. Who's working on Myra? Stupid, no talent, fat face. Weren't you just... I think she just defied the laws of physics. Sorry, you'd be amazed how many times a day I have to do that. Things tend to be hectic here. Doesn't bother us a bit. Sam and Max, consummate professional actors, reporting for duty. 
<laughs> you said duty, Sam. I knew you guys were right for the show. Speaking of which, could you perhaps explain the show a bit? Okay, here's the drill. On Midtown Cowboys, you play a pair of cattle ranchers trying to raise a herd in an apartment in Manhattan. My Uncle Ernie did that, except it was pigs. And not in an apartment. I only see one cow. It's a small herd. You're struggling, okay? Okay. You've got this landlord, Mr. Featherly, who has a very strict no-cows policy. Devilishly inconvenient. I begin to see from whence the hilarity sprouts. Yes, Featherly is always barging in, and you try to hide the fact that you have a cow in the apartment. Lots of sight gags, usually something gross winds up happening. Simple enough? Great. This Where's is our next script? LP. Well, there's a Sims side hitch. Here we go. The cow ate most of the script, so you're going to have to ad-lib the show. Ad-lib? Yes, make it up as you go. Improvise. Well, I guess our regular life has given us plenty of practice. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be working with Philo Sounds Pennyworth Steve, yeah. who plays Featherly. He's a brilliant actor, classically trained, globe theater and all that. Just set him up to do something funny and he'll handle it from there. Check. Anything else? Actually, yes. We did save one line from the script and it's really important to work it in because it's the product placement that pays for the whole show. One of you will have to say the line. Me, me, pick me! All right, Max, your line is this. Better get the serious toothpaste. I like it already. All right, um... Let's start taping. We're as ready as we're ever going to be. Do it. Let's start taping the show. Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Ready? Action! <laughs> All right, I know you've got a... Oh, for pity's sake, this will never work if you're not even going to try to disguise the cow! Cut! Amateurs. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. <laughs> oh my god, the ch chicken. Yup. Oh, okay, we gotta do it again. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? Okay, now remember, your landlord's at the door, and Wait. you don't want him to know you've got a cow in there. Got it, yeah. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Uh. They're probably hiding a cow. They're probably hiding a cow. I know you're hiding a cow. Hey, bossy. Uh, cow pie. Hmm. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. How convenient. This way we can shoot a TV show about people watching a TV show. And if the show they're watching is the show of themselves watching, the universe could fold in on itself and explode. Best leave it turned off then. Um, I don't know if we have anything to like, this guy's a oh, cow. Like, shaving cream on it, I guess, I don't know. Okay, is that working? Okay, kinda looks like a... Aha! I know you've got a... a... Well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? It's Santa Claus, it's Colonel Sanders. My aging uncle. Um, a cow of shaving cream on his face. Uh, let's go Colonel Sanders, because he's a chicken. I'd like to introduce you to my good friend, Colonel Sanders. Oh! Colonel Sanders! What? Cut! Oh, no, no, no. You've gone entirely too far. Comedy is comedy, but this, this is monstrous. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. Mm. Fez. Okay. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? See if you can squeeze in some gross out humor this time. Ready, action. <laughs> Okay. Open up in there. Probably hiding a cow. Okay, we do this now. Why does the cow not? I don't know. Who knows? Aha! I know you've got a. a well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? 
All right, do we go with um, uh, Santa Claus? It's jolly old Saint Nick. It is. Oh, Santa! I want a new semi-automatic pistol with armor-piercing bullets, laser scope, and a picture of Jennifer Lopez engraved on the handle. It's not really Santa Claus, butthead. We're shooting a TV show, remember? Cut! Please don't say cut. That's my job. <laughs> How am I expected to create art if you're not even going to try to perpetuate the farce? He's right, guys. You can do better than that. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. All right, all right. The uncle one, then? Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? Don't forget to... <laughs> the music just goes real quick. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> just get up a bit. All right. Try the uncle one. The probably hiding account. Aha! I know you've got a, a well, well, well. Who's your guest, boys? This is my octogenarian uncle Griswold, a retired chimney sweep from Lower Nebraska. Now he travels the world chasing cyclones in a mobile home. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. I'm something of a twister buff myself, <laughs> ever since I saw The Wizard of Oz when I was a boy. Uh. Uh. Better get the serious toothpaste. Hey, that's my line! <laughs> oh, cut! Hey! I'm afraid you've delivered the sponsor's line at a comically inopportune moment. Wait for me to do something that might call for that line to be said. Gotcha. <sighs> Let's get the set back the way it was. <laughs> so, come on. <laughs> Just say it. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? Places, everybody. And action! Mm -hmm. I know you're hiding a cow. Mm -hmm. We'll get this. Aha! I'm gonna kind of skip this. This is my uncle. Now he trapped. Well, it's a pleasure. I'm something. Okay, now what do we do? What do you think we should do in? Hey, Bossy. Bossy? That's a funny name. I don't care if it is just a prop. I'm not touching that with my bare hands. These are all thesauri. Who decorated this set? English majors working for peanuts, as usual. Okay, window. In Manhattan, this counts as a view. If there's a leak, it counts as a water view. Ah, nature. Hello? <laughs> can we take five? Oh, for heaven's sake. Wait, where did I click on? Cut! Oh, we just went next door. The robe. Look, Max, there's the door to Myra's set. Let's get in there and liberate her literally captive audience. Sam, forget the hostages. There's somebody famous. It's Hugh Bliss. Who Bliss? No, Hugh Bliss. Inventor of prismatology? Help millions unlock the power of their personal color spectrums? Right. The stage magician turned happiness guru. Like we didn't have enough of those already. I want to meet him. Fine. But if he magically pulls another rainbow butterfly out of somebody's ear, I'm leaving. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Yeah, we know. And you are Sam and Max, freelance police. <gasps> How do you know? Right. Do you believe in magic? Because I do. So, Hugh Bliss, what brings you to WARP? I too am here to meet Myra. <laughs> How 
you know we came for Myra? Oh, 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 don't you see? I can read your mind. As the resident doubting Thomas of this crime-fighting duo, I consider it my civic duty to say, prove it. Okay, think of something, anything. Uh... 6,373,411.98 Sam? Lucky guess. Was it? Think of something else. I do. Pennies on the eyes of a dead mime. Well? I must have been silently mouthing the words. Really? Think of something else. <laughs> Enough of this ridiculous farce. Stop it. <laughs> do me. Do me. Oh, oh my. And that's unspeakably depraved. Yeah, you got it! Wow, you're amazing. Dazzle us with a feat of ledger domain, why don't you? Okay, I'll show you the magic of prismatology in action. Pick a color, any color. Ochre, ochre! No, mauve! <laughs> Burnt sienna! Uh, how about a color I've heard of, hmm? Pick a color, as long as it's red, green, or blue. Uh, green. It's not easy being green. Oh, but it is with magic. Ah, I know what you're thinking. Is it real or is it illusion? Say, Hugh Bliss, can we get a picture with you for our scrapbook of instantly forgettable memories? Alien. Splendid. It looks like an alien. I wish yes. I thought of it. Oh, and in fact, I did. He. Hence the camera. Now gather round. But how will you take the picture? By magic. Okay. Say chocolate covered puppies. Chocolate, chocolate covered, covered puppies. puppies. So where's the picture, magic man? Oh my. I seem to have misplaced it. Hmm. Check your pockets. Maybe I left it there. Hehehehe. <laughs> 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 little little guy. <laughs> Uh, that actually Sorry worked out. interrupt your little joy fest, but I've got a situation here. Never fear, pretty lady. Hugh Bliss is here. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, our game show host went on Myra hours ago, and he still hasn't come out. Hey. Fill in until he gets back. Can a butterfly fly? Thank you so much Deep for that. Uh, is now hosting my stream yes, with 165 it can. Oh, what do I do? Viewers. When a contestant comes to the... Thank you so much, Dee. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, guys, go check out D, my good friend. She played some Stardew Valley. We're playing some Salmon Max. <laughs> uh, it's an adventure game. Thank you so much, D. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, why doesn't he have shoes on? A lot of people have shoes on. I don't know. I didn't even think about the alien thing until someone mentioned it. But yeah, that's that's what we need. We need a picture of an alien. Podium, just read him a question from the card. Then, when he He's gets it wrong, <laughs> insult God. him and tell him to get off the stage. Oh, no, no. Prismatology teaches us to love everyone, no matter what. Right, just read the cards. Okay. I still love you. <sighs> well, we got a picture of an alien now. Well, I mean, looks like an alien. Should we, should we go back to the TV show or should we f move forward? Should we go back to t uh, filming the TV show or try to move forward to my room? Okay, let's go. It's polite to knock. You do know we're taping a show here. Great day in the morning. It's Myra Stump herself! Yourself. How about letting your hostages go now? What do you say? Hostages? They're my guests. You know, if there's one that fries my burger, it's the rampant victim culture in American media today. Oh, boo-hoo. Myra's audience all got luxury minivans. Now they have to worry about where they're going to park. Bah! I know what you mean, Myra. It's like I'm always telling people, don't think of it as a bullet wound. Think of it as a transfusion opportunity. Optimum Crush 95 is now under Hey, the thank you so much for that. You are a first-time subscriber. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, we changed the air. We changed the command. Fez TV. <laughs> it is now. Thank you, Ellie Lee. Can we come in? Can we come in and see the show? Can you? Don't you mean? Uh, 
May we come in and see the show? That's much better. No, we're at full capacity. The only people getting in now are famous people who are appearing on the show. Can't... May we appear as guests on your show? I excel at talking about myself. Are you famous? Perhaps. In an internet petition or there ought to be a law kind of way. <laughs> Not good enough. I'll need evidence of your explosive star power. I blew up a public restroom last week. I want to see a copy of your recording contract for one thing. Well, what if we... Recording, contract, and a clip from your hit TV show. You're not anybody these days if you don't act and sing. We got a contract, TV. TV clip. Piece of cake. No cake. I'm on a diet. But I will naturally need evidence of the latest juicy scandal you've been involved in. We have to be scandalized? Of course. What kind of show do you think this is? Are you sure you want us to answer that? Look, it's very simple. Show me a recording contract, a clip from your TV show, and some evidence of a scandal, and I'll squeeze you in. Oh, we got all wrong? that. Well, not yet, but we know how to get all that. We know how to get all that. Your eyes look a little spirally. Are you feeling all right? Of course I am, sweetheart. By the way, when was the last time you brushed your teeth? And you should really be flossing. You certainly sound like your normal self. But why are you keeping everybody in there? I'm just doing what I always do. Slave and toil to put on the best show possible. It's just, after opening presents from well-wishers, I felt so compelled to make this show extra special. Don't be alarmed, but I'm beginning to suspect that you might be hypnotized. Don't be silly. Hypnotism is just an excuse people use today to abdicate responsibility. I hate how this country's become a bushel of Bill and Betty brainwashies. Hypnotized or not, that sounds like Myra's patented blend of lovingly cutting criticism and charismatic know it all tree. All right, well, let's go, go get this done. Um, we'll be right back. No, they go. It's too nice to stay indoors. How are you doing? You boys should go play outside. And you should stop making that face, dear. It'll stick if you're not careful. What face? We know how to get in there. We got we get the scandal. Let's go film this TV show. Let's get this TV show done. You know? How hard could this be? We know what we're doing. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? Here we go. See if you can squeeze in some gross out humor this time. Ready? Action! Okay. Aha! I know you've got a... a well, well, well! Who's your guest, boys? This is my octogenarian uncle, Griswold. What? A retired chimney sweep from Lower Nebraska. Now he travels the world chasing cyclones in a mobile home. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. You know, I'm hey, something thank of a you so much for that. Myself, ever since I saw the Wizard of Oz when I was a boy. Thank you so much for that. You are also a first-time subscriber. That's two first-time subscribers in a row. Holy moly! Thank you so much for that. Okay, let's talk to him again. Um, want to hear a joke? Have you heard the one about the three firemen and the football? Oh, please, this isn't that sort of a show. Save it for Myra. Cut! Dang it. Let's get the set back the way it was. Dang it. What are we doing wrong here? Hang on, there's a plate here. I shouldn't fool with the set while we're not taping the show. Or maybe we can do that on show. Okay, hang on. Dang it, Clue. Dang it. Let's have another go at that scene. I'll shall get the we? rope. Okay. Don't forget to work in Max's life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the music just gets faster and faster and faster. I know you're hiding a cow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. This is my own. 
Now he Well, that's a your arm so We're just skipping the uh we're just skipping the dialogue. Goodness, who left this lying here? Okay, we got that. Can we get the robe? I can't click on the I can't click on the uh the robe. Are we gonna use the plates on this thing? Chicken in the fez. Uh, Sam, you can. I mean, Mexican, anyway. Say, what's this? Uh, I'm sorry. What was that you said? Um. She said, "Moo." Cows do that. Oh, <laughs> dang it! Hot. Please don't say cut. That's my job. How am I expecting? I thought I was covering it up. I thought I was covering up the cow. To to the <laughs> He's right, guys. You can do better than that. I thought I was covering <gasps> it up. Get the set back the way it was. <laughs> I thought I was covering it up by saying moo. Like I'm the one who said moo. You know, I thought that's what the idea was. Okay, all right, look at this, 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 this. Let's have another go at that scene. Right, we're gonna skip all the dialogue. Look, being an actor is very hard, okay? I was on the spot. Okay. Hey, bossy. Oops, don't do it. Nah. My bad. Aha! This is my arm. Now, well, it's up your arms. Okay, get the oh place. Who left this lying here? Is that like, uh, what is that over there? That's over here. Nope. Max, again, you're covering it up. Say, what's this? Uh, I'm sorry, what was that you said? Uh, anything but moo. Um, moon. Meow. What, what, what would the cow say? Help, Chad, help. What would they say instead? Anything but moo? Meow. Moon. Moon. He said moon. As in, the cow jumped over thee. I mean, whoops. <laughs> Cut. Please, try to remember that your characters are attempting to hide the true nature of the cow. <gasps> Let's get the set back the way it was. <laughs> That's Chad's phone. That's your phone. That wasn't my phone. <laughs> as, in, as in, the cow jumped over the... <laughs> Let's have another go at that scene, shall okay. we? Okay. See if you can squeeze in some gross You did say meow. Ready? <laughs> Probably hiding a cow. Okay, here we go. Open up in there. I know you're hiding a cow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah. Okay. This is my arm. Now, well, it's a, your arms. Okay, get the plane. Who left? Okay. We know get that. Plates. Put it on there. I don't know why that makes him walk over here. Okay, we're going with meow. I'm sorry, what was that you said? We'll go with meow. <laughs> he said meow. Uncle Griswold thinks he's a cat. He's awful big for a cat. Just be thankful he's not in heat. Uh huh. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure where we're going with this. Can we start again? Cut! What? <gasps> Let's get the set back the way it was. What? <laughs> Dude, what the heck? We had it perfect. <laughs> Damn chicken. 
Well, that's the, the only other option we did do then. Let's have another go at that scene, <laughs> shall we? Don't forget to work in Max's line. Better get the serious toothpaste. Okay? Yeah, Action. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Open up in there. I know you're hiding a cow. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, let's see. I don't know. Oh, is there any option? Okay. Aha! This is a cow, hastily oh. decorated with some shaving cream I happen to have in my pocket. Who knew shaving cream was such an important theatrical tool? Cut! <laughs> Please don't say cut. That's my job. How am I expected to create art it's if you're one. not even going to try to perpetuate the farce? He's right, guys. You can do better than that. It's the wrong one. <laughs> this is a cow. <laughs> Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? Places, everybody. And action! Okay, <laughs> all right. Focus, everybody, focus. We got this. The mm -hmm. <laughs> boy made a command. <laughs> This is my uncle. Now he. Well, it's a. Your arms. Okay, get Goodness, the plate. Who left this lying here. Okay, we put the plate on there. I don't know why that makes the chicken walk over, but it does. Say, what's this? Sorry, what was that you said? Okay, we're going with this one. Moolah. He said moolah. Well, I never. Never? Never? I'm sorry, I'm just not sure where we're going with this. Whoa. Can we start again? Cut! <sighs> we tried... Let's get the set back Did we try the moat already? Wait, I thought we tried that one. Wait, what have we, what have we done? What have we tried? Moot? I thought he could lift anything. Yeah, he's not very good. What is moot? I don't know. No, you did moo. Meow. Moo. Oh, okay. Mute is a new one. I'm sorry. Okay. I feel like it's on the chicken at this point, you know? Hi, Mom. Let's have another go at that scene, shall we? See if you can squeeze in some like gross out point. humor this time. And moot points. Open it's probably hiding a cow. Here we go. Cow. Maybe do the plates with the poo before he comes in. Oh. May well, that kind of makes him go over there. Aha! Though. I know you. Okay. This is my. Now he. Well, it's a what? I'm something of a twister buff. Must. Goodness, who left this lying here? <laughs> I'm doing great. Thank you. I try. This is gonna be five hours of this. It's gonna be a twelve-hour stream, and we're still not gonna get it. I can try, but that makes him go over there, though. Say, what's this? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that you said? What about this one now? He said moo. Philosophical musing on the deeper meanings of the shallower things. I see. No. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure where we're going with this. Can we start again? Let's Cut. try moot first. <laughs> Let's get the set back the way it was. I think it's meow. No, we only tried meow. Chicken, please. <laughs> we try. We try. Well, uh, let's, we could do the plate first. I'm not sure why the plate makes him go over there. Maybe. I don't know. Let's try the plate. Let's just grab the plate immediately. 
You know? Let's have another go at that scene. That I would like it. Don't forget to work in Max's line. Something. No, Lily, Better no. Get the serious toothpaste. No, it'd be much okay? more rewarding this way. It's much more rewarding when we all figure it out together. Open up in there. Okay, let's grab the plate here first. Goodness, who left this lying here? Okay, we're gonna grab that now. Maybe, I don't know, I can feed him the poopy later or something? Not there. Oh. Now, all right, I know you've got a. Oh, for pity's sake. Why? This will never work if you're not even going to try to disguise the cow. Cut. Amateurs. Hmm. I don't <gasps> know. Let's get the set back the way it was. I don't know, because, like, as soon as I do that, he picks. He, uh. Hey, bossy. We're missing something. We are. Or maybe we just we're missing an item, you know? They're probably hiding a cow. I missed the 70s when you could get away with stuff like that. Hey, hang on. Cooking without looking. Let's go there. The cooking show. Oh, maybe shaving cream on the poopy? This fridge isn't even a fridge. It's a fake. Welcome to Cooking Without Looking, the cooking show for the typical bachelor kitchen, containing no fruits, vegetables, or healthy ingredients of any sort. The show where we take a random assortment of condiments and barely edible items and create a meal within minutes. Filling in for Chuck Flagon this week, these guys. <laughs> Just go with it. Oh, um, hello, welcome to the show. Thanks, Sam. It's great to be here. Not you, Buckethead. The audience. Oh, greetings, worshipful fans. Remember, the only reason I'm on TV is because I'm better than you. We've got some <laughs> furious cooking to do, so let's get right to it. What are we making, Sam? Uh, casserole. We're making a delicious casserole. Let's just go to our trusty ingredient rack and select some savories for our all-purpose thingamawatsit. It's a pot, Sam. Sure it is, little buddy. And you're a kettle. Um... What should we do? <laughs> squid tentacles? A fist full of squid tentacles. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's my favorite western. Uh... Let's see... MSG. Every chef has a signature ingredient that no one has ever heard of or used. Mine's MSG. If you put in enough that you feel a burning sensation in the back of the neck, forearms, and chest, you're just about there. Um, lard? Don't skimp on the lard. That's right. If you take the lard out of lard ass, all you have is ass. Well said, Max. Uh, I, uh... Of course, it wouldn't be real bachelor cooking without tweed. Bachelors, here's a tip. Tweed isn't just for cooking. It also makes a great toupee. Uh, uh, of course, you're going to want a few dashes of hair gel. Don't worry, bachelors. As long as you use it only for cooking, no one will think you less of a man. A handful or two of buffalo chips. You really can't add too many buffalo chips. Am I just going? Oh, cook it. Now, do we broil it, Sam? Right you are, little buddy. Into the oven it goes. And through the magic of TV cooking show time. Ta-da! You've successfully perverted the laws of God and man. Oh, boy. Let's take it with us. Oh, yes. We've got casserole now. Hey, Sam, can I? No. It's like a scene from Heidi. How does that bird manage to stay still for so long? This is quite realistic. Like that animatronic kid on the Cosby show. That's quite an assortment. They must have scoured every toxic waste dump in the state. Um... This <laughs> is me playing cooking, exactly. Uh... Well, I tell you what, there's gonna be something that we're gonna need cooking wise and then something someone's allergic to maybe Ooh, bucket of lard that's enough lard to clog the arteries of a major metropolis 
or start a circus of grease squirrels. I rue the day you lost your NEA funding, Max. They're probably hiding a cat. I love how the camera actually is like, or well, the picture shows the camera. You know? It'll be back here. We can uh, grab. Well, we go back to Sybil and give her the picture of the alien. We have that. So. We need to finish the cow scene. I don't know if we have anything for the cow scene, honestly. Also, the game show scene, we haven't really explored either. <laughs> Podium. We've got a contestant, people! Hit it! Oh. From somewhere deep within the bowels of WARP, it's Who's Never Going to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> with special guest host, Hugh We Bliss. do need a million dollars. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Our first contestants are a pair of professional freelance police officers. They enjoy firing their guns randomly and running over things. Please welcome Sam and Max. Listen, Sam, they love us. Welcome. You know the rules. Maybe. If you can answer even one question correctly, you'll walk away a millionaire. Start loading the armored cars, Hugh, because my brain's stuffed with enough worthless trivia to power a small Chilean village for decades. It's true. Okay, are you ready? Oh, happy day. It's an easy one. If a man sets out from the Horsehead Nebula in a spaceship traveling at thrice the speed of light and his father leaves from Rigel 2 at the same time going half the speed, how many nanoseconds will it be before time paradox causes the first man never to have been born? Uh... Uh... No, uh... I'd have to guess... Patty Duke's evil twin cousin. Oh, so close. But no, you lose! This is an outrage. I demand a recount. We do have a fabulous consolation prize. A copy of Emetics by me, Hugh Bliss. No thanks. I'm content to leave with just my burning shame and newfound sense of inadequacy. Okay. Find out which poor schmuck will be the next to blow his chance at millions right after these messages. <laughs> All right, let's go with the Sybil. Maybe phone a friend. I'm your biggest fan. Now, uh, for those- I just don't see how you can sing and be a judge. I don't think the public would swallow that. Hey, Sam. Do my eyes deceive me, or are those our formerly hypnotized former child star acquaintances, the Soda Poppers? Sweet jellyfish paste on a stick, you're right. What are the odds? Could we find another judge? What about one of those guys? Hmm, I don't suppose either of you would be interested in being a judge on Embarrassing Idol, the hot new show where we make uncomfortable entertainment out of people's misplaced faith in their own singing ability. Ouch. Oh, me, me! I promise I'll be completely unbiased in my abuse of the contestants. Fine, fine. Take a seat. Goody! I get to sing! Welcome back to Embarrassing Idol. The judges are chomping at the bit, so say hello to our first contestant, Peepers. <clears throat> this will be good, Lily. Am I blue? Who are you? Can I fly? Well, that was a bit sloppy, but I particularly liked how you hit that high note. That always impresses me. I think you'll get my vote. I'm definitely voting for you. After all, you are my brother. Very impressive. You sound almost exactly like a sick cat being dragged through rusty farm machinery. But this is a singing contest, so I think I'll have to vote for someone else. Um, is there anyone else? Not so far. Hi. Hi. Uh. 
What can you tell me about the show you're shooting? I hate him. Embarrassing idol, standard drill, <laughs> amateur singers with delusions of ability perform in front of a camera. Judges heckle them, and the public gets sick pleasure out of watching the carnage. <laughs> What allegedly valuable prize is bestowed on the lucky winner? The winner gets a standard exploitation recording contract with a major label. That's You're what we need. Be exploited, be exploited we by know the best. what we need. We just don't know how to get it. We got the setup now. We need a contract. We need a TV show. We need a scandal. We have all that. We, we, potentially. We know how to get it. We just don't know. We just don't have it yet. Can I be a contestant? I often sing in the shower, and hardly anyone complains. Sure, we're pretty desperate for contestants at the moment. We had more, but they went in to watch the Irish show, and we never saw them again. Highly suspicious. Right, um... Can you give me some kind of insight into the arcane workings of the judging? It's pretty simple. All the judges have to agree on a winner. That's all there is to it. What kind of arbitrary criteria do they use to make their decisions? That's up to the individual judges. I channel the spirit of Hammurabi, the ancient Babylonian ruler. Then I pick you, Sam. Thanks, little buddy. Thanks, little buddy. That seems clear. Thank goodness. All right, um... You got this stage set up awfully fast. You must have an army of minions to do your bidding. <sighs> no, it's pretty much just me. I used to have a stagehand, but she went to watch the Myra show. All the more impressive then. Sawing the hole in the floor was the hard part. All right. Well, I'm sure you're very busy. You got that right. Do I just, do I just go in and sing then? Let's just sing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our next contestant, Sam. Hello, I'd like to do a little song I call. Uh, uh, busting down the uh, love has a bottleneck and free with doom. Just like someone else's song, uh, only somehow better. Just like someone else's song, only somehow better. <coughs> Um, hmm. Shiny like a new mylar balloon. And then, uh, She's the headline, page one, the tribune. Road to someday, bits of me are strewn. And let's hear from our judges. Bravo! Your wobbly tenor is way better than Peeper's shrill squawking. Your stylings are quite interesting, but I noticed you never really hit a high note. Peeper's is still getting my vote. High note. You sing beautifully, and your lyrics are enchanting. But Peeper's is my brother, so I pretty much have to vote for him. Oh. Remember, folks, on Embarrassing Idol, the decision of the judges must be unanimous. Stay tuned for more exciting action after this. <laughs> it's nice, it's dope. Cut. It's okay to sing again if you want to, by the way. Could improve your chances. Um, let's try again then. Thank you. Well, we want to be high notes. And we need to be his brother. <laughs> let's go to Sybil. Acid pit. <laughs> Oops. Save him. Uh. Save him. Wait. Oh, you know what? Bosco will give us a voice changer. So maybe that will make us sound better, you know? I don't know how to be his brother, but we'll work on that later, I guess. All right, let's uh, give Sybil this picture. Sam, this is perfect. This photo is a capstone. It succinctly summarizes over 30 years of extraterrestrial-related photographic evidence. 
Sybil, that photo is a hoax. We, we exactly. I couldn't have asked for better. Now I can print the paper. Yeah. <laughs> Shocker. Available at newsstands now. Sweet. Where'd you get this thing anyway? I picked it up at a yard sale. Really? Okay, it was in a dumpster. Did we get a paper as well? No. Uh, wait, what do I mean now? He put something down and it showed us for a reason. Wait, who did? Oh, Peepers did it? Oh, okay, okay. Should we head back over there then? We might need to get a newspaper. He's probably hiding a cow. All right. You're famous. Hooray! Can we begin misbehaving now? Begin? I know. We should probably get out of here. Uh, all right. Well, yeah. We'll end it here then. Uh, we'll pick up with this episode later. <laughs> Lily. Lily's getting tired. <laughs> Um, we'll pick up with this the next time we play. No fame today. Because <laughs> now Lily likes the game. Fame. Um. Oh, it's only ten a.m. in UK. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I was up all night. Uh, is really fun. Good. I like this game too. I want to finish it. I, you know, I played this game a long time ago, and I don't remember anything. <laughs> I actually think I would remember more. I know I'm remembering certain scenes, but it's very vague. It's very vague. And then there's also three seasons that I I played, so there's also what, and and these characters are reoccurring, so I'm remembering. I'm thinking of, you know, the character in a different sense as well. Um, I want to finish it. Write that down. Get more of this. Okay. Uh, soon TM. We'll do it. We'll do it. Probably write that down. It is four o'clock though. Why don't I probably should get out of here. Not the TM. I don't know how much longer this episode is. Uh, so these episodes are about an hour to two hours long. Unless we get super stumped, then we're like, you know, it could take longer. So we could finish this episode up and then probably do episode three in one night as well. That means he's never going to happen. It will. It will. Because I want to. But I gotta go to bed. I do. Actually, I'm getting kind of sleepy. So, you like the cow scene? No one look up the answers. <laughs> we'll make a command. Remember what we did, though, okay? Remember what we did. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna do the Leonardo da Vinci Let's Play. It's gonna be great. Can't wait to do it. And uh, then we will do other stuff. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Mm, bye bye.